Um, yeah. All right, we are up. One thing I feel is nice about us doing this enough that we are actually getting it like going, and we don't have to. Under ten minutes, and dinner will be ready. If you're not ready by then, okay. Fill your plate, and you okay. can warm it up. YouTube is pinned. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I did a couple things that should make the quality a lot better. Mm hmm. Yeah, it should be better. Hopefully it's better. I don't know. Yeah, you just got it a few minutes ago. All right, we can uh, start on this one. So, first replay, I'll go with Atos. I'm going to see how you pronounce it. Kind of cool name. Atos? Is it Atos or Atos? Is it noticeable? <laughs> okay, that's good. I am I'm glad it is noticeably better because holy shit was it uh not very good. Really? It was that bad. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the goal. But for now, YouTube's good enough. I mean, I don't know why the the default is was it 480. So you know, hopefully it's better now. So what are we doing with this one? We are going for a toss. Or Atos, one of the two, he wanted us to look at two heroes. What two heroes was it? Venge and Phases Void. Okay, so it's these two. Uh, and they, you have the notes on Discord. Wait, they're probably in the Discord channel because we have that going. Yeah, 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 we'll do that. So you can read off. Okay, so just so everybody knows, we have a ton of replays. We almost hit 20, and obviously we don't want to be going to 20 replays, one per, or like two per hour. That means we'd be here for about 10 hours. Not too sure what you guys, but I don't plan on staying up till 6 or 7 a.m. So we're going to try limiting this to like the bare necessities, give people a rough idea of what to improve upon, and then cap it and move on to the next one. Yes. So we'll talk about starting items. Starting items on newer players that buy Tranquil Boots, they almost always go for Ring of Regen uh, win lace starting items. I don't know why. It was to rush Tranquil Boots, so I know why. But like, it is not a good build at all. This Ring of Regen is not going to help you at all. It's win lace is not going to help you at all. If you value movement speed, buy boots. If you value regen, buy mangoes or headdress or more tangos or self. Also, vengeance or level one and positioning yourself right here is super bad. If they just walk up and have like Winter Wyvern and Chaos Knight is whacking at this guy, he could take a lot of damage, which he doesn't have the self to uh, help himself. Huh. Yeah, like if, if they got aggressive a little earlier, he would have died there. I'm a dire. So yeah, it's be mind of face 30 times. Vengeance or level one isn't good. Wave of terror is your only lading mechanism. 
you just wave a tear of them, reduce their armor, and hit them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Void by actual regen items, I don't think you want to go double ring. Especially if you're going time walk level 1 against a wyvern. Your best bet against wyvern is just wait a few seconds and time walk off the arctic burn damage. No, it's because I'm pretty sure it was a Dota Alchemy video where they, like this was back when the Ring of Regen was like super OP because it was way cheaper, things Ring of Trask and whatnot, and you just start with a bunch of those. So you'd go like Centaur War Runner, go like double ring, have your support go headdress, and you walk around with like 10 health regen, then you call in a Ring of Trask and you have like 15. So it's probably still people stuck on that one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. If you're not going to drag waves, oh, okay, make sure Avenge is mindful of spell usage. So I think when I was talking to, I don't remember who it was, someone last week or something like that, why Avenge is so bad in lane? You're giving this guy the pings, aren't you? But Venge's uh, mana pool is very, very low. She can use her stun three times before running out of mana, if you're counting for mana regen. So spamming out your stun is going to hurt you super, super hard, as well as the fact that it's about 75 damage if you count for reductions. And it's very low duration and uh, very low range. So it's a very, very bad spell. In my opinion, it's the worst stun in the entire game. So. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's mini stun, yeah, by classification. The big Earth's a gank. I feel like that's fine because you're Ursa against OD, but why are you Ursa against OD in the first place? Interesting. So Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So right now I should be the, the Venge getting the uh runes. You there? Okay, I thought I dropped for a sec. Okay. Also, going for a Morbid Mask first item when you're an offlane Void with double ring feels kind of greedy. Morbid Mask on Void is primarily a farming accelerator that gives you solo kill threat when you have Chrono, but your biggest concern is getting levels and having an impact with your chrono. Like, your team's going to do the damage. You just get Skyrath level 6, and then you go to Skyrath Mage, you chrono anybody, and they die to Mystic Flare. Like, this Mask of Madness isn't going to do anything for you, besides take more farm and slow down your game a bit. I... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So when there's this many creeps hitting you, don't try trading hits. You're taking an extra, like, 100 damage a second. Like, obviously you have high armor, so it's not going to happen. But you're taking a lot of extra damage for uh, fighting and creep waves. Mm hmm Yeah. What is uh, the game count on this? 20 wins, so about, well, we'll say 50 games. And, yeah, pretty new. Big stun coming out. Are the body blocks? Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Are you going to die here? Oh, I thought you might have. Don't never take the tome. Actually, I guess your supports are both level six. You're the lowest level in the game. That's void. Huh. I guess that's okay.
not really. I think I just want to power level my Skywrath Mage. My Jug has drummed 11 minutes in. My drug, Jug is super farmed. Holy hell. Yeah, so right now, all I want to do is somehow Ursa gets solo, or Ursa solo kills the OD. I don't think I want to be hitting neutrals right now. I just want to go make a play with Chronosphere. Like, yeah. Yeah, wherever Skyrath is, you should be. Mm-hmm. You're going to Chrono not kill anything here, right? I'm half right. Oh, you're getting two kills. I guess it was good Chrono. I thought you guys weren't going to get anything. Yeah, my best tip when you're new to the game is play more of the game. Like, don't look at getting better, just look at getting familiar. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm hmm. Which that's a very bad thing. Yeah, Venge can only get so much. I'm gonna assume he doesn't get. Yeah, he's going straight Agonims. Yeah. When you're new to the game, your item builds are a bit whack. That's that's pretty understandable. Does does he say go first? Adam eggs on Venge. I hope to God not, but his builds are fucking psycho. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't like Tortellini. I've never obviously met the guy or talked to him, but what, from what I've heard, the guy's a psychopath. Turn you up, sure. Oh, can you not be heard at all? Uh, I don't know. Like you, you I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I muted the desktop audio by accident. Different. Yeah, that is my bad entirely. I apparently had you muted at some point. Oh, I think I know what happened. Can Can I be? <laughs> yeah, I accidentally bound my right. my mute mic key to you, so it's not muting me when I click it. It's muting you. That makes sense. My bad, everyone. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, th I think we can call it here because again, we have to gotta get through. Yeah. Uh, did you say? Oh, actually, Journey, we're, do the B God replay because we God. never get high and more stuff. Okay. Let's just do it quickly because this is gonna be kind of cool. Okay. I'll send you the replay ID. I have it. Okay, you do. You got it. Yeah. I'm uh, gonna copy now. I didn't download it though, but yeah, we'll take a gander. We'll see if our uh, very insightful insight will come in handy here. Yeah, I'm pretty more, pretty sure I'm gonna say nothing and just dude look at the ranks in this game. <laughs> yeah. Seventeen and one. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're taking a look at the rank one hundred troll warlord here. Obviously, as you can tell from the rank fifteen hundred or so support player, I'll have a lot of insight on this. Uh, look at the uh, look at like the starting items and stuff, just for like reference. Yeah. For almost everybody. Yeah. So like, st like stats and regen. That's regen like against the lich, lich is just gonna buy mangoes and spam you. Mango clarity, yeah, stand stuff on lich. Just gonna spam you, having some form of sustain. Bane. Bane ended up calling in more regen. Yeah, so this guy probably just went I guess for Yaw or I don't know. Yeah, that's or he has or he has like cheap. eight tangos, which I just feel like you buy fairy fires at that point. Magnus is standard mid items. Rubik has a wind lace because that hero's mo uh, movement speed is positioning based. And then Marana. Dude, my starting wind lace. Can't be shit on anymore. Cause this <laughs> did it. Yeah, cause ZXC, ZXC, ZXC did it. Uh, I'm running going crown. Six. Yeah, I'm running going crown swing Etos rush. I guess. Helm Dom. Oh, right, that's an item now. I forgot that item's not bad. I've Earth... never seen a starting crown. That that's cool actually. Yeah. Earth spirit offlane. Yeah, Earth spirit offlane. It's like just stats and regen. Like. Very few people have double ring, or no people have double rings. No people have ring, wind lace. Like, they're not rushing tranquil boots. And then as we look through the item progression, we'll see, like, 
they have a dedicated aura builder they have a proper draft they don't have this offlane void venge combo where the venge is spamming stun not getting mana regen they have venge spamming with a terror and getting fast lists and clarities and wand and all that stuff we'll take a quick look through uh this and this we're not gonna we're not gonna give like constructive criticism because obviously we don't have any we'll just uh point out stuff yeah we pretty much can contribute nothing to this mm -hmm. i like the troll spamming taunt the troll taunt's pretty good but yeah so bane did have items i guess he just didn't have it right away yeah so i guess it just allows him to harass in lane which again means no uh no rings, any of that. So Bane's itemizing to win his lane because he's a very powerful hero in lane, so he wants to maximize his impact in lane. Yeah, pretty standard stuff in terms of... Oh, they, so they are blocking the save. Yeah. Line. Okay. I guess they're looking to get aggressive yeah. because they want to punish Marana or Spirit. I don't know. That I think that's like interesting. Kind of weak. Yeah, I don't I mean, know. That I feel like does seem like kind of weak lane. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like if it's weak, you just keep it back, though. I don't think you want to body block the creeps. That way, you can put, like you have the wave further back and play it more static. So instead of uh, uh Marana arrows the range creep. Yeah, yeah, that's important. That. Securing range creep with spells. Watch troll. Instead of walking the creeps into his tower, he tanks the creeps for a little bit as he's walking around to avoid melee hits. And waiting for the next wave. By doing this, he's holding the creep wave roughly here, so that way it pushes up not as far. So that's a super important thing to do when you're playing safe lane. Bane gets caught out. Bane's probably not dead. I'm assuming he's fairy fire still. Yeah. Oh damn, he's still staying. He probably has brain sap up if he wants to do something. Did he not fairy fire? He didn't fairy fire. I don't think so. So trolls, Bane dies, troll dropped items to get them called in, so that way he can play the lane a bit better. And as Bane is TPing in, Bane bought the, uh, or brought the items. Marana pulled, which is pretty standard stuff when you're in 4 position. That just means the uh, lane is going to push. Give her spirit free levels. Oh, goes for a stun? Okay. Didn't, didn't want to arrow the big creep. Yeah, this looks pretty standard. Yeah. So far. Essentially a low low threat off lane from dire team like Earth Spirit Marana can kill if they isolate somebody with a rolling boulder into a Marana arrow. Like the odds of that happening isn't very high. And then Bane, as we talked about before, Bane's items allows him to do this. He built entirely to one of the two of the lane just trade regen, trade spells while trolls free farming. So we're not going to con continue with this one too much, or too much, but it's just important to understand the, your strengths of the hero. Like, if you look at every single hero, they're going for something that enables their hero either now or later. Like, Moran is going Helm Dom because they lack an aura builder, and that item's pretty good. Bane is buying starting items that allow him to win his lane harder. Magnus has bought as much stats as possible so he can lane against the Storm Spirit slash Ember Spirit, whatever the hell they put mid him, assuming Storm. Like, they're all just buying what we would consider standard items, but other people, when they buy these Wind Laces, Ring of Regens, if you if you bought Ring of Regen, Wind Laces, Bay, and you just lose the lane for your troll, and you'd have, like, no impact at all in the game, and probably just lose the game. Oh, yeah, this is... Uh, I think Mike the kill there. I guess not. Yeah, so when it's a pretty easy lane as a safe laner, notice how he keeps spam denying creeps even when there's no one near, so that way he can hold the creep wave in this area here. That's a good try by Earth Spirit. Try kicking him into the arrow, it's actually pretty funny. And dies for it. Because mm -hmm. he rolled into tower. So that's <laughs> interesting, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. That was a good dodge by the uh, 
by the troll. Yeah, definitely. And then see how because Troll's playing this lane so static by denying the creep wave, Marana instantly pulled the wave. So that way when Earth Spirit TP's in, he gets level 5 off of this. Also, look at the CS at 7 minutes and find yeah. one 2k replay where the CS looks anything like this. Yeah, exactly. So Troll's at 50 at 7.5 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then one important thing that a lot of support players should look to do is after you pull the wave, see if you can make a play elsewhere if you need to. Like, I as a rule of thumb to any position five players, I tell them pull it, pull the wave at four forty five if you can, and then go immediately walk towards the bounty room. And then Marana pulled the wave for the Earth Spirit. That way, he gets level five for free, and then he TP's top right away and tries killing. But Lich wasn't on the same page as him and cost him a kill roughly. Yeah, this, this seems ambitious. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh. yeah, so we'll go to like the 10 minute mark or so. Do you know why Troll's maxing on his Q? Um, I guess it makes it easier to rotate into jungle and take the camps. Also, it makes it really hard for Ember or for Earth Spirit to trade with him at all. Not that Earth Spirit's trading with the Troll in the first place. Yeah. Really. But I guess that's that's a thing. I don't know. I, I have no it idea how you scale about troll. I just go when I ever play him. I just max out my fucking yeah. whirling axes or fervor. But I don't. Play yeah, I troll. think it, it lets him take uh like he can take the stack a triple stack just because of it. So Maybe. I guess that is that actually is pretty. That's pretty cool. Not yeah. that I ever play troll either, but yeah. it's good to know. Yeah, I actually don't think I played troll in a ranked game since I was like three k. And then notice here, that's a small thing. This. As Troll's hitting creeps, he's looking at the map. Just look, just look to mid, he's like, they're no longer mid. Where's the next place he looks? At the outpost. That way he can see if he needs to go defend the outpost, run at them, make them trade regen for the uh, outpost capture. Pretty, this is obviously ex like extremely clean. Yeah. Yeah, like, there's three heroes over 10 last hits, or over 10 last, over 50 last hits 10 minutes in. So that is that is why these guys are at the top of Dota. Is he gonna root him? Oh, that'd be funny. Oh wait, wait, no, I don't know why he's maxing Q. Actually, I take that back. I had the spells flipped up. I'm just stupid. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think it is. It still has to be to, to clear clear camps quicker. It has to be something like that. Maybe. I know that the ensnare chance goes up from I think it's is it 14 to 20 percent at level one through four. I think that's it. I think it goes up by two per level. And then movement speaker. Uh, yeah, also realize how he pushes a tower with the cart when he's alone in the safe lane. Yeah, You're so allowed to do that as a position one. Yeah, he's punishing the Earth Spirit for TPing elsewhere. So because Earth Spirit TPs, he either forces another hero to TP back bottom to defend that tier one, or they give it up. And then as they start moving heroes bottom, he feels super strong, so he goes top lane. And they have yeah, also, oh, they don't have Bruce split. That they did. No, just. Look at the wards. The ward and these wards aren't like uselessly placed in their own jungle and stuff. Yeah. They're aggressive behind tier ones in triangle. Mm -hmm. It's going to give you vision. Like, they're going to be way more effective than camping a bunch of wards in your own jungle when you don't have a lot to worry about. Yeah, exactly. Basically. Like, like focus on aggressive wards. Even look at Dyer's. Dyer's wards are deep too. Yeah, this ward right here. They haven't even taken the bottom tier one yet, but they know if Radiant Team were going to make a play. Or for future reference for the next five minutes of after taking this tier one, they can invade this area of the map and they can see where they're coming from. They know Troll wants to farm Ancients with the Magnus and Power. They know that people are going to be walking through this area here. So they place the ward preemptively, even if they don't get value out of it for that three, two, three minutes leading into it. They uh, go for it. And also see... Also notice the Roche at 13 minutes. Yep, I was going to say, notice how they feel strong. Troll can Roche. They don't take another 30 minutes to go Roche. <coughs> it's pretty risky, though, not going to lie. And it changed Frost and the Spirit Heroes. But uh, they feel strong enough to do it. Oh, they have Split. What am I talking about? Yeah, there's no way you can fight in the Split at this point. Uh, and I don't know, but I mean, the Lich's positioning there seemed a little questionable. Dude, this game has Pampelona in it. That's sick. Damn, he's not as high rank as he does, I thought. Yeah, 
yeah, this. Dude, tro oh, is Troll dead? No, oh, Troll's good, dude. Scourge McDuck is an animal. Just gonna kill everybody. Yeah. Yeah, if we can call it off of that, because it's been like 10 minutes of us watching. So yeah, just notice how Troll didn't follow a standard skill build. All of, like, even when he's doing nothing, like, watch. He's gonna walk back to base, and at some point he'll probably look somewhere else on the map. Alright, he's shift queuing to grab mangoes. That's fine. Shift queuing things. That's, uh... That's relatively advanced. I mean, learn to do that. It's It yeah. lets you look around the map more. See? For sure. This, you know. that, that deep ward, that ward that did absolutely nothing for them, did a lot for them. They just saw smoke. They can probably assume that the smoke's gonna be coming... I'm gonna check before I... Or so I can draw. Yeah. It'd be like that, most likely. Smoking towards their ward, so they can get a ward up behind this tier 1, tier 2. Sm like, get a ward watching that, or ward watching this, and take a fight. And we'll watch out this last fight, then, to see. Where's how the Bane gripped the mobile hero? Yeah. In the fight? I assume they're just gonna do a Roche, honestly. I guess they still have Storm. And they have no split, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, alright, yeah, no we'll call it here. So yeah, just take notes of that. Like, being adaptive and how you play the game. Like, I, I can promise you Troll doesn't max out his Q level 1 every single game. That seems kind of weird if you're to do that every game. But what do I know? I don't know, is, is B-God here? Or anybody that was in this game? Because yeah. they can explain that. That would be cool. Even yeah. if you got... Even if you weren't in that game, any carry players explain that. Can you go winlace on Ogre Magi? In no. Chat? Um, starting? That feels kind of weird. Yes. I, I definitely don't know that I would do that. I wouldn't. I play a fair bit of Ogre. The problem with winlace level 1 is like, yeah, you're super low mobility, but you're, you just want to tank up. Like, you just want to be a threat in lane. So the best ways you can do it, in my opinion, is you go Buckler level 1. And that way you just impossible to trade hits with and you buff up your carry. You go some form of regen item, so you can go headdress or stacking mangoes and all that. And you just buy a bunch of tango salves, all that, and just win your lane that way. Or you go orb of venom and bloodlust yourself. Because, uh... Where is that? That's not what I want. Okay, I don't even need that. But, uh, because you're pretty slow naturally, you're 290, bloodlust gives you extra attack speed. It gives you bonus self-attack speed. Is extra 30 at level 1. So you get 60 attack speed, which is the equivalent of level 4 bloodlust, and you get the movement speed. If you get Orb of Venom, or I guess you could go win laser, you can just whack people. They can't really stop you. So I don't... I, oh, uh, nope. so, um, B-God is actually in chat. Um, can you... Why did Troll Max his Q? Because I feel like that's not normal. Oh, yes. I will go back. Like, if he can answer that in chat, because I'm very unsure on why you would do that. Move yeah. speed? Okay. Okay, That's I thought fair. so. I, I I figured that was it, but I didn't it know. Is it is normal now? Again, I have a support. I play absolutely zero troll. That's normal? What? I guess it is right. 10 to 30, like, a 30 movement speed increase. And your hero does farm camps pretty quickly. Like, how much damage does level 1 whirling axes do? Like, 90-something, right? 50. Let's see if I can find them. Like an Arteezy troll replay or troll game or something. Yeah, can Arteezy send in a replay to us? Yeah. What yeah, time he did. All right, Paparazzi has a replay as troll or a game. Let's see what he what his skill build is. Uh, see, he maxes his uh his W. I don't know. This is that. I is that really standard? Because he maxed his W. Maybe it's the regional thing. Cause I know that some people max out fervor. I thought it was if you're farming a lot early and you have mana problems since you remove Aquila, you go like one one three, at level five. I thought that was it, but I again have no idea how to play troll, like at a serious level. I could like right click people pretty well. That's about it. So this game, we're gonna be talking about Cookie on OD. Oh, the coordinator's down. Dude, right, yeah, yeah another one from. Europe West, I don't Dag Dak. I don't really know exactly who this is, but the Hawk. in the game. Yeah, the Hawk Dag, probably. Dag. Yeah, the Hawk. That's it. All right, right, I'm stupid. Has a W max and then yeah. a Q max with it, and then just like a couple points in fervor. I don't know. I guess there's some variation in it. I mean, I I believe be God. Yeah. 
If you're still here, you guys. SMD, we... tops and maxes is Q. All right, well, if tops yeah. does it, it's right. So. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate the replay. Like, it was... Obviously, we don't have a lot of time to look through all of them because we have, like, 20 to go through. But we do appreciate it a lot that you sent that in for us. It was informative to both Scars and I as well as people in chat, I'd assume. So this game, OD, kind of okay OD game. The only issue is if it's got out-tempoed by the Clink's Alchemist Dragon Knight. I'll be a bit concerned with my draft just because you guys kind of have no team fight besides, like, Coddle Ultimate. And you have two heroes that take a super long time to come online. As well as having a Bristleback that's prone to losing lanes in the off lane if you don't play it. Like, to put it bluntly, if you play at a very simple-minded way, where you're not creep skipping, you're not fucking with creep waves, like by pulling theirs into yours, anything like that. I'd be mindful with the OD pick, but uh, we'll take a look at it. This is another hero yeah. I don't know a whole lot about. I know how to click yeah, W and click awesome. R. Uh, yeah, and that hero's just out of the meta and like high rank stuff. But B God, if you're in chat and you've anything to say, just just pop it in the chat. We appreciate the insight. Mm -hmm, definitely. Especially with like, yeah, because neither of us are anywhere near AK MMR. So yeah. Fred bug on the coddle. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure every time I've seen him on Coddle, he's broken 15 deaths. Maybe it was just this one game, but I'm pretty confident he died like 17 times this game. Alright, we'll talk about starting items. Double tangos, I like that. So when you're mid, get two shared tangos from your supports. Buy a branch and a fairy fire, don't buy a set of tangos. So just get a uh, fairy fire or buy a second branch. Like now you have five tangos, but if you didn't buy this, or yeah, you have essentially... Four tangos from this, and three from that. So seven tangos worth of regen. And there's no way in hell in the first minute of the game we're going to go through seven tangos worth of regen. Just call out regen as you play the lane. Don't call it out immediately. Yeah, yeah pretty, pretty standard. Yeah, and if you get an observer word, like, don't take an observer word if you're going to backpack it. Try to normally place it right away. Like for Radiant, you walk into the tree line, you place it from that. I'm going to go into Freak him. Uh, I don't know about. Did you need to? On astral, yeah. I, yeah. I don't think so. Probably aggro this back. Yeah. So when you're ranged here, you never want to be attacking uphill. There's a 25% chance you'll miss your attack, which 25% chance you miss a range creep last hit gets denied. Kind of sucks. Just. Right click the clinks and walk the creeps backwards. Not only does that ensure that you can, like, that tells you if they have vision of you. You can see if there's a obs in their hill, stuff like that, if the creeps will follow you. You can, uh, last it a lot easier. Also, yep. buy items. Yeah. Having 600 gold right away, this is not good. And as I commented on before, you bought these three tangos and you have four tangos effectively from the shared tangos, and they just haven't been used yet. So that 90 gold could have been spent on one iron branch. That's one damage that you could have got. The small stuff like that, and then you placed a ward under vision. So if he had a ward on his high ground, or if he was paying half attention, he would have seen that. Look, he is, you are trashing on him in CS right now. Yeah. Which is cool. I feel like that shouldn't happen, right? Pretty confident Clink's no. win is levels 1 through 4. Like, super hard. Especially against an OD, whose early yeah. levels probably yeah, yeah. are pretty crap. Yeah, uh, I don't really know, I don't play a lot of OD. Which is good, probably go... Oh. Yeah, like, using spells to secure creeps is pretty good. I'd be more mindful of using my Astral to secure range creeps over to securing a, a single melee creep. But I still think it's okay. The only issue is, like, right now, you're attacking uphill with no Astral. If I got denied, like 25% chance that gets denied by the clinks. Wait, do people max out essence flux now? I know there is. Do it's the hero isn't played, but I know that <laughs> skipping your Q is definitely a thing for the yeah. last stage. That yeah. I feel like is. Well, yeah, I knew that. That's been the build for a while since they've reworked his sanities. But like, is maxing out essence flux over the increased range in astral still a thing? And would you skip your ult here and put another point in your W? I don't I know. That might also be... Uh, yeah. 
I, I, literally, this hero is not like I never see this hero. So, dude, this Clinks just doesn't know what a deny is. He right literally here. has zero denies. Your Terra Blade has fifteen. What? Uh... We need to attack that again. Yep. This is okay. Like, yeah. We'll go to the lane. It's a bit quicker. He denied the illusioner. Oh wait, yes. what did he say? We didn't. We didn't. Oh yeah. I mean, I got, I'll pull it up real quick. Um, some of my teammates were bashing me from my itemization and decisions. I'm looking towards a more criticized view of my play style and item utilization. I'm already pretty aware of how OD works. I'm just not sure if I did good that game. All right, so let's do some like focusing on the itemization as the uh, as the game goes on. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like the biggest letdown right now is skill build and the lack of essence flux usage. Oh, he just instantly deleted him. Isn't OD He's fun? Dead. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to comment too much on the skill build because I have no idea. Like, at all. That hero makes no sense to me. But yeah, the standard thing. When you kill the enemy mid laner, push the laner into their tower. For every one creep that, get, uh, that they miss in terms of XP, that's essentially two denies for you. So the more, like, yeah, do you want to scroll through and look at look at the item progression a little yeah. bit? Yeah, sure. We'll take a look at that quickly. Oh. The game is fully down. Cool, cool. Oh, very fun. So Aghanim's blade mail pickup. Is that I, I, correct? I, I yeah, like... I don't know about the blade mail. Maybe? Yeah. I don't think so. I feel like if you just buy 4 staff BKB and just have your caudal fucking with... Uh, Clinks, if possible, because Clinks right now is your primary threat. But it's also like he can just ignore you for the brief durations of the blade mail and kill off the, your backliners. I don't know. Okay. Ar Armel played this hero four days ago. Let's see what he went. He has okay. Well, I'll pull up the item progression. He has. I can't even pull it up because it's SEA. That's right. Um, mm -hmm. blank BKB Hurricane Pike. Treads. Yeah, like I don't think blade mail is a bad item on OD because it gives you and gives you damage armor and the reflection. But I do think that if you had a BKB, like if you push the four staff into the blade mail slot, Clockwork can't kill you, and Clinks can never solo kill you. And the thing I'm scared about is like if dra the dragon. Oh my god, dude, Dragonite bought a meteor hammer. Oh, Jesus Christ. But this invalidated everything I was gonna say. I was gonna say if you get blink dragon stunned, and I look at the items, and this fucking trank soul ring meteor hammer. Is it a support? Like what? I don't know. I think so. Yeah, I, feel, I feel like if you're a support, you still don't build a meteor hammer on dragon knight. It is. It, it's the zoning. It's the five dragon knight. This sounds so unbelievably awful to zoning out a bristleback. All right. You're playing support DK. Don't go fucking meteor hammer, please. What's the trend with DK and meteor hammer? I don't think that's a trend. That's not a trend. The only the only trend is that you lose MMR when you purchase it. That's the only yeah. only linkage what, between two. What what rank are you, Daniel Ku? Is that is this like super high rank that this happens? Because I feel like I don't see that. Yeah, that that sounds horrible. Yeah, it is. DK just wants to build tanky and pushes it like unkillableness in his uh, ultimate to take towers. Going Meteor Hammer is just allowing you to disable stuff and push towers more. Well, you can already do both those things. Alright, mind control. Let's see what he built. An OD or uh, Dragonite? Uh, Dragonite, yeah. He does not have a yeah, Meteor no. Hammer. Yeah, no, I know for a fact so, that Meteor Hammer is not a thing. Yeah, that's definitely not. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, well, don't... Yeah, that's horrible. Don't buy that. Holy shit. Got lucky you left there. Jesus, literally 10 HP. Yeah. Did you tread switch to strength? I'm pretty confident he did. I don't remember seeing the... Uh... Oh, don't take the tome. You're level 10 and a half. Oh, yes. Be a... I know he thought about it, but be a nice man like Cookie or woman. I don't care. Just uh, don't take the tome. You're level 10 and a half. No one's even close to you in levels. Like, the enemy mid laner is like a full level below you. Well, so far this game looks relatively clean, like yeah. definitely clean. The blade mail is the only thing I think I would hesitate with going. Mm-hmm. Get some other games. Yeah. Uh, S triple C. Um. Oh, 
Oh wait, this is DK. Right now, it's kind of a problem with draft. Like, you have a terror blade that can force towers, kind of, and they have a dragon knight. So, dragon knight can do it pretty, pretty easily with less threat, and you're just an OD who has to hit creeps or hit heroes, kind of. Well, yeah. I mean, here's, here's another OD build: Shadow Blade, Blink, Force Staff, Ags, Aether Lens. Hmm. That's that's different. I, mm -hmm. Again, I don't really know what to say about OD itemization, but probably not a Blade Mail. Yeah. Like, Alec isn't super far ahead, which is very good. You're within 1,000 net worth of him 16 minutes in. Like, this is the time where Alchemist starts getting getting out of control and winning the game. Which doesn't appear that he's doing that super hard. Like, yeah, your team is feeding mindlessly top, but that'll, that'll happen. You have your egg in him. Hopefully we've been somewhat helpful with this. The eggs, I feel like, is... That, that was meta... When Odie was good, like yeah. five patches ago, like little patches, not like maybe like one big patch ago, but you're uh yeah yeah I don't Crystal. really know. I mean I feel like this game's pretty clean so far. You're kind of just doing OD thing. Yeah, I'd just be more mindful of taking away Terror Blade's jungle. Just let him farm that. The only thing I'd be looking to have done is like next catapult wave or with Terror Blade's meta if you really wanted to, you could have uh, taken that mid tier one with meta. The problem is you guys just don't have a draft to fight. That's an ult, yeah, that's a triple. There you go. Yeah, that worked. Yeah, so far this is pretty clean. Like I don't I definitely don't think it's a drafting issue, but within the game itself, this is definitely not your fault. Mm -hmm. like, you didn't like do anything giga throwy. Yeah. At this point your team shouldn't even be forcing fights super hard. They were just winning them. I guess OD is just a monster. <laughs> okay, I guess uh, <laughs> I guess you guys can fight. My bad. I honestly didn't think that OD did that much damage anymore. Because they, they nerfed the hell out of all of his... Like, uh, his Sam's Eclipse got hit pretty hard. Didn't they nerf Astral at some point? They nerfed everything, I think. I actually have no idea what their, the changes were to him, but I'm pretty confident they nerfed something pretty huge besides his ultimate damage. Well, they did just buff, like, his talents. Alright, yeah, now you're dead. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're still dead. Alright, well, hopefully you get, like, a li again, I don't really... OD items, I just don't go the blade mail. Yeah, don't go blade mail. Go, like, four staff birth items, so that way the clocker can't, uh, hookshot you and have cling salt kill you. Because, like, even if you Astral Clockwork, his battery assault persists and will kill you. Or if you Astral yourself, you're just delaying your death. Like, I can walk out of cogs. You force that thing here, probably. No, Clink's dead. So risky as hell to do that, though. Like, there's no real reason to Astral itself forward. Yeah, like, I would have gone for a Staff BKB, I think, instead of the Blade Mill. They're still going to die uh, if you have Blade Mill up in that window where you don't have the four Staff to Blade Mill. I think the Ags is okay. Yeah, I still think Agdams is essential on him. I think most people have. I think the build from what I remember seeing was Agdams first items or Aetherlands Agdams. The Aetherlands Agdams sounds super slow. Like, that sounds really bad. Even now? Yeah, I oh, think yeah, so. Really. Is, no, is it maybe? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, with a cart wave, you can go make a tower. And after this tower, I just back up, I think. If you mind yeah, about their well, moonlight, you, yeah. Hopefully you get somewhat of the point here. We should try and move on shortly. Yeah. Just because we have so many still. Yeah. Do, you, do they win this game? There's I believe no they do. They do. They do win this game. 
Yeah, Watch his last fight. It's like, I don't. I, we'll see if they have Blade Monk. Oh, yeah, this fight's over. Your entire team's dead. Oh, you left the Quickening Chirp? You left the Quickening Chirp. The horror. That item is so good on you. Or if you're in the Astro build, at least. Alright, we'll yeah. call it there. I just think being mindful of Blade Monk purchase. Like, if you're against a Clockwork, a Ricky. Uh, who else? What are here with suck against four staffs? Houseguard is not the greatest against four staffs. I think like that. Just get a four staff early instead of the blade mount. They're gonna kill you anyways. Skyrath. Yeah, Skyrath. Yeah, that's that. I forgot I was even a hero. Yeah, I you played him last that, night. That yeah, that yeah, that that game. Um, Skyrath definitely. Do they? the Skyrath still rush rod? I feel like it's. I oh, believe so. Well. Yeah, the hero sucks. Yeah, the hero sucks. There it is. Match that or not found. Okay, come on, coordinator. Don't do me dirty. Yeah. I was say, it's either Rod or Scythe. But... Yeah, it has an abysmal rate on Do win rate on Dota 2 Pro Tracker. 44%. Yeah. Not surprising. Can yeah, I just go to look downloads and search in this way? No. Okay. Can Dota coordinators yeah, down, dude? Really weird, though. Is it? It's totally down. Seems that way. It says it's restoring connection. I just it's have to Steam, relaunch. Well, I know Steam maintenance is on Tuesdays. Yeah. We'll give it a minute. If it doesn't come back up, I'll just reboot. It won't even let you watch already downloaded replays. Yeah, apparently not. Ones that we already watched, I think, today. Yeah, don't even let me take a look uh, at them. Annoying. Unfortunate. Yeah, you can try and restart the client. Yeah, I'll get on that. Yeah, but in a summary, definitely don't go meteor hammer on DK. Yeah, of all things to take away from that one, don't go that item, dude. Just don't go Meteor Hammer, the item sucks. Yeah, that's definitely bad. There's like very limited time so that you should be like, hey, I need a Meteor Hammer here. And if you ask yourself that, ask yourself that again. Coordinator's still down, dude. Ugh. Dude. Is Steam Maintenance gonna kill us tonight? We've had no problems with it. Yeah. The one day, time we figure it out... It's working pretty well. And then Tuesday maintenance. Didn't even think about that to be honest. When we changed the time to six thirty for the EU folk. I thought it was, I thought it was later in the day for NA. Still, I thought it was like two AM. No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's almost always at this time. I think. Seven PM uh, well that's slightly frustrating. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Meteor Hammer is a meme build going around. If you time it correctly with Dragon Tail, it's like a 7 second stun. Yeah, it's still trash. Yeah, but why don't you do that on Tasteless Void then? You Chronosphere people and you hit a 5 man. Chrono and the... Yeah. Chrono like... and the Meteor Hammer? You guys haven't seen that? Oh, that amazing combo? It's like, why why hit 7 seconds when you can hit like 9 seconds or 8 seconds with Chrono? Uh, that, that just seems so dumb. And that was a ranked game, right? I can't even check if it was ranked because fucking coordinator's down. How long? I thought it wasn't down for. How long is it down? Like 30 minutes? Go down for that long? I thought it was like 5 minutes. I, I have no idea. What build are people. Wait, people are legit doing that speed. What speed guide? Do people actually take speed guides seriously? I mean, I feel like. P of grip. Okay, he definitely did not say to go meteor hammer on Bane. If he said that, like, well, people need to remember that speed. Like, I don't watch any of his videos. I don't know if it's fully true, but from what I've seen, he's a businessman. He doesn't care if the things are accurate. He's just gonna keep pumping out content because he needs to. His finances depend on it. So the more content he puts out, whether it's good or bad, he's just gonna keep putting it out because he needs to. 
Let's see. Did he? What? What? What guy? What speed build is it? The the Bane one? Speed's Bane video. I think I saw part of that where he had like Bane. The the build he had in there was fine. Coordinator's down. I guess we just wait. Yeah. And look at all that. Look at all that damage from Meteor Hammer. With I wasn't stack. sure if Sticky Napalm Meteor Hammer stacked. Cause I know it stacks with Radiance and uh, Dragon Scale. Look at the damages too. Fifty damage a second. Crazy. Radiance Meteor Hammer. Yeah, the Dream Build. You just. Is lasso someone? Uh, wait, did it not stack with radiance? Right, so I thought it did. I honestly thought this stacked with radiance. Am I wrong? It's not Apparent a spell. Apparently. Dude, that's why we lost a game where you picked Batrider 3 and Rose. <laughs> Maybe so. I honestly thought it stacked. I don't play much Batrider anymore. When I do, I play hard support. So I guess that makes sense for me not to know that. Why don't we just meme it? And I have a like and build an ax so we lose a crusader game. Dude, this is this coordinator is actually annoying. Yeah. I don't know what this, its issue is. See this is a dream combo right here, and you just refresh and then you go again. With a Batrider Meteor Hammer combo. And as you do that you just paint a smiley face with your blink dagger firefly. Paint a smiley face. See? That's how you play Batrider. Okay, well, uh, it's still down. Yeah. Uh, to, to, to. I guess I'll reboot again, see if that works. I think it's gonna be. Yeah, it's it's down now. Yeehaw! I love Dota 2. You know, when we said that we'd be here for like 5-6 hours, I didn't account for an hour of that being, uh, waiting for the game. Yeah, I was sitting here waiting for the, uh, game coordinator to, you know, wake up. Maybe. Ah, oh, fuck off. Yep, I, uh, don't know what our plan is. How long do you want to wait for before we call it and we just continue like tomorrow or something or later tonight? We could just, I guess we could just wait this out. I mean, it depends how long it's going to be down for. If it's not down for much longer. Yeah, we'll give it to like 7.30 or something like that. Yeah, this is super fun sitting here. Uh, I guess I'm able to mess around in demo. What is a? Uh... You can work on your uh, DK meteor hammer combo. <laughs> no, I, I don't. Bad and do that. I guess we can like talk about settings or something like that. That seems value for people. Uh yeah, that's a that's a good point, dude. Why do you have no item hot? What? Okay, that has to be glitched. Out. It's all quick. It's quick cast. I don't use anything on a uh, not quick cast. Okay, true, 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 true. I didn't notice. The only thing I don't is my TP, because I fucking hate that. Uh, yeah, let's we'll just talk about hotkeys. So, hotkeys are cool. They uh, let you do stuff. Quick cast, as I just said, very important. So the difference between quick cast and normal cast is quick cast or normal cast is obviously you click on the spell, like you click your Q button, and you have to manually click the uh left click on your mouse to activate the spell while quick cast is click q and let go of it or you just click q depending on what your setting is and you activate the spell so it is pretty uh pretty handy for quick reaction times like puck's waiting rift like uh marana's arrow stuff like that it's really handy for any spells i'd highly recommend everybody using this like obviously with your Hot key is not mine, unless you like mine for the default ones. Um, control groups are pretty important. As you play more and more of the game, you'll probably pick up a few micro heroes. So I'll go like the Beastmaster when I play that hero. So then 
the way control groups work, as I've explained in previous weekly replay reviews, is you highlight the units you want to control, and then you click on the uh, hotkey button, and then you control them. So like if I buy a Necker book, it's been a while since I played Beast's account. So if I hit three on my mouse, I instantly lock into the uh, Necker Warriors. If I hit four, I control just the Necronomicon Archer. Then two is my boar. And then five would be my Helm Dominator creep. I don't have a Helm Dominator creep. Just being able to do that and having a hotkey set up that allowed me to more effectively move my creeps around the map. Very helpful for like split pushing. Like if I hit seven on my mouse, I control all of their units. I can split push without having to hit the control all units button, unselect my like control all units, hit that, and then unselect myself and walk away. Just practicing with hotkeys, like or control groups, I mean, would help a lot for brewmasters, beastmasters, chens, enchantresses, meat bows, any of those type of heroes. I highly recommend you guys use them. We got a question in chat. What's your opinion on Sir Action Slash? Opinion on Windrunner? Yeah, the hero sucks. He's yeah. right. Yep. Yeah. I watched that recently. Yeah. I uh, definitely agree. You, you were telling me like VPP is picking it for. Yes. Which is. I don't know about that. I yeah. mean, it is VPP doing it. Did they beat Secret today? No, they got 3 0 Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that should. That should tell you all you need to know. Yeah. Don't pick Windrunner. The, the hero sucks. Maybe yes. mid. No, if not If you're, mid. like, extremely mechanically good with win rate. No. But. Yeah, don't do it. That hero's, that hero's bad. Like, just straight up. The hero needs reworked. They nerfed... Like, the problem with Wind Ranger is that people just refuse to, like... For any lower bracket people... I know a lot of a lot of people hate the uh, concept of Wind Ranger. They hate Shackle Shot. They hate Focus Fire. They hate Wind Run. And power shot just fucking sucks. No one cares about that. They just the concept sucks to them, and I just don't want to learn to counter it. So they just complain they got it nerfed. Like the uh, Aghanims got changed because it was too good, and the new Aghanims was pretty good. And they removed the level twenty winter on into this talent, even though that was like the only reason she was pickable. And they put it to level twenty five, which is like a pretty substantial difference. That could be like a 10, 15 minute difference in certain games. Where you go from level 20 to 25 if you're like a support or offlane and win ranger for whatever fucking reason. Yeah, if so. that, that's assuming you even get to 25. Yeah, that's assuming you don't lose in time. Because uh, again, yeah. that hero is not good. So yeah, I agree completely. And what he said about it definitely made sense. Like a lot of the arguments. I don't remember much. I just remember, yeah, people, people have issues with that whole concept of... I remember, like, remember the good times and forgetting the bad. Like, look at a lot of sub 3k invoker players. All the guys with the, the little uh, the wee child invoker is running around the map. They go Yule Scepter. Ever, like, where is he? I can't find him. I guess he's just not in the Steam Yeah, the, cool. the kid invo. That can, yeah. People that can use like one combo. Yeah. Well, they have one combo. It's they go Yule Scepter. No, they go Midas. Was it Midas, Boots of Travel, Yule's Aghanims every game? And then all they do is just run around the map, they yule somebody, they sun strike, chaos meteor, deafening blast, and that's all they know how to do. And they always have that pre bound. They're not like ghost walking around. They're not wearing like the tornado, EMP, ice wall, cold snap stuff. They're just, that's all they do. And they're like, I got a kill. I'm good at this hero. And they're just happy with themselves. So, like, yeah, chances are most invokers are just like, you're like, they're just fucking useless. The original hero is bad right now. Like, it's not a good hero in the first place, and if you're bad with it, you're just, like, grief tier. Mm -hmm. You offer nothing. Yeah. Like, if you look at any high-ranking invoker players, like, I know Bryle on Team Crazy plays a lot of invoker, and I know that, uh... Who's it? Quinn? Yeah, I think it's Quinn. Quinn also plays a lot of invoker. All they do is Quas Wax. They go Quas Wax, Rush a Vessel, they run around the map ganking stuff. Because Cold Snap procs, or Vessel procs Cold Snap. As well as EMP being his best spell right now. So they're not doing this, like, combo stuff. They're just playing Invoker as this utility mid-game tempo setter, which is very important. Well, uh, are we still down? <laughs> yeah, we're still down. Uh, Sick. I guess we'll talk more about the hotkeys while people ask questions. So something that's kind of cool for a lot of people 
If you go to the advanced hotkeys, this thing called move, this thing called directional move. So what move is, if I hit the button so I have it bound to 8, I can walk up to the unit and I will follow it. I'll actually create an enemy. So I, oh, whoops, I have to left click. So I'm currently moving and following him. So instead, I, I'm never attacking him, I just always follow him. Which this is pretty important for heroes like Juggernaut who spin. Where, uh... Yeah, it's also how you troll your teammates by just following them. <laughs> yeah, so like, when you're spinning as Jug, you cannot right click, it doesn't do anything. So if I follow, I'm always going to stay on top of that guy, I have a train going. But uh, I'm always going to stay on top of that guy, so he can never walk away from me, unless he's faster movement speed. And I'm not risking, like, low MMR Jug players, they will try right clicking, I right clicked him once and I lost the uh, spin. And the same thing with Lycan. Lycan, when he gets the invis on his wolves, the uh, higher, high, high ranking uh, Lycan players, they will use the move command and have their Lycan wolves follow the person around the map so they can scout. Which, super, super value. You're getting pretty much a free following ward to follow people around the map. So I'd recommend having a move command. Very good. The other one I already showed was directional move. So directional movement just means that you follow in that direction. So normally if I click on this river, I walk towards it and I walk into it. If I hold directional movement key, or I hit it and right click in, I'm not walking towards it, I'm walking that direction. So for certain heroes like Shadow Fiend or Bat Rider, stuff like that, that want to be looking in a direction, don't want to risk right clicking, just get a directional movement key and uh, use it. It makes it a lot easier for hitting your raise combos, it makes it easier to follow people, it makes it easier, like, if you're going for a four staff play, like, say I have to escape, four staff, oh, that's four boots, cool, it's like, I want to walk over there, instead of walking and, like, risking hitting it too close where I hit like that and I walk away, I just hold directional move as I'm walking forward as four staff myself. Cool stuff there, Yeah. all these little tricks, that is pseudo advanced. Yeah, it definitely what is. Three types. What are three types of mid laners I should learn so I can spam them to learn Dota? Three types or three heroes? Three to I learn Dota. What would that be? Uh, uh, probably Zeus it has to be one of them. That hero is pretty brain dead and has a ton of impact if you position correctly. Dragonite for sure. Yeah. Like Zeus, Dragonite, and what else? And then uh, take some maybe Queen of Pain from Poof. Be, <laughs> maybe yeah, I think maybe Dragonite, Queen of Pain, and Zeus. So Dragonite helps teach you how to set like create a tempo because Dragonite's a very tanky hero. He's probably like the, one of the easiest heroes in the game to play in terms of like the bare basics. And you can just walk at towers. You kill them. You learn how to player not being tanky, how to force objectives. Because he's so tanky, it's a lot less punishing when you overstep and stuff like that, and you build tanky. Zeus teaches you about how important spell immunity is, how to position properly, because if you get caught as Zeus, you die, you have no mobility spells. Queen of Pain teaches you about overextending and ganking. So if Queen of Pain... Oh, go on. Uh, well, he said he's spamming Ember and MK. Yeah, those heroes are pretty okay. good. Ember is good. I played as a position four because, like, the only role I play capably is position four. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I would definitely MK is good. It's it's kind of it's kind of scary to play because you can if you get too aggressive you just die because people overestimate the strength of MK. But in like lower MMR, people aren't gonna nuke you before you can get boundless off once you have Jingu. So, or like, aren't even gonna position correctly to fight. To fight you, damn! You got a whole train going. <laughs> yeah, me but, and the boys. Like they're both the the like MK is a good hero. Sniper, Lord Chrono said sniper. Sniper is good until you hit three K MMR, and then people realize that they have to walk around the team fight and insta kill you. Mm -hmm. So that hero's kind of shitty once you get to like higher MMR. Um. Uh, Death Prophet. Death Prophet is very good. Yeah, DP, same idea with Dragon Knight. You're super tanky, you build tank, and you learn to force objectives. And, like, keep a fast-paced tempo. Yeah, that and people in 1k MMR will probably not understand how Spirit Siphon works, so your life will be even easier. Yeah. 
to get to the higher ranks. Um, never won against the Huskar mid as a spirit, only as Death Prophet or Necro. Yeah, well, Huskar is annoying, and if a Huskar is good and you're the wrong matchup, you will get annihilated. Because they will just not let you near the wave. Yeah, definitely. Uh, any other, like, hotkey things I should go over? Don't blatantly auto-attack creeps in your waves. Pin trip. Pin trip is cool. I should talk about that. Uh, where is it? Dude, I use edge pen, and I've used it for 8,000 games. Yeah. Edge pen is fine. No, I'm just People saying. People shit on edge pen. People don't shit on edge pen. Edge pen is, like, the best way to play Dota in terms of camera position. So as I mentioned a lot, because I've talked about it more than Scars does, is camera positioning. So... A lot of people, like a lot, a lot of people, I would comment on, your camera sucks. Your camera will be like this when you're in a fight and you just don't see anything. Like, that's not good. So, what you want to do to fix that is go to option or hotkeys, camera grip right here. I have it on my middle mouse button, so like the scroll wheel. So what that does is I can just pinch or push it down and I can move. So if I want to move it a bit up to the left, I just logically pull or drag down, like pulling myself towards it. Having edge pan is fine for any macro movements, like if I want to quickly look up in a fight, that's fine. But for smaller scale stuff, like how I talk about dead space and you want to maximize how much you see, it is better for smaller movements to use pinch grip. The best way to play is a uh, pinch grip with edge pan. If you play uh, WASD, that means your fingers are either occupied hitting butt or abilities, or they're busy moving your camera. You can't do both. You can't do both with ease. If you play WSD, obviously don't take that as an insult, it's how you play the game, but I would consider switching. Yep, 100%. Uh, WSD, I can't even imagine playing with that, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, one of my best friends, we've been playing Dota together for like, since 2015, and he just switched to uh, Edge Pan this past like, few months. It's been, it's been a rough go for him. Oh no, I lost my Beastmaster. Who, who is it? <laughs> you, you haven't met him yet. He uh, oh. doesn't have his computer. Yeah, it's a rough go. Is uh, a we... thingy... Oh, it's connecting. Oh, yes. Logging in. You're Let's get it. You're dropping some frames, by the way. was just told. Am I? In chat. That's unfortunate. Hopefully it uh, picks back up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's mediocre. Okay, I'm going to reboot one more time. Let's hope for the best. We've wasted like half an hour talking about hotkeys and useless or useful, but that stuff could be made into like a two page guide. Yeah. Switch to 30 FPS, maybe. Do you know how to do that quickly? Potentially. Without killing the stream. We'll find out if I know how. Again, yeah, we're slightly tech challenged, the two of us. So. Oh, I need to just turn off my stream. That's what I thought. If it's that bad, I can turn it off and turn it back on for you guys. I guess let me know. Oh, we're back. Yes. Thank right. the heavens. 18 hours more of replay to go. Did we ever do Sin... Okay, we didn't do this one. All right. Cynix ND, Void Spirit. Cigars get on the uh, the comments for that one before we start. Oh, fuck off. All right, so tier one DFZ here. This was literally my fourth unranked solo queue win ever. Congratulations. Hopefully that's <laughs> four of many. Uh, I couldn't talk at the time I played the match, so I but I tried to write to my team instead. That's always good, assuming they speak English. Although 3, 8, and 10 doesn't sound too good to me, I was pretty happy with what I did in this game, but I'd like to know what I could generally improve upon, aside from last hits, waves ruin timings, as I know that issue already. Uh, maybe some advice on map slash mat, map slash match awareness would be nice. And I don't know too much about most heroes yet, and therefore struggle with the most struggle the most with matchup judgment, I guess. I wonder if there could be said anything about that aside from play more games. Okay. For that last point, so, uh, not overly. So, judging matchups? That's kind of... 
that's kind of hard without playing a lot. Um, yeah. You kind of just have to understand what they, like, recognize what the heroes do. Nice overwolf. Thanks. Probably disable that whenever we do streams. If I have to turn it off for every single game that comes up. I think it's fine. I don't think people mind. I hope people don't mind. If you do, I'll, I'll turn it off. So, uh, is this is this a uh, Void Spirit support? Because I know a lot about that. Or it's Windlace. There's no way it is. He's a Quelling Blade level 1. It's a Void Spirit support. It actually yeah, is for sure. You, yeah, if you're playing Void Spirit support, go Windlace so you get flamed by your team. <laughs> oh lord, that was fast. Okay, well, what just happened? <laughs> okay, make sure you're watching where you're walking. If you look at the main map, you can see they're walking at you. You're just, oh, yeah, yeah. You're just staring at the fountain, you're just walking, like, what is happening? Who is up there? Raze is up there. You're just walking into, like, five heroes. You still haven't checked, and then you walk in, you're like, oh shit, there's three heroes in front of me. And you walk into the arrow, that's unfortunate. I think you just like run away. Like oh. at this point, just give up the runes. Yeah, and yeah. Just walk down at that point. Just don't walk towards them. If you just kept walking away, you're probably okay. You know what? Mistakes are made. Wait, are you the off laner? Or what a position are you? Are there it's positions? Probably a co off lane. Yeah. It's a, co it's a communist or... off lane. They share the farm. <laughs> e level one um i think that's okay for your security you are, but uh, yeah i think that's okay if you're securing range creeps with it just be very mindful yeah. of using your spell it's like a lot of people have this problem not just you just when you're spamming a spell that's a good cue oh that's unfortunate hit a stick but uh Using your spells and then getting it just into deny range is super, super costly. Because you just used a bunch of mana and put a spell on cooldown to not gain something that you want. Like, you're benefiting them more by using the spell in that scenario. Even if they tank one tango of health, they're getting more benefits out of it than you would be. So, obviously you said that you had issues with understanding hero matchups, just due to not playing enough of the game. Obviously, play more of the game, read Wikipedia's, stuff like that to understand what each hero does. What you doing here? You pulling the wave? What for couriers? Or both? Right, so it is a is it a position four? That's a that's a courier snipe. That was clean. You do it. You gotta. Oh, do you have to attack up there? I thought they would have dropped the aggro. Oh. Then there's vision. There's probably a ward on yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is pretty cool. That's actually that's cool. This is perfect. Yeah, that's really good. You pulled two so creeps. What you're gonna have to do here is instead of tanking all these creeps, just go to walk around in circles. As I said with that troll warlord, just walk around in circles. If you, all right, this is a mistake. So, if, as soon as this, uh, as soon as you pull two creeps, that is totally fine. Because not only do you kill off these two creeps, so they're getting zero XP, you're more or less gonna just deny the next wave as well. If you spam deny, so you're killing six creep that's out of potential four that you should have got. So just walk in circles here, like just keep walking around so melee creeps don't hit you. And then as the next wave is coming in, let the creeps uh, aggro each other, and then you will pretty much neutralize their wave. Like you did a really smart thing in pulling the wave, like super super good stuff, especially for being new. But you pulling it into that, you're essentially neutering what you could have got out of the uh, potential pull. That was that was clean though. Yeah, definitely was smart to do. So good stuff on that. Your razor cannot free farm. You are a higher level than your razor, so interesting. Regeneration. I'd get for banyards here. I probably would have looked to uh, pull that creep wave, but. I was gonna, I, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. But, uh, no reason to use the simulate there. It's not a very good spell, level 1, especially. Like, it's a very good spell, I mean, but not level 1. It's like 80 damage, right? 100 damage. Yeah, so yes. 80 after reductions. It's escape. 
Did that Marana just try and arrow a courier, or is that just a miss? I don't know. What is Wigging or Voice Rate stacking? Not bad. On thought his agility game would be lower. So yeah, you're pulling the creep wave again. The banners are still up, right? Yeah, I'm not crazy. Oh, the drive by. And the word expired. Yeah, so that's what I was commenting on before. When you were walking up high ground, like you're doing here, why are you floating on my screen? So as you walk up here, right click the creeps right now, and that way you uh keep you re aggro them onto you. Because now you dropped half the creeps. I don't even know what happened to their two creeps, to be honest. I didn't see that. This is still pretty fine. I mean, yeah. the LC has 16 last hits at 6 minutes, which is good mm -hmm. for you. Yeah, your second highest with your communism off lanes. That's always a good thing. So your mid is getting dumpstered. The sniper mid? Oh yeah, Cardell's mid. Cardell. Cardell Sharpie. Dude, that's my favorite name in all of Dota. Cardell Sharpie. It's actually so funny. What a hero. What a hero indeed. Yeah, Not much reason to use your spells there. Like, you, the, the last hit was going to be secured if you weren't auto-attacking and you were timing it properly. Well, uh, yeah, you could definitely get it. Like, spell usage just comes with playing the game more. Like, I'm not going to comment too heavily on that. I just looks to be securing the outpost somewhat soon. You can pull this wave, but the issue with that is you're going to miss the outpost timing. If I'm going to pull this wave, I aggro the wave right now and walk immediately down to the right. Go this way, and then you uh, tank some creeps for a few seconds, but you're taking the outpost. So you're getting creep pulled, XP, and gold from the bounty and the uh, outpost. Make sure you attack. Oh, come back. Yes. As you're walking up, just make sure you get attacked, or you attack it. Okay, you dropped half the wave again. And then you didn't stay in aggro range, so they lost vision of you. Yeah, that's just. They have to keep vision of you. If you attack them, you re give them back vision. Just small things, though. Uh, is this guy dead? Okay, yeah. so. They're being ganked by Cardell Sharp. I didn't you know he was there? Did he? Yeah. Did he kill? What's his face? Razor? Yes? No? Maybe? No, he didn't. He didn't know, I think. I wasn't looking at the mini map. Yeah, it would probably be helpful to put a ward down just so you can spot out. Oh, my TP. Yeah. Okay, that was, that was a little scary. So we know that sniper is still here. And if you have your camera, like, your camera should be higher like this, so that way you can see where they are, like, if it's even higher, you could see the Marana as well. So since we have a double TP, so the way TPs work is for every unit that TPs the tower in like a, what is it, 10 second window, they, uh, it increases the TP timer by 2 seconds. I don't remember what the, the timer is, but this is going to be a 5 second timer. So Marana has 5 seconds to realize, oh, I can arrow this, which if you had your camera a bit higher up, you'd realize that. As soon as this happens, oh, that's a good arrow. That TP should have been way further down. Like, it should have been down, like, in that tree line right there, they can't see you. Unless they have that up there warded, like up that high ground, they won't see you TP into this tree line. Just be mindful of, uh, TPing into three heroes like that. Like, that, that's a problem with camera work, just lack of game awareness. Here, Zeus is counter ganking. This is counter ganked the dire creeps. Very effective. Yeah. Yeah, appears. you're dropping a bunch of frames. Am I? I can reboot stream then if needed. It's also to the other people watching, if it's if they think it's bad. Hmm. Well, it's up to other people. If it's if it stays that bad, I will gladly stop and reboot. So the gank on the anti-mage and tide hunter is a bit weird. You don't really have any kill threat on those two heroes. 
anti-mage can just blink away and your tide or the tide hunter if he takes too much damage he will proc his passive and he'll dispel your stun or slow radiance middle tower is under attack radiance structures are fortified Yeah, so far pretty normal. Pretty Dota in. Oh, uh, what do you want to look at again? Journey, you're here, right? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, cool. I uh, hear said that he wanted us to look at hero matchups and the small things he could do better, if I remember right. Uh, honestly, if you want to work on map awareness, just look at the mini map. Mm hmm. Like, it sounds stupid, but it's it's very helpful. Yeah. I forget who it was, but somebody when we were first starting this mentioned that they learned how to be map aware by playing a custom game called Overthrow. So it's a Valve made custom game that somebody else remade and made it better, where it's pretty much like a, a battle royale type thing, where you like it's a center stage area and everybody's fighting to control that area. I'd recommend playing that, because apparently that helped the guy a ton. Because you have to be watching where all the teams are coming from and being aware, like you'll learn what heroes do what pretty quickly because it's a default heroes. It's not uh, edited in any way. You just kill yourself, by the way. You can't use both of your escapes or all three of your escape mechanisms. He is not going to duel. I'm pretty confident he just duels you in the arrows. They don't have arrow. They do. Yeah, this Zeus might cost him a duel though. Hmm. I honestly thought you were dead there. I feel like you should have died there. Using both Astral Steps and Dissimulate in front of Legion, Sniper, and a uh, Marana. Honestly, you're not doing terrible. Actually, I would be happy. Like, you said you were happy, your school line wasn't reflective of it, but I'd be happy if I was you. I mean, uh, the skill build... Um, I mean, when I play Void Spirit 4, I'm at, I go, like, a 4-1-4 build. Yeah. Basically, I only put one point to dissimulate because I just use it to escape and I max remnant just for because I kind of serve more as a like catch like that's my whole function. Yeah. But I I think this can work. I'm not totally sure. I haven't personally done it, but it definitely gives you more damage. Let's say is farm very quick. I'm pretty sure this is the build up mid laners go when they're wanting to farm. I think they go one four four, and they're like. What, they rush yeah. Desolator, I think, or something like that? And it's farm all over the map and kill anything that comes. I feel like I saw Gunner maybe max W mid, but I'm maybe. not totally sure. It's a good spell for farming. Like, with that in your E, you do a ton of damage. So this is good. Well, then probably just use your last Astral Step to uh, take a tower. If they were to hypothetically gank you, you have one W. That's it. You have phase boots, so you can yeah. get away kind of quick. Yeah, with your Aether Remnant as well. It's called Aether Remnant, right? Not, yeah. Yeah. I definitely don't know about the Kaya. Yeah. But that's just... Seems uh, kind of bad. That's just new player experience stuff. Yeah. Like, Kaya is a very bad item. Like, compared to Yasha, like, it, for looking at it a one-to-one, -one, it is very bad. Like, yeah, shit. if you build into Bloodstone, like a Storm Spirit, it's good. Yeah. Or Timber Saw. But, yeah. Yeah. Maybe if you're techies, you can build a Kaya, but. Yeah, I don't know about on Void Spirit. Yeah, well, he's going, uh. Yasha Sanj? Or Kaya Sanj, I believe it was? Yeah, I think it was Kaya Sanj. No. Eh. He had something really weird. Yeah, Kaya Sanj, buy second Kaya. Yeah, that's bad. That was a mistake. These two items don't stack. Kaya and Kaya Sanj. Oh, yeah. No, that does not work. Yeah. So this item's essentially useless. This item's giving you six uh, intelligence and eight spell amp. That's pretty bad. That's like power trends 16 level. Intelligence. Did I say six? I'm at 16. The Ags and Yules are good. Yeah. Ags and Yules is fine. I just don't value Kaya here. Especially the first item... On this this offlane support hybrid. Yeah, I, the problem is you guys like didn't really have distinct roles here. 
Yeah. Which is not particularly helpful. But yeah. holy, that was ballsy. The spell casting was good. Yeah. Just be mindful of your camera positioning again. You know Legion TP'd in, so he's still there. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, I think my biggest tips is play more of the game. Like, ooh, you're in deep. Get him. Good stuff. And his Void Spirit's pretty clean, though. Yeah. And being being new, this is definitely fine. Oh, you're going to die to the tower. Use your W, use your W! Ah! <laughs> Are you actually... It's alright, I died a tower by not paying attention. Yeah. On occasion. I think I'll just be right clicking it and die. That, uh, that's a roughie. Yeah, I think it's play more Dota. Learn the heroes. Learn the proper item build, skill builds. Like one to one hero counters, team comp counters, team comps in general. I mean, I know that like play more is is clearly the obvious answer to learning yeah. how heroes work. You even work said it yourself, shows. but yeah, but it, like you, it really is. I mean, you can read stuff online. There's videos, you know, game lead, but yeah. game lead has some good stuff for learning. Yeah, it definitely is like usable. It's not bad in any sense. We just don't take everything Sounds Speed says as gospel, or any yeah. any out like any content creators like even Scars and I. We are t we are wrong so often. Don't consider everything we say is right. It's like Dota's a game of opinions in some senses. My right could be your wrong. That's yeah. The, the spellcast thing is really clean. So keep playing Void Spirit because yeah. the better you get at this. Yeah. Are you going to second death the tower? Almost second death the tower. Instead, Morana got you. Yeah. Right, I think we can call this here. Yeah, I think this best tip, yeah. play Dota. Enjoy Dota. If you're not yeah. enjoying it, take a break. Go play in-houses, message some friends, message Scars or I. Or I'm creating that invite for you and Scars, but you can always message me, queue up some games together, yeah. and help teach you, yeah. play as friends, play as coach student, I don't care. But, yeah. play Dota. Yeah. yeah. Have fun with Dota. It's a fun game when you uh have fun uh, with it. Do you want to restart the stream to try and Is it that bad still? Loss? It's not horrible. Again, it's up to the people here. Uh, if one person asks, we'll swap if anybody has an issue with it. Yeah, we'll see. If nobody has an issue with it, we'll keep going for now, I guess. Holy, your voice just like full roboted on me. Oh, really? That's not good. good. Alright. Afro Penguin. It's fine? Alright, cool. Okay, that's good. Afro Penguin. Our perspective coaches, or soon to be coaches. Alright, so we need to do is play this hero mid and rush him. <laughs> like our favorite streamer, Pal <laughs> Pendragon. <laughs> no, don't do that ever. Double Sages, huh? Is that value? What's their offlane? Bounty Underlord? What is my build here? If I'm playing Ogre Magi, I have a Slark in my lane. He's going Oof? I go Buckler, I think. Right? Or just stack Mangos. Yeah. yeah, a Buckler. Or one of the components of Buckler. Yeah. And then bring regen and, and some stats. Yeah, I, I think that's my play, because Slark is super, super weak in lane if you don't have a very favorable lane matchup. Like, his spells just kind of suck unless he's constantly trading hits. But if we build a Buckler, we ensure they can never trade hits with you guys. Like, at certain points, the Underlord, if fighting in his uh, Firestorm, he can hurt Slark before level 5, or level 6, I mean. But I think I may have gone Buckler. I know that some supports go uh, 1 Sage's Mask level 1, and there, it is valuable to do that. I just don't know if I would have gone two. I feel like that's pretty, uh, pretty greedy. Yeah. That, that, these these items I bought. Yeah, those items aren't benefiting my Slark at all. And we're gonna win that lane not off a of spell use, but by being two tanky bodies and trading hits. That's what I'm looking at. That like I don't need to spam spells and push the ogre or the uh, underlord out that way. I just 
get an oof if Slurk didn't have one, get a buckler, get boots, get headdress, I don't care what, just get something to help my Slurk and just whack stuff. I'm not a fan of buckler though, on Ogre Magi in certain cases. Man, that Ogre Magi Arcana is so gross looking though, I can't stand that. The Arcana. What was the other hero that he was against again in the uh, Arcana vote? I don't even remember. You're top lane. Oh, you're going top lane for the room. Yeah, that's, that's understandable. What's your Clinx's bottom? Your Clinx was Slark? You're a Centaur. You're a Centaur. This is interesting. This sounds awful. Okay. Hold up. There's no world where Centaur Ogre Magi pressures into a silencer. Clink Centaur can. You know, at a certain point, Centaur has some chances of harassing. Clink's is dumpsters heroes. This hero can actually go one to one blow to silencer for like a decent part of the game in the uh, blaming phase. Like, I don't think I'm taking this hero that, that depends on armor and high health pool and high regen to fight the mana burning. In stealing damage gaining pure damage hero. That that just seems so bad. What did Afro Penguin say? Uh this game wasn't a loss and I feel like the team played pretty well together. Fairly close game. I would like to see what other people think of my ogre playstyle and get a different point of view on what they think I could do slash try differently to improve. Okay. Uh, well, we study a starting item. Yeah. Again, just be mindful so of spell usage. Spell usage is a bit like you cost yourself four inscript deny, which that ensures that you're not getting a uh, level two off the next creep wave coming in. Or it might even be a level like the third wave, halfway through the third wave, we get it. Which isn't fun. Yeah, like. Also, camera work, like, yeah, camera should be further shifted to the right. And, and should, like, instead of walking up the silencer there, just go for that range creep. Yeah, here's where some mangoes would help. Yeah. Especially against an anti-mage, like, mangoes for sure. Yeah. So the way you beat anti-mage in lane for people who don't know, is half the damage he does with his mana burn, so 14 damage uh, at level 1, and not including the percentage base, that's too much to calculate for me. I'm not good at math. But he does that as damage. So when trading hits with anti mage, if you're if he's burning 28 mana, it's doing an extra 14 damage, which that adds up very quickly. So what you should look to do is just burning out your entire mana pool as quickly as you can, and then just trade hits with him if you're going for that route. In this game, it's a bit difficult because he has Silencer, who... Uh, one of the best supports in the game for trading blows. So I don't think it's a particularly amazing hero silencer. It's not. He like caps off in lane yeah. phase. And then... That's three yeah. range creep denies in three minutes though. So. Half of the range creeps in your lane have been denied. You had mangoes here, this guy dies. Am has seven denies in three minutes. That's yeah. Good. Yeah, this I mean, is so far. This is good. You are just running at people. Which yeah, is pretty much what Ogre does. Yeah, definitely. Just whack him. Oh, good stuff. Like, I would say contest silence with pulls, but he hasn't done any pulling. Not too sure why we're aggroing the creeps here. So the silencer was half good at the game, because this is divine ranking, so I can call him out when he fucks up. He should be going to pull, which if he goes to pull, you go follow him. For whatever reason, your sil the silencer is just sitting in lane. He's not getting ready for the bounty runes, not, like, the wave is where you want it to be, where the bounty runes spawn. Because if it's closer to your tower, you don't feel like your uh, centaur is fine. So why isn't silencer pulling? He might go pull now, but he's not. if he does pull now, he's not going to hit the bounty. And that's what happened. He pulled and he misses a rune. Pull up 415 and then go, uh... 
this is a good word. I'm gonna explain this word quickly. So the way uh what's his face? Storm of Spirit works as a hero is once he hits level like five, six area, he just pushes out the lane and he farms these camps here and these three camps up here. This word up here gives him some threat of ganking him. If he burns out his mana pool, then we can just walk over to Jai, Stampede, walk Clinx, walk Invoker, I don't care who, just walk at them and kill uh, Storm. We don't even have to kill him, we just can watch his movements. If we know Storm has no mana, we know he can't TP into fight. If he can't TP into fight, we can play more aggressive. Because one thing you're always scared of against the Storm Spirit is if we take a fight too close to their tower, can he just TP in and fight us with full mana? Which probably not, because he's going to be uh, farming with his spells. But there is a threat of that. When, so far, this is this is pretty solid, though. I think this yeah. AM has 24 last hits in 6 minutes. That's decent, but definitely not good. Yeah. Your centaur is technically out-farming him. Yeah. I don't know if I would've gone earned for this item, though. Like, I don't see us getting any kill participation for the next, like, 5 minutes. Unless I rotate. And if I'm rotating, I want a boot. If I get boots windlay so I can run around the map. Like, I can go kill Storm Spirit here, hypothetically, if he print his mana. You need to nuke him. Oh, is this an exhort invo? Yeah. No, it's cloth wax. It's no, it's exhort with one point wax. Oh. As we said, this is game losing. Don't go orchid. Go vessel. Go anything. It's not orchid, please. Like. Yeah, I mean, if your ogre calls out that he's going vessel, you don't have to on invo. I feel like you get it so much quicker though. Like. If you get Vessel early enough, if you cold, like Storm Spirit can't cold snap uh, or can't jump when he's being cold snap earned. Just do the cast point on it, and the Underlord is going to melt if he gets Vesseled early. Okay, I guess we got two earned charges, so it did pay off somehow. I don't know, I, I just feel like if we're going to be walking around as much as you are, getting boots and wind lace, or boots or wind lace, this walk around make stuff happen, that's fine. And if you want to occupy a lane, get an item that helps you occupy it better. Going for like a a stick, a, a bracer, a, a boost of speed, or an orb of venom, something like that, that lets me trade blow for blow and punish them if they uh, stay around too long. I mean, I think like in general, you mentioned something about your playstyle. The playstyle is fine. This is what Ogre does. Yeah. Um, you just run at people. The just items in... just don't suit it particularly well yeah like you want stuff that's going to help you trade and uh, two uh sages masks <laughs> definitely is is not necessarily the way to do that one yeah. is fine but then like ship out an ooze early or something clarity oh that's how we oh no yeah so this is really done by silencer i i thought i saw correctly he just randomly attacks through fog why what did he gain from that he just revealed to you that you were under a ward which, where is it? Right up there, I can see you. Yeah, so I, if he attacks me there, I'd assume the ward is in that corner there, or up here, so I'd drop a sentry ward right there. And I'd cover this entire area here, and I would end up hitting that ward. Like, don't reveal your wards if you don't need to. Yeah, see, yeah, exactly. You just recognize that he hit you, and he's hit you again. Which means that you realize now where roughly it is, and then you deward it. Really good stuff by you, really done by Silencer. Don't reveal your words if you don't need to. It makes no logical sense. Like, he gave you he gave you 140 gold for free, he gave you free XP, and he cost him, his team one ward. All because he wanted to get, what, two int? What level is this? One int. Wow, exciting stuff. Good, just run at the enemy. Yeah, this is, this is pretty clean. Just the items, if you had items that helped you trade better, I think that's one of the few things that could have made this go a little bit cleaner. Yeah. Pause five clinks. Interesting. They watched the gamely video. Did Speed talk about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why are you going? I think it's like the liquid that plays it. It was Nigma that played it once. Man, I'm actually not even joking. I'm still upset that people flame me for picking support clinks. Now everyone's like, oh, it's so good. It's like, man, if only I said that ages ago. 
Because it was actually really good, and Basilis was OP. Basilis gave, like, what, 9 damage? And I was dumb for that, apparently. But, uh, that, that dives didn't need to happen. After the, the uh, global came out, you realized that you committed too far. Because they have the tier 1 and the outpost in a tier 2. So they had 3 TP points, so they could TP hypothetically 3 heroes in it instantly. And, uh, kill you guys. And again, if you're going to be chasing stuff, get boots. You have 900 gold. If you're, you're finishing a basilisk, you're getting a smoke, so you want to make stuff happen. Like, you have this basilisk, so you want to be playing with people. You have an, an urn, and you have a smoke. Buy boots, win lace. The hero is slow, especially when you don't level bloodlust. Also, carry detection. One sentry is not enough against Gondar. What is happening yeah. here? Another small tip is fixing camera work, like about a third of your screen was on the lower half of the ma uh, screen, just move it up a bit higher. That's a very small thing. A uh, full tranquil boot purchase. Okay. If you're buying tranks, buy them in increments or parts. Just don't start with it. Don't go vengeful spirit for this item. Tranks or a uh, lace urn. Yeah, they know that it's warded there. Don't drop a ward when you're tracked. It's not worth the risk of them watching you. Yeah, because they, if they're good, they will see that happen. Yeah. Like, a, as somebody who used to play a lot of Bounty Hunter, if they uh, track you, they, you're going to check in your inventory. Like, you're at, at the Divine Ancient level. I don't know what those people do in that bracket, but I'm going to assume, like, benefit the doubt that people or competent at playing Bounty Hunter in that rank, despite the fact that I've played a lot of Bounty Hunters who aren't. Just uh, be mindful of it. It's very risque if they check your inventory like that. Again, like revealing your wards without reason. They may have seen it. Not worth the risk. And they somehow didn't. Alright, All right, well, hopefully you kind of get what we're saying. Just like, this playstyle is good. This is what Ogre does. Yeah. But just... Movement speed and better trading item. Yeah. Yeah, just match your items through play like items in your skill build have to match your playstyle. As we talked about the Void Spirit, where uh we were talking about Gunner and how he might go max out to simulate on Void Spirit, we said that it's because he wants to farm. Well, if you're getting skills to farm, you're gonna get items to farm if you get items oh, am I uh cutting out? Journey. Yes. Alright, yeah, you're just like voice giggle lags for me. Oh, yeah, my Discord dropped for a second. Very fun. I don't know when I... Uh, but yeah, hopefully that made sense. Cut off. Again, not... The playstyle is, is correct, though, I would say, for how you want to play Ogre. Yeah, definitely. You ever look at that open Dota thing, how it shows you your statistics of uh, like where you rank in the world for Ogre Maja or like hero players? Like hero to... Oh, it's another high-ranking game. Oh, damn. Who, wait, who's replaced? Uh, uh, this is Clink's Fally. Oh, shit. Is Fally a coach? I don't believe so. Pretty confident they weren't. Whoops. He has the... Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of rapiers. Oh, it's like a... Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming they win if the Clink says three rapiers. There's is no this game two hours? All right, we're going to go through a minute by minute. We're going to watch this at half speed so we can break it down entirely. Yeah, we'll be watching this entire thing. Yeah, so, um, 24 hour stream of one game. Who's down for that? All right, what did you say? I think everybody should learn how to play super duper mega late game. Oh, wow. yeah. I saw that. He sent that one. Yeah, I really appreciate that. I really like that you uh, sent that. Because super, super late game. We're going to skip, like, yeah, hour, hour, like hour, an hour and 15 minutes. That's exactly where I'm putting Wow, yeah. that's crazy. All right, what is happening? I'm going to pause for a second and get some perspective. So, Dire team has lost two racks. Radiant team has lost one. Don't give up when you lose two racks. Scars and I just won a game, like, two nights ago where we had, I think, a single ranged racks. Or maybe there's one melee racks, I forget. Either way. We were losing we were losing the game twenty five to three at like eighteen minutes and managed to win. Yeah. So items. Clinks is doing work. 
Necro's having a wee roughy. Lich is trying to break records, not the records you want to break. Jug is doing well. Clockwork's doing clockwork things. Real shocker that the Pudge team is uh, not going to win this one. Dude, Pudge is so high impact. Don't buy Eighth Lens on Ogre Magi. This is grief tier. This is so bad. I get so upset when I see Ogre Magi's. Like, e Blade Aether Lens? What the fuck is, is, that? is He's trying to just help his team. I'm pretty confident in that. It's uh, defensive purposes. I'm hoping. I hope it's not the assassin. He needs the, he needs the Dagon. He can be shotgun Ogre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's anti mate. Okay. Uh, so, seems pretty like late game, pretty close stuff. We're gonna go force the buyback off of Ember Spirit, then disengage if possible. Oh, they have tier two still up. We're not getting this Ember Spirit buyback. We shouldn't be here. We should be hitting Roshan. Is it up? Yeah, it is. You can see on the little, little thing down there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, uh... The, the bar over it. Yeah. So, uh, there's no reason for us to be here right now. Like, we're not get, we're not gonna go, if we go for tier 4 here, we die and we lose the game. Like, straight up. So our best bet is either push out top and bottom, or go get Roshan, or do both. The problem with doing both is that we open up a chance of Ember Spirit buying back, stealing the Aegis, and them wiping us. I think with this DD, Daedalus Death, so you could totally go take, uh, hit Roshan yourself. And kill it in like 10 seconds tops. This game is so late though, Jesus. Yeah. Two hours? Yeah. I once had a two and a half hour game. That was, that was, that was super fun. I think my longest is like two hours, 15 minutes on techies. Damn, yeah, I was Phantom Lancer. We were, we had a techies. They had a Medusa Ember Spear. All they had like four or five rapiers total. It was, it was a roughie. What's our game plan? Uh, our game plans: we can't give up Roshan. I think. I think we give up yeah, Roshan, they can just win. Like what? Yeah, we... just play around Rosh. I think. Skip like another fifteen minutes. Yeah. So just to give a brief perspective of what people should be doing, Stradian team knows that Roshan oh, was not even up. I think like. I think this is bugged. Oh, it just respawned now. Cool. Oh. So, uh, what should be happening is Barry TM probably should be getting a boot to travel carrier. I don't care if it's bots two or bots one. Keeping mid lane out if possible. Keeping this top outpost and having somebody pushing out these lanes, like top and bottom. If they do that, they can actively contest Roshan. How the... many rapiers are in this game? Uh, I can check. This has to be like eight. One, the end of it. two, three. There's three currently. Yeah, we're gonna skip because they're just gonna. They're not. Even, they're not gonna get Roshan. There's no way the uh, other team is. In. Okay. Basically whatever. nothing. I'm assuming just nothing happens. Yeah. Like Fifteen minutes, and then yeah. there's one game-winning fight. Exactly. So what people need to. Oh man, they've opened up the ancient. So what people need to remember at this point in the game is that it's gonna be super slow. No one's gonna take a fight. It's gonna be a fight every like 10, 15 minutes. And then the buybacks happen, and the other team's gonna disengage and just wait for their uh, cooldowns, and they're gonna try forcing it. They're gonna fuck up somehow, probably, or they might not. They win it, the fight, they win the game. They fuck up, they use their buybacks, and then it resets. But both teams wait out their buybacks. Good word by Radiant Team, but it's ensuring that the Antipage can play here safely without being hexed by the Clinks. We double rape, it, like 1,000 damage Clinks. The 1,000 damage Clinks? Yeah. So then. Does he have bots? He doesn't have bots. Look, he's by bots here. You have 4k gold. I don't think there's anything else you need. It's all this. Gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, super late game as we were talking about. Why does Patch of a Crimson good now? This game goes 20 more minutes? Yeah. It's like, buyback is the most important thing. You don't want to ever make a play if you don't have buyback. You don't want to. Oh, do you catch clinks? No. Okay, didn't see how that happened, but yeah. And if he's not taking any risks, he's popping his spell shield and his work his way backwards. Uh, Ogre Magi is going for the assassin build now. It's fine. Pudge is useless, as Pudge is always useless. And I guess it we're just gonna like, keep. 
I mean, he has 6,000 HP. He just kind of stands there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like 6,000 HP against 1,000 damage clank doesn't seem too much. Yeah, that's that's probably true. Especially with a crit. Hmm. Ball in sky, cool item. Yeah, so at this point, it's both teams are going to keep pushing out lanes. Like, Radiant team's probably going to do it a bit better because they're ahead in the sense and they have better lane clear. And then Dire team just dumps everything onto the, the Pudge. I guess that's okay. I don't know if I'd commit all of that, but it's not bad. Pudge is down for 160 seconds. Jesus. Go push. Yeah, go even further. Can you go to like, can you go to like the last 10 minutes of it? Sure, we'll take a look at how late game team fighting happens. Yeah, so, like, what's the what's the oh, game winning fight? Okay, I'm gonna back up quick second. All right, so what Dire team wants to do right now is they want to try forcing Intuit buyback. Intuit just bought back. Now they have a very huge win condition. So they kill Intuit to win the game. So all of the next plays are gonna be about how do we kill Intuit in the next seven minutes? If we kill him in like the next five minutes or so. He'll have two minutes until he respawns. Two minutes until his buyback comes up, he won't have buyback, we can win the game. So what that means for anti-mage is, because he was forced to buy back, him TPing bottom right now is mind-numbingly bad. Like, super bad. He has to sit in his base and wait for the dire team to show before he does anything. He can sit in the trees, like, like where is he? Yeah, this is super dumb. Like, he can't reveal himself. Sit in the tree line and wait for people to show on the map. Because if he dies, as I said, he loses the game. Why does he have a pirate hat? Odessa. I guess if you swap that in and out of his inventory to go, like, make buildings. I guess. So, yeah. They're just going to, uh, keep lanes in because I... They haven't even neutralized the racks yet. Hmm. You have 20k gold, not by boost travel. Yes, boots of travel, right? Oh no. no. Interesting. Yeah, definitely would have boots of travel. Mm -hmm. it's by, at this point in the game, boots are, are irrelevant. Like you don't need to instant TP access. If you're if teams making a play on the anti mage, the Ember Spirit, whoever, just oh kill that courier. That's a rapier, right? No, no rapier. I thought it would have been. Yeah, just uh, swap it in your backpack, like your power treads, your boost travel too. And as you're moving around the map, if you want movement speed, put them in and out. Like if Klings didn't have the 45% movement speed gain off of this, he would have his boots in probably. He's walking around. Drawing right down mid, that is ambitious. Lance was just mega to you guys, so you guys have to go all in or nothing. We're forcing buybacks. We're, we've wasted Kling's BKB, so we need to be very mindful. Anthony just base racing us. We can't break back door. He lost the game. Lich has to buy back. At this point, everybody has to buy back. As soon as you die, you buy back. Damn. That's crazy. That, that game is just dumb. Yeah. Well, we didn't learn a whole lot from that one, I feel. Because I feel like we skipped it way too far. But, uh... Yeah, play around Roche and buy boots to travel if you're two hours into the game. Yep. And just, yeah, like, understand how important buybacks are. Antimage brought back, which gave the Dire team a chance at winning the game. The kill Antimage is a 4v5 for the rest of the game, because there's no way in hell the game doesn't end in two minutes. And, uh, like, Antimage has to play careful when you buy back. The Dire team has to go aggressive when he buys back. You have, like, five heroes constantly looking around the map for Antimage. Checking tree lines, checking their base with rocket flares, like find anti mage and kill him if he ever shows. Cause that's seven minutes where he can't do anything on the map. Yup. Well, uh, fly for that one. Thank you for sending that replay though. Sorry that we can't go through these replays a bit more in depth. Like again, we'd like to. Man, a thirty k gold comeback. Wow. Great stuff, Dyer. That's crazy. Net worth is always so funny to see. Jesus God. Crazy. Like you know, it's a circus. 80k net worth on yeah. the Ember. Apparently so. 
Alright, All right. jug, or rep jug, to gander at this one. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, give me one second, he said something to me. No rush. Uh, he said, yeah, just do the jug one. Let's do a jug one. Alright, cool jug set. So to both my first foray into ranks after hitting 100 hours. Just would like some feedback on where I went wrong and maybe how to in the mid late game. Okay. So we can do like a brief laning stage look and then go into um like mid late game. Okay. Sounds good. Dude, the Herald three techies is coming for you. <laughs> Jadiker coming in hot. Jadiker. Okay. Oh, we should get out of here. Oh, Overwolf, this won't go away. Overwolf is super annoying. Yeah, when you're trying to reconnect into a game and you load in the middle of a fight and then it just pops up like five seconds in. That's awful. Alright, yeah, so I'm, like, I'm trying to click on the mini map to like move because I can't see anything, yeah. can't cast any spells. Yeah, it's really great. All right. So I know it's right away. Really good stuff. Checking out your Bane's items. Like again, we talk about that a lot. Knowing that this guy has Wind Lace, two Clarity, six Tangos, is super value to know. One thing though, I wouldn't buy a Mango here. Jug doesn't really utilize Mangos because you essentially get yes. three spins off before you are fully depleted on mana. If you just buy like Wraith Bands and a Clarity, or Wraith Band and a Wand, or whatever, or Wraith Band Stick, you'll be fine. I guess probably should be a, a either some sort of stat item or some sort of regen item. Because like th this often doesn't pressure you at all. Rubik Breaker seems kind of bad. I honestly thought it was, it was Breaker Techies to be honest in Rubik 5, but I think my point still stands. Yeah, yeah. Like, it kind of just hit you a bunch. That's all they really do. They don't really kill you. I'll take a gander. I already lost lane control, which is really bad. We're about to double wave them already. Yeah, I'm looking to start denying a lot more so that way I can equalize the lane equilibrium. And because your bane is kind of screwed here by drawing creep beggar too heavily, the uh, wave is fucked. Like this. Yeah, you guys yeah. Pull. Yeah. Looks someone just go hit the hard camp and walk into the way. Yeah, like someone has to pull here, even if it's you. Uh, this this camp right here, if you cut this like that second tree you cut, that one right here. If you attack this camp and walk straight up, you can pull that camp like straight vertically. So you can pull that camp into the wave and the creeps walk down. So you, you can pull hard camp on uh, carry. It's fine to do that. Because you guys need to get this lane going again for you guys. Like We're going to push into them again. And as I said, this off lane is really bad for them. Breaker Rubik seems super bad. It's like a very low pressure, very low chance of like, doing anything in lane, really. Especially against Bane Jug. Bane Jug seems really strong. Because that's the fact that you guys don't really calm the world together and kill threat. Yeah, definitely not a very ideal lane. You don't have any slow. Yeah, like no slows. Like sync with. Spin. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a that's a rough one. Back when I was like a two K player and I played Bane a lot, that happened so much. Just learn how Nightmare works. You can't draw aggro from a or you, if you attack the enemy, you're going to be in Nightmare. Like a lot of our issues is because how far our lanes pushed forward. Tell Bane to pull, yeah, you pull. Yeah, your Bane has to pull. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is pretty uneventful otherwise. Yeah. 
Uh, you want to go to like mid lake game? Yeah, this is what? 30, 40 minute game? We'll go to like 35. What's happening here? We're in a high ground defense. We have Cardell, Sharp Eye, and Underlord. There's no way we lose this. Like, I don't care. I don't care what happened. They just revealed they had that warrior, if I'm not mistaken, right below you. One thing of concerning is you're very underfarmed for having a Milnir Morbid Mask, or Mask of Madness, I mean. You do not have much items. Don't look to chase. You've already wasted your spin. You don't know where the techies' mines are. Okay, well, this game's over. Yeah, yeah, this doesn't look too recoverable. Yeah. So when you're in a high ground defense like that, know when you should chase and when you should stay, like, hold position. Because you guys killing, like, what does killing techies do? That hero still has impact and death, because he can activate bombs and whatnot. So you guys chasing that far for that Storm Spirit, for that Breaker, like and Ruby, whoever you guys were chasing after, for like each hero specifically, they just turned on you guys and killed you all. And they just dove to your forest. If you guys held your high ground, and then as Lycan's running in, you pit a Malice, you block off any sort of rotation from Breaker, Storm, Rubik, all that, you can isolate the Lycan, or Storm, or Breaker, whoever overextends. Yeah, also, Chloe just farm more in yeah. the mid game. Like 172 really last hits is super low, yeah. Like, this BKB is not going to do anything for you. If you had, like, BKB Butterfly, that could be okay, because you don't don't just die instantly to Lycan. Like, watch it, what's going to happen? You're going to show when Lycan's going to turn on you after you kill Sniper. He's going for the tankiest hero on your team. He's walking in circles. Hmm. Interesting. Now he decided to hit the Underworld again. Like in Aegis, not particularly helpful. When you have a Storm Spirit, yeah, that's game losing. So yeah, I think practice more in farming. Like, watch high ranking players farm. Like, think in advance. As I'm hitting this camp, look at the map. Like, where do I want to go? Think about that troll warlord who was in this game. He was hitting this, and he looked mid. He's like, nothing happening mid. Looked back at himself, then looked over at the outpost. And was like, no one taking the outpost. Then he went and took this bottom wave, bottom tier one. From the stacks, whatever. Like, plan your moves in advance. If you can do that, you'll see easily an extra 50 last hits per game. Which 50 last hits means you get that gold. 50 last hits quicker, which means that you get your mill near three minutes earlier, which means three minutes earlier is mill near farming, and you see how it snowballs. Yeah, what? But, yeah, like we, like we just said, just hit more creeps. That's what you should do in the big game. Yeah. Only really fight when you have Omni up. Yeah. Until you're like four slotted, that is. Yeah. Once you feel comfortable. Oh, sorry. Once you feel comfortable yeah. to join fights. Go ahead. You go. You go. Yeah. I, I think just practice farming, not getting over aggressive when you don't need to. No, it's a bit difficult because we haven't seen the whole game here. Like, your build isn't bad. The issue is that this build should have came out 10 minutes ago. Like, Mask of Madness, uh, Phase Boots, BKB, and Milnir, it's pretty easy to attain by the 30 minute mark. And even then, that's not even that, like, that's not even that far. Yeah. Like, these items you can hit by, tw yeah, 25, 30 minutes. Hit more creeps, like, think in advance as I'm hitting creeps, where do I want to go, as I said before? Where do I want to go? If there's a bottom lane being pushed in and no one's down there, do I TP down there? What happens if I TP down there? Will this TP cost me the, the tower I'm holding? If not, go for it. Go get that creeps. Get that gold. Just plan your moves in advance and consider the consequences. It's very difficult to do when you're newer to the game or lower MMR because it's very difficult to think. If I TP, what's going to happen in 70 seconds from now? Like, I don't know. I can't read the future. If I could, I wouldn't be here. But yeah. So hopefully you get the point. I know we're rushing yeah. through these really, really Yeah. But we just have so many. Up yeah. Well, you saved your sniper. Yeah, that's good, I guess. Basically, there. Yeah. 
That was good. Well, we're at 8 out of 19. We've been at this for <laughs> two hours, including the, uh, the break. Uh, number two, wait, are we only going through Rev's Jug game, or are we going through Rev's Ursa game, too? Just the Jug game. Okie dokie. Uh, oh. alright. Adlin HDJ Death Noise. On the Bloodseeker. On the Bozo, the clan, where is that hero? So, hopefully you put points in Blood Rite. Unlike Howl Pendragon. <laughs> Yes, this is this is fine. You people, yeah, you go thirst level two. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, what do you go level one? You go yeah. blood rate level okay. one, thirst two, blood yeah. rage three, and then you max out thirst. That this is good. Yeah. Really yeah. good stuff. Really smart. Like that's the best skill build from what I know. You win this yeah. game, right? Yeah, you do. Oh, no Dude, BKB. Is this another it, freaking hour long marathon? Yep. All right, I'm calling it now. Buy a BKB. This game ends thirty minutes earlier. That's my prediction. Yeah. You and Cardell, like this, uh, this pike leads into a BKB. You guys match your BKB timing. The game ends here. Little sniper is uh, going crits. Don't go crits. Needless is a dead item. Don't buy that, please. Yeah, that item is bad. We're, we're going to rapier. Did he? I don't think so. Sniper finished. He has a demon edge. It's gonna be That's MKB. You guys probably got like a butterfly around. They just have. They have a halberd. Yeah, it's gonna be MKB. People are scared of divine rapier. Oh, this... All right. Well, let's all right, see what he said. Take, take a look. Uh, Bloodseeker, all pick, fifty-seven minute game. Uh, tell me how to engage in team fights as a carry, and who should I target in the team fights? Okay, we can do that. You want to answer those questions, like just give a general one, or if you want me to? I don't remember what here's the other uh, team had. Yeah, I look at the other team again. Overwolf would go away, and it comes back up right away. Thanks, game. Always oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Here you are, blood seeker. All right. Um, probably just straight off the bat, the lich. Their team is really annoying. Like Mars, Death Prophet. You probably don't want to focus them. Mm -hmm. Lich, Lich can die really early. Probably look at the Lich. Pudge is worthless. You can let him live <laughs> till last. Slark's just hard to kill. Once he commits pounds, definitely. Yeah, but I'd recommend you have doing... to look out for your backline. Yeah, exactly. So, what I'm very concerned about, like for your team, is as someone who plays a lot of Oracle, is when my cores get super tunnel visioned and they're like, oh, I want to go kill X and Y hero. And then I just get left alone because as they step forward, the enemy team frontliners, they step forward too. And then they just kill me. And it's like, well, what do I do, guys? Is this Slark? I can't like disarm him. I can't purge him. Like, what do I do? So I'm more concerned with protecting my supporting cast this game, like using Blood Rite to protect them, using Rupture to protect them, any of that stuff. This game, if I just get like... Death item agonims, I feel, and as Rupture DP Slurp is win the fight. Because those two heroes are so mobility based. Like, if DP is standing still and she can't get a Spirit Siphon off, Sniper just kills him. And same yeah, thing with Slurk. You, you, like, if your Oracle dies and your Sniper dies, you lose every team fight. Yeah, definitely. So. Yeah, like, without question. That's not on you uh, per se, that's just a general tip. Like, how I'm looking at fights. Did Oracle E there? He didn't have it. He used Q. He used Q? Okay. Yeah. So he uses Q. Sorry, I, like, frame lag for a second. That's fine. So let's talk about general laning stuff. It's fine. I'm just going to keep looking to get aggressive because I know she has Crypt Swarm, so she doesn't have her Siphon. And Mars Spear can only do so much in certain cases. Let's go. Oh my god, he just killed Death Prophet. <laughs> and you acknowledge it, yep. I just pop myself here because he can't break it. They don't have Blood Rage up just yet. Once DP gets back to lane, I can't self because she'll Crips for me, yep. Yeah, let's pop the salve earlier. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeppers. Yeah, because that, that was pretty obvious to me. Like the 15 seconds leading into it, if you didn't use your thing, Majigger. He's not gonna spear you, right? No, you're too far. Camera should be further up. Yep. Yeah. Big theme of tonight as normal. Work on camera work. Just, just, just be aware of how it is. Just don't have your character in the center of the screen. Like have your camera further up right now. See the Death Prophet. See the Mars. I'll be a gr uh, careful when I'm that low when I uh, have Blood Rage up because you take extra damage with it. Good stuff by Spooky. Look at Spooky, he's a beast. Yeah. Oh, the big juke. I would be, again, just be very careful when you Blood Rage yourself. If you take extra damage. It's why... Oh, uh, he died. Yeah, I mean, you got him. Gums and Roses just didn't stand a chance. Dude, you are... Sh okay, good, you ship a salve. I was like... You're living life on the edge. On the <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. Uh, small tip when you're playing carry or when you're playing support, have somebody break this tree right here. That way you can pull from here, walk down. Like If you if you pulled, you wouldn't be taking this damage, and you could just blood rage it back up as recruits are tanking it. Fat Teasy is getting it done top. Fat Teasy. <laughs> oh Don't you just die to a Crypt Storm Siphon here? I'm pretty sure if she siphoned you, you died. Yeah, you uh, play a very risky game. Like, very, very risky. You know what? It's okay. Just as long as you have the skills to back up the risky game, keep going for it. But uh, just be very mindful when you do. I wonder, or do we have... Alright, so once I again know how to enter team fights and who to target. So we need to find team fights. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna look at the net worth graph, see if there's any big dips. Alright, this is a flat land all the way across. Cool. Alright, forty something minutes, we're gonna go to there. Is landing siege, yeah, just uh last yeah, as I was saying, fuck, I accidentally pulled. Just chop that tree over to the left. Play way more cautiously at times I feel like chop that tree, play more cautious. It's, you probably would have died like three or four times if they uh, connected spells, had the like, understanding of their heroes. Decent. Yeah. <laughs> to put it bluntly, oh, we're in the middle of a team fight. Cool, exciting stuff. I'm not even a team fight. This... Wait, when did Slark die? When did everybody die? You're already dead. Oh, you have Aegis, that's how you died. Right, we're going to keep rewinding until we find this fight. All right, here we go. Rose Shaw, that's an exciting time to take a fight. All right, let's see. I don't like the no BKB build here. I feel like I'm just gonna get chain stunned and die. Even though I have this S and Y satanic build, like the, the 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 greedy BKB, we'll call it. I still like, and you have an Oracle, so I guess it's kind of manageable. But I'm still like, you can only handle so many stuns. They have Dismember, Sin or Sinister Gaze, Mars Spear, Mars Ultimate Pounce. Probably Yule Scepter on Death Prophet. Silence by Death Prophet. All that. So like your fights are a lot harder without BKB. You're putting a lot of pressure on your Oracle to make stuff happen. Yeah, I think you definitely, definitely want a BKB. This bomb Bloodseeker in most games you want a BKB because you kind of just run to the middle of there. Yeah. Keep whacking. Oh, good disarm by Oracle. Dude, Spooky is actually a god. That guy needs to be running these lessons. He needs to teach me this game. He's gonna kill yourself on Blade now? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Unlucky, but I mean, that's kind of predictable. If, if, yeah, like if you wanted that killer, you could have, as soon as he turned on you, popped your Blade Mill, then he either kills himself off his uh, God's Rebuke Spear combo. Or he has to turn back around and run for like 4.5 seconds. Intriguing Mars Ultimate. Interesting. Well, they do have Lich there. Except Pango is gonna. Okay, this Oracle is actually doing a decent job. Yeah. I feel like you do no damage though. Like, I know it's a Mars with the Lich behind him, but it's like. 
The DP is extra. So what? Oh, that's her agonims. Oh lord, this death the prophet builds bad. Okay, we're gonna find an actual team fight. We're just gonna skip a bit forward. To be fair, it is prophet four. Yeah. How do they, like, what is that? Okay, I'm just gonna go even further. Like, where's the actual 5v5 fights? Like, when does stuff happen in this game? There's like 46 kills, but where are the team fights? So we just go, like, all the team fights go that even that you guys got the better trades, but you didn't gain enough net worth to notice it on the graph. Because it feels like it, or looks like it. Yeah, has there been a 5v5 team fight? I'll assume so. I mean, besides the, uh,. What's happening here? Like your team's fighting. All right, let's see. You're walking into a fight. Spells have been cast. Watch the fight as it's happening. See what's been used. Has Stark ulted yet? Has Lich ulted yet? Cool. Dude, Spooky is a beast. Yeah. You're not even joking. Spooky's actually doing God's work this game. BKB probably saves you there. Or helps you to some degree. Yep. Jesus, Death Prophet, what was that? Dude, the Pudge is putting in work. Fat Teasy out here? <laughs> yeah, it's a Fat Teasy for Spooky Show, dude. These guys are, uh, yeah, dude, Oracle's been in our 40 out of 49 kills. Fat Teasy's uh, having a bit of a roughy. The 9, 8, and 12 score line. But Fat Teasy can only do so much. I don't blame the lad. So we're gonna find we're gonna find one actual like actual 5v5 team fight. Not this like you walking in late and then dying because you don't have BKB and all that crap and like an actual fight. Let's go. Roshan spawning soon. Let's see it. Alright, this is a fight. I like how Pangolier is using his spider legs as he ults. That's kinda fun. I did not know you could do that. Alright, rupture this guy. Don't let him move. Okay, you didn't rupture him, but still. Alright, he's dead. Now go rupture Death Prophet. Don't focus down the Mars. Like, you're, you're doing... definitely not the guy to hit. Yeah, you're literally doing, like, 50 damage a hit to this guy. That's not even considering the fact that he has evasion. You just buy a BKB and your life gets very easy. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So Not understanding much. hero priority, we'll call it off with that. I, feel like that's pretty, like, I don't think any five fights, five fights are happening, but I'll explain how normally it'll work. Just understanding the hero kill priority. So Lich is almost always number one kill priority in a, like the mid-game aspect when his Chain of Frost is actually a spell compared to a slow. Just because Frost Shield is very good, his amount of uh, crowd control is very good. His disengage potential and like how he can just have high impact in fights. So my job as a blood seeker in this game is I want to rupture either Death Prophet or Slurk, just because they're both very movement speed based heroes. Death Prophet relies on sticking on top of here with Siphon, and her exorcism does more damage the faster she is in some sense because the closer she is to the unit, the more damage she does just due to how the spirits work. Slurk is Slurk. I don't need to explain that one. So if I rupture one of those two heroes, and I just try walking at the Lich, or having my Pangolier Sniper killing Lich, then I can focus on the other heroes. But Lich should be the first one to die. Yeah. And there's also the fact... Don't ever be hitting Mars, not even worth hitting. Yeah. Yeah. So we can call it off that. But just uh, another thing to remember is that if you're using spells on their backline heroes, they either have to sacrifice the Lich... Or they use spells to defend the Lich. And if they're using a Mars ultimate defensively, a Chain Frost defensively, Spear defensively, all that stuff, they're not using it offensively. If they're not using it offensively, you guys have more spells to use in a team fight. Oh, here's an actual 5v5 fight. Let's see it. Let's rupture that guy. Rupture him. Alright. Okay. Rupturing the, the one guy who can stand there and fight you. That is not the play. Mars can literally just stand there and hit you for like endless amounts of time. Yeah, gotta get ruptured off in like the slark. Yep. And your Oracle Fates edicted you and didn't purge it off, which kind of hurt you there. Do we win this fight? It feels like we don't win this fight. 
There you go, now you got the lich. Oh, he walked into Remnant. You are speedy. Yeah. Oh, well, you're gonna win the fight. Hmm. Okay, yeah. He's understanding how fights work, and that'd be something I'd focus on a lot. What are the, what are the other tips this game? There weren't really many. No, I think that's that's the main. Just a BKB. Oh, yeah, BKB. Don't hit the tank. Like, this is why Mars is uh, very, like, top tier right now. Bulwark is a spell. 70% damage reduction, as well as flourishing 70% of projectiles to hit you. That's crazy. Just don't hit him. You don't have damage. If you're, like, a Slark or something that, that can ramp up damage, yeah, sure, do that. He actually went one shot at Instauration. Holy crap. What a gamer. He's a beast. He is, in fact, a beast. Alright, but yeah, hopefully that, that makes sense. Yeah. At yes. least to a degree. Yeah, let's work on understanding kill threat. Or like, yeah, kill threat, I'll say. Uh, zero prioritization, all that sort of stuff. That'll come with practice and talking to yourself, talking to your friends, talking to your teammates. All that mumbo jumbo. Alright, here's Shrepsy, the Oracle. Alright. Like no, wait, you skipped Zidian. Did I? Yeah. I Did I skip it. Zidian in our list? What are you talking about? I'm looking at number nine right now. Number nine is Shwepsy. Right after huh? Adlam Zidian, Zidian's before Shwepsy. Did I screw it up? You did. Zidian's number 11 huh. in our list. Oh, yeah, that's my bad. Are we Pull up uh, Zidian next. Okay. Pull up Zidian. Jesus. All right. Sorry, Shwepsy. We're not uh, doing you just yet. Yeah. Man, I'm so hungry. I didn't eat anything for dinner. I had pizza pockets this morning. That is it. Alright, talking about Axe. Axe offlane. Didn't right. Zidian play us in the tournament? Pretty sure he did. Yeah, I think so. Uh, uh, general thoughts, questions. Didn't know how to deal with Ench. Making fights happen. Why the game went for it. Dude, why are all these games so long? <laughs> yeah. We uh we need to have that how to push high ground workshop coming out somewhat we soon. We actually do. Just because man, people cannot close out games at all. Yeah, it's 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 actually kind of sad. That and just pushing advantages is still done so poorly. Yeah, definitely. So this game, as we talked about before, what your job this game is, you want to get on top of sniper. With his blade mode, I'm calling. I haven't checked his items yet. I think calling now. He's gonna go pure last cannon. No stats. There's a data list somewhere. No data list. But he still just kills himself. He has no stats. It's kind of close. But yeah, getting a like shadow blade, blink dagger, BKB blade mill are my four items. And then I jump sniper and I kill him every fight because they have no way of saving him. They have no yule scepter. So once you get the BKB, they can like pike him away, but. It doesn't do anything because Sniper has high enough range that he still hits him. Legion Commander can't press the attack save. You don't care if you're getting dismembered or dueled, you just kill Sniper. That's my job this game, if I'm the Axe. And I build my entire game plan around killing Sniper. I don't care for Ench, I don't care for Witch Doctor, Pudge, Legion. Sniper is done, so as soon as I uh, join the fight. Yeah, I think if you can find like a big call on the Sniper, that's how you start the fight. Yeah. Because then they're going to cast all their spells on you, Sniper is going to kill him, and then your team just cleans up. Yeah. So the reckon I recommend, the reason I recommend a Shadow Blade and a Blink Dagger is obviously Blink Dagger is a core item on Axe. And Shadow Blade allows you to maneuver past enemy vision. So if they have an Observer Ward, if they have a Lane Creep, uh, a Hawk, a Help Dominator Creep, an Edge Creep, whatever, you can just walk past it. They don't need to be scared. Oh my lord. Don't do this, please. Like, nice. never, never do this. Stop. Breathe back. Yeah, Buy regen. This hero sucks in lane. You literally lose your lane to Legion Commander plus one if you're a Slark, if you go this build. Because there's no way you can play this lane. That's okay. I don't care if you have a Warlock. You don't even have a Warlock. You have a Vano. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Dota 2, fun game. Let's fast forward this. 30 seconds to battle. 
be mindful walking up high ground blind like that. You're most likely gonna go uh, battle off your level one anyways. Miss well, yeah. I wouldn't be using it on Pudge. I'd use it on the sniper. Yeah, the Pudge is just worthless. Yep. Again, ignore the car. Uh, ignore the Pudge. Pudge, he just is worth doing again. Ignore him. Worthless. Him being alive is better for your team because they they have to know the fact they have a Pudge. When he dies, you can forget him, like forget about him for a few minutes. But uh, when he's alive, they they can't forget. They fucked up. As I said before, when you're Radiant, be mindful of creep blocking, because then this happens, and you just push the wave into the tower. Yeah. And now the wave is going to go push. Yeah, unless you're going to go giga aggressive, like we saw in the troll game, don't do this. Yeah. The damage over time combo, I like that. Move your camera up a bit higher, so you can see that melee creep, and deny that range creep. Uh, yeah, I mean, the camera's okay here. Yeah, it's not bad. I just want to have it a bit higher. Don't take the creep wave. Walk it up to the next wave. Yeah, back that up. Really good usage of your battle hunger there. As soon as he kills the last creep, you get aggressive. Only issue is that we haven't killed enough creeps to get your level 2 yet. There you go. Alright, we're gonna keep fast wording through this. What were the tips again? How to deal with Ench. Oh. How to deal with Ench. Um, yeah, Ench hurts. A BKB kind of destroys it. Yeah. So. It is. I don't know what a build is, but. And it could be like Dragon Lance and then Shred or something dumb. Yeah, probably. Uh, if she has Bracers, yeah. that, that would make it a little bit harder. She is mid. Does she have Bracers? Wait, it's mid Ench. Oh my lord. All right, this is good. Cut the wave. She is going Talisman, so yeah, she is very killable with a blade now. So keep cutting the wave. You don't need to... Like, Warlock is sapping our XP. I don't really know what he's doing. A whole lot of not much. Oh, he's getting hooked by a... Uh, Farteezy here. Or Fateezy. Round two. <laughs> Yeah, if I'm creep skipping, it's because I don't want to lane, which is fine not to want to lane against Sniper, I hear it as well against you. But like, I don't care for my Warlock to be here. Just walk the creeps up into the small camp, so you can farm both at the same time. Yeah. A lot of like, people are doing this though. Like, you're actually cutting the wave, which is good, because that's going to like Giga Grief Sniper trying to last 10 under 10. I guess it paid off, but like, I don't really care for that, uh... Punch kill. It's like yeah. 200 gold, which yeah, it's cool, but one, he shouldn't be dying there. And two, he got 200 gold anyways from the Warlock kill. Yeah, you just run this wave away from their tower. Yeah, Not but... sniper has to pick. Does he want to hit you or does he want to hit creeps? You missed two creeps, or no? Battle hunger them. Oh. That's fine. Yeah, I think the problem with this. Why? What the hell is this goober doing? Level four and a half Bloodseeker gank. If Warlock wasn't really high bad, BS. yeah, high BS. If Warlock wasn't hurting you, I'm not gonna say really bad because he's kind of helping you in some degree. But if he wasn't hurting you, your game, you'd be a higher level in your mid. Yeah. yeah if you're in the position four, you just kind of leave. Slash yeah. Hit the tower. Yeah. Yeah, you can follow the snipers that with the support can't zone the uh, axe. This yeah. is ballsy. Just yeah, to... okay. Yeah. Sorry, wrong chat. What is wrong with these kids? I'm picking a sniper safely. But uh yeah, just being more efficient with this. Watch a lot of like a lot a lot of high rank offlane with the creep skip. They will almost always pull the creep wave and they will either pull it like this and walk into the small camp, or they will keep double waving it. They'll walk it in circles over here behind their tier three. Or about 100 tier 2, tier 3 area. Like, you keep walking forward, which then you got, like, you've died twice in the same way, playing in a manner that you shouldn't be. If you just keep playing in that small camp, they can't kill you. Or if you play behind their tier 2, tier 3, they can't kill you. And if they oh, TP. Like you do? No, you go, you go. Oh, I was gonna say, and if they TP Pudge in, that's Pudge getting no XP. Like, that's two minutes of him walking over to you, 
potentially killing you with no damage, by the way, because of Pudge. And then walking back or keeping back the lane. That's, that's a lot. That's a big commitment from him to get nothing. He gets an axe kill, and you've already cut the wave, so you're fine with that. And like, if you're the sniper has 23 last hits at eight minutes, like you've basically won your off lane. Your Slark somehow has 11, but like, yeah, this, <laughs> your warlock should probably just help top. I don't really know how the Slark has. Uh, and to deal with an inch, just get really close to it. Yeah. Just don't run away. Like, you don't have to run away from it. Really, just run up to it. Dude, what is going on in this game? It's 11 to 1. This game goes in. Yeah. Learn to close out games, people. Very, uh, very big stuff. I'm just going to keep fast forwarding through. You know, so remember how Scars at the start said, look at any low rank game compared to that high rank game? And there was three people in that high rank game that had over 50 last hits at 10 minutes, and we're tw uh, 12 minutes in, and one person's about to hit 50. Yeah, that's, that's a big difference. Yeah, pretty big difference, yeah. Like, honestly, I think you just let your Venom defend this with Plague Wards, because he can just giggle so with the level one Plague Ward. just go by. You can't hold it. The, the skill build sucks. Yeah, well, alright, ignore what I just said. Uh, if your Venom is good, he will solo hold the tower. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know about farming Ancient. I, mean, I literally think you just find Kabak at first. It's gonna get pressure off your Slark that is currently has almost as many last hits as the Warlock. The Witch Doctor actually has more last hits than the Slark. I'm dead here too. Yeah, like just run at him. Just run at Ench. Alright, they TP their whole team in. Well, your Slark has plenty of space. Does he make any use of it though? Probably not. Warlock no. ultimate. Interesting. Alright, we're just gonna fast forward a bit through because we have an hour of this to go through. We're gonna go to here. Okay, I thought you were getting a Fountain Dove. I was gonna say, holy shit, they threw. They drag it another half hour. Alright, this is a big fight. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, All right. Yeah, and a uh, quick answer of why this game went for an hour. Their person advantage would be why, probably. Okay. Ignore the Wish Doctor. No, a it's just a visual bug. Okay. Holy Venom, all what the fuck was that? Yeah, so that fight, the way I would have taken it, I would be buying a smoke and a seat. I'm gonna go back a bit further. I'd be buying a smoke and a seat, and I'd wrap myself all the way around like this, and cut them off and catch their back line. If I do that, I'm certain I'm gonna hit the sniper. Like 100%, I will hit the sniper. Or I can jump them right here, because they have four heroes showing beside each other, and just kill them off with Warlock Gold, which isn't even up. Yeah, because then you're on top of Ench and Sniper, and the Ench does zero yeah. and the Sniper. Not, yeah, you told. Oh, you don't even have blink up. You wasted blink for something else. Ignore witch doctor. Just keep going for that guy. Is your job this game? If you blade mail, she kills himself. If she did two thousand damage to you, yeah, she kills herself if you blade mail. Yeah, press your blade mail. Yeah, blade mail and walk at the sniper, or go call a sniper. One or the other. Like you can't just walk them head on. You have to blink in, like, wrap around, blink on them. Utilize your smokes, like, for a play like that. Because I know a lot of people in, like, sub-7k games just don't use smokes. So, utilizing them properly would uh, help you a fair bit. Your Bloodseeker is being outfarmed by your Warlock. Okay. That's also obviously not helpful. Yeah. We're getting mega here. How does this game not end right now? Radiant Team fucks around too much. I don't know how. They don't hit buildings. Yeah, see, they're trying to hit buildings, and then two of them are just standing there doing nothing, where all the buildings are gone. Yeah. Good call. Did, but yeah. Do they win this? No, there's no way. Does Zidian's team win this? They win this. Holy shit. All right. That's embarrassing. Yep.
Right. And not your, your team, obviously. For It looks like they just, that Radiant just doesn't win a fight for the rest of the game, considering the final kill count. Like, so this heart to be a shadow blade. I don't, the heart doesn't do anything for me here. I still just die. Like, I'm just I mean, gonna it take. It you harder to. They yeah. can deal more damage to you with blade mail. Like, you're gonna reflect more. That's fair. I have 26 perma damage. Interesting. I feel like yeah, I, I think the heart's good. I, I don't. I just hate her as an item. I think if I went shadow blade halberd here, it's about the same price. I'm kind of tanky. I do my job better in a fight. Halberd definitely. Yeah, because like, Halberd on ranged heroes, it meant to like use it on them. Yeah. I also like big problem again that we always talk about capitalizing on your advantage. You guys have killed three heroes, got sniper buybacks, so, like three or four heroes dead, one bot back. The Roach. Again, instead, we farm jungle creeps. We pushed out a few lanes, but then we just conceded Roach on and hit creeps. We'll watch one more fight and we'll call it. They're going to fight like... All right. I actually just finished up my uh, how to play hard support guide. It's like a super basic thing. And one thing I talk about is how to go high ground. In that guide, I have a very simple like diagram that shows roughly how you position on going high ground. This, I can promise you, is not how you go high ground ever. You have your front line, your mid ground, your back, uh, back line. In no world should all five here... Like, snipers should not be... Like this far forward, with your Witch Doctor that far forward, and your Legion Commander on the same level as the Witch Doctor. That's bad. That's yeah, super the Witch bad. Doctor should be... Yeah, alright, you, you finish up, Journey. Well, it's just that. It's like... It, it's very, very... Game... Like, Witch Doctor cannot be this far forward. This is how they're gonna lose the fight again. Is Witch Doctor's job yeah. to counter-initiate, save the Sniper? Yeah, Witch Doctor should be in these trees that, like, you're next to, where the Ench is just like waiting for something to happen yeah yeah in classic dota 2 fashion another game is thrown going high ground and this this warlock doing warlock's going work. off dude this dude's the mvp mm -hmm. i think that call was uh, pretty good there he definitely did well but yeah i think just uh I, okay scars so that you can get heart i don't know i don't value it much like, I, I honestly Halberd hate that better. item. Yeah. I, I honestly think Halibird Shadowblade lets me do my job better, but there is some value in heart. My biggest issue is I feel like they just ignore you. If I, uh... Like, the way you took that fight is you walked at them, and they let you walk at them and call you, or call them. If you use Shadowblade, you don't have to... There's no chance of them not letting you walk at them. You're guaranteed to get that call off. Because they're not going to throw nine shrapnels, take the level 25 shrapnel... Oh. Every time I try making a point, some fucking goon does the stupidest thing and proves me wrong. He shouldn't take that shrapnel talent unless he plans on cancelling Axe Blink Dagger. Which, if you buy Shadow Blade, it negates that factor. I don't know. We'll call it off that. I think just, uh, understanding, again, understanding who you have to kill, itemize properly to allow you to do that. Heart can let you do that to some degree, but I don't like that item. I think that item is so overrated on offlaners. Yeah, that and just with Ench, if she starts hitting you from far away, blade mail. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have your blade mail, just run right at her. If yeah, she definitely. does like zero damage. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, pretty much that. They they went to like high DPS, low stat gain, low health pool heroes. Just have to get on top of them, blade mail, and they die. Like, if you did that earlier where you were focusing sniper earlier, like, the last fight we watched, you did it. But if you did that 15 minutes earlier, you wouldn't have been two racks down. You would have punished him for not going to Satanic or Scotty or SNY, Manta, whatever. I don't care. I'm stat item. So this game, now we're looking at Shrepsy again. Oracle. Play a lot of this hero. I'm going to rank the games so I can help a fair bit. Dude, I think we have 10 more. Holy shit. Do we? Uh, they had a sentry high ground. Axe couldn't shadow blade out. Um, well, yeah, we got about ten more. Yeah, that's can. rough. Dude, these are Wait, these they had a sentry high, high ground. Yeah, yeah, but the issue, like, the problem is, isn't uh, sentry like shadow blading and walking up to them. It's shadow blade to maneuver around their vision. 
that tension word, like, yeah, it kind of sucks, but unless they have an obs or, like, a creep or a hero seeing that sentry word, it's not a threat to you. Yeah. A Shadow Blade just allows you to maneuver a lot more easily in fights. It's why some people, when they play Legion Commander, they'll go Shadow Blade Link, or Shadow Blade Blink, because they can just maneuver around the wards better. It's why, when I played Beastmaster, back when I played Offlane, I'd go Shadow Blade Blink Dagger, if I didn't need to go wards. It, I just wear on the map, killing anything. Because I... Shadow Blade around the map, I see a target, I go blink on them. Instead of risking the uh, walking up and then roaring, I walk, or blink on them. So this game, what was uh, Shrepsy's comment from this one? Didn't I have the comments? I had the comments for this you, one. Yeah, you wrote it and said some Oracle gameplay oh, or something. Nope, he just said his response is some Oracle action. You know, that is definitely a, uh, a point. Dude, this game is 64 to 30. What are we yeah. going to all right, uh, we'll just briefly comment on what's what. So this game is Oracle, it's my job to protect my team. I am most scared of Spectre, so if I isolate myself too far, Spectre kills me due to how Spectre works as a hero. If I play too close to my team, I get killed because they see me and jump me. So you kind of have to find this like really awkward midground where you're close enough to your team for them to protect you, as we talked about before. It's a core's job to protect your backliner. And... Excuse me. It is your job as well to not get yourself killed. Yep. Don't pick lion. Fuck that hero. But uh, this lion position four, super useful, dude. <laughs> Winley's game. Thanos. How does? Yeah, maybe it is. I can promise you, no Thanos ever gone Winley's first item. But uh, yeah, see. see, it's a position four. He saw my amazing position gameplay yesterday and bought a Winley's. Yeah. Oh, no, you're the position four. Right. I don't know why he has a win <laughs> Yeah, I think our items are a bit weird. So like, when I play Oracle and I'm highly valuing my spell spandage, I go Sage's Mask level 1. It does better long term, and it can build into something, even if I keep it casual. Like, if I want- if I'm top lane, I'm buying a Basilisk for uh, my PA and I. I go Sage's Mask level 1, regen items, and then I spam, or I immediately call in a Sage's- or bring a Basilisk recipe, and we win the lane. Uh, fast forward through this one. There he is. Void Spirit Oracle against Lich Spectre. That sounds awful. The only reason I want to be Oracle against the Lich is because I can dispel his uh, Frost Shield. Besides that, I'm useless against him. Like, I just don't threaten this lane at all. Um, and it's a wire. Uh, they're putting the strongest laning support in the, uh, this entire game right now with this, the awful laner. I don't think that's a thing. We put him with yeah, the weakest core. To replace, yeah, a shit tier laning support in Wyvern. Mm. With a shit tier laning core in Spectre. So yeah. That's cool. Uh, moral of that point, or not moral. The whole point of what we're getting up there is match. Try to mix match your lanes to have proper effectiveness. Like, unless you accept that you're gonna lose bottom lane and you want to win top lane super hard, just put the Lich bottom because Lich can zone off Void Spirit Oracle, but the Wyvern top. Because Saiyan King hypothetically doesn't lose that lane to the uh, Phantom Assassin Lion if he plays it properly, or if Dire or Radiant, yeah, Dire Team misplay it. Does this Void Spirit not have Remnant? I don't know. We'll check. Uh, it does. I feel like the Spectre died there. Yeah, so what Shrubsy needs to be doing here is he just needs to prevent the pull. They just deward him instantly? Yeah. I'm unfortunate with that one. This is fine. Well, yeah, if you eat him twice there, I think he died. Yeah, I feel like Void Spirit could have come Flame loss that. is insane. Really? Right, it's okay. Yeah, it was just like, it just giga lagged for a second there. Yeah, Jesus Christ, what just happened? I don't know. It appears to have stopped working. Reconnection successful, yeah, okay? It's just dead. I think my entire internet has dropped for like half a second or something. I think, I don't even know. Because I was still talking to you, but OBS said that it died. The Discord said that it died. Can OBS? I can't yeah, if This is need. like one frame per minute. Really? So. 
Okay, I will uh, reboot then, I guess. Just give me a second then. Right, wait, wait, you want me to restart the stream or just. Uh... Uh, I. It's. Where are you? Um... I'm back at 4,000 kilobytes a second, so it should be okay. It's, you can try and play it again. Okay. See if well, it's still like one frame per minute. Okay. Or maybe well, I will try and host next week. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, oh, it just. Did you end it? No, I didn't. Uh, it just ended. I mean, it's been because I think it has happened. I think you guys are pretty far behind compared to where I am. Yeah, I think you guys are. All right, we'll uh, reboot because we have a lot to go through. I'll reset the stream. Give me a second, guys. All right. Oh my god. Do we need like to be able to hard stuff on a shoot like Ethernet? Yeah, probably. Okay. We should be back. Did it recover? Should have. There now. Jesus, I am. Wait, you're what? It's like catching up. Okay. Very bizarrely. I don't really know what's happening. Alright. Okay. We are still quite laggy. Hmm. Did you change the bit rate? Yeah, I can drop it if we need. Yeah, it's it's like still super laggy. Okay. Now. So let me know when you're up again. I turn it back up now. Man, it was going so well. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. It doesn't help. We literally have the possible setup for yeah. content creating at all with two laptops with no ethernet yeah uh, i guess we'll continue again the hope for the best is it back up uh yeah it's paused for now i'm starting it now should be going again Can you have a look at the ember game i said is that hx thing yeah we will do that we can do it next. This is sure. Cool. All right. This looks like it's not. It's doing. It's doing pretty well. Okay. Killed a right, I... Yeah. This looks good. Okay. Good. Let me know if it's dying again. I guess we'll next week we'll have to have you host it and see if that grows any That'll better. Be an experiment with my Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. I again just don't see a value in going to earn uh, first item this game. I feel like if I got boots, I would be better off because I can contest pulls a lot better. I can zone people like more uh, efficiently because I can just kite them more easily. Like I think the biggest issue right now is you haven't contested any pulls. Every pull Wyvern has gone for, she's got. Which if that happened, yeah, honestly, that's pretty bad. Honestly, this is where we put in the uh, me and you. Offland, where I just stood and contested pulls for three minutes in a row. Which one was that again? Was that a Batrider? No, where you're the Veno. That's uh, Veno. Oh, yeah. That game was crazy. We, like, actually shit on that lane. Yeah. So, as the Scars and I were talking about this, this past week, if people are interested, we could start having, like, either a dedicated day for it, or we can just post our replays in a channel or something like that, like the channel we have for replays and whatnot, just to showcase certain points where, like, one replay we're going to look through is two weeks ago or like not this past weekend but the weekend before i was in a battle cup me and a bunch of like rank 800 to 2000 or so immortal players and we got queued up against a bunch of it was archons i think one ancient two and one legend or something like that it was completely dismantled them we beat them in like 15 minutes so scars and i were talking about starting up like showing us playing games against lower ranking people like either our friends or like battle cup stuff like that and showcasing on how we did these things and like watching our perspectives on what we did 
And people can ask questions, why do you do this, all that stuff. So if people would be interested in that, we can look to doing that. Yeah. Because like because we think it has it has some value showing how like we play against people in Yeah. In your brackets, like yeah. These ranks. Yeah. Yeah, because like not 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 even exaggerating. We they called GG like fifteen minutes into the game. I think we fed like five kills because we were messing around. And that's was the first time I'd ever played these, with these guys. I've never played them ever before. Like I put them a few times in ranked games. I'm sure throughout because they're all similar rank to me, but like never coordinated in Discord call. Like no idea who they are. And just completely curb stomp this five stack of friends. Lavern doesn't pressure me. Just go walk at the outpost. Oh. You've been ganked by Tinker. Yeah, I feel like for that, because I don't have booze, I kind of accept my death there. I die for the outpost. Yeah. I think if I had booze, or if I just wanted to TP back to lane, I could. But it, just trading blow for blow with Wyvern isn't going to work. Because they always have that threat of rotating a mid hero over, or a uh, Spectre haunting. Man, your Russian lion is being really high impact. <laughs> you didn't steal a kill there. There's no such thing as stealing kills in Dota. I absolutely hate when people flame me for that, or flame anybody for that. And Wyvern is suicided. Okay, Wyvern. Wyvern suicide. Uh, just so you know, everybody who doesn't play Oracle, you do not take any sorts of the damage in your ultimate. So if you earn yourself, if you salve, anything like that, it doesn't get cancelled. And any heals are doubled. So if you're in your ultimate and you plan on using your fairy fire at some point, just use it right away. It's essentially two fairy fires worth of health. And when you use an urn, it's essentially two urn charges at the same time. So use your region items when you're uh, self-ulting as an oracle. Or it's ulting in general. Just pop salves on people, earn people. That's why he has an urn. Uh, it doesn't get cancelled. Although I'd probably rather have my Void Spirit get the urn than he goes Vessel first item. Because Vessel is pretty high value this game. I mean, if it's Void Spirit 3, yeah, I guess you also go in urn. So I go in on Void Spirit 4. Yeah. If I'm him, I'm going Vessel, Aghanim's BKB, I think. Or maybe I get a Yule Scepter instead of Aghanim's or something like that. I don't know. I don't play Void Spirit 3. But either way, I don't know if I want the uh, urn here. But watch out, like, I'll skip a few minutes further to showcase some fight, explain something. Yeah, and then we have to go, then we're gonna do, um, yeah. um, 00395. Yeah, Rengar Report is fun. Yeah, Rengar Report, and then yeah. we'll do, I think it's HX Doom. Okay. We submitted the Amber one. Yeah, sounds good. Order. Fast forward, we still haven't taken a tier 1 tower at bottom. Hmm. Good stuff. Oh, that was pretty standard, now Tinker's here. Yeah. Oh, that's um, that's that better be his USK okay, good. I'm lost in the wrong person. Yeah. I don't really know. I don't really have any tips for this one. This, this one just contest pulls more, like, super, super important for, uh, for any rank. Sorry, I'm just getting distracted by the fight. I'm curious what's happening. This fight is somehow uh, still going on. Yeah, I don't, this is interesting. The tinker is in the open behind and now he's dead, because that's not how you play. Hmm. Interesting fight. Yeah, I, uh... What were they saying again? Yeah, oh yeah, contesting pulls. Like, as... Why we brought up the topic of uh, showing our replays with... Like, in-houses, random friends, battle cops. And this, like, yeah, as Scar said, we played a game together last night. We were dual offlane, I was offlane Venno. Don't do that, by the way. It sucks. But, uh, and then he was Void Spirit 4. And... He was level like two, whatever it was, five, six minutes into the game. But I was a higher level than the Terrorblade, and I'd killed Terrorblade so many times because he gave me so many levels. 
But because he overleveled me, I actually rotated out of the lane and I asserted dominance across the map as he recovered by taking my lane. Yeah, but that's how you play like a solid off lane. If they can't pull and the wave is in front of your top, and your three has the freest game of their life. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you guys are scared here. Well, you have no PA. Yeah. Get detection. That was nice. Yeah, by dust. It's edict. No. Oh. I would never, ever, in my opinion, ult a support unless I need, uh, see value no, in it. Do like... not ult a lion. Your lion is supposed to. <laughs> yeah. Pick lion. Yeah, it's so like your so... PA just died there and your lion lit. Swap those. Kill the lion. Execute lion for all that's good and holy in this world. And, uh, save your PA. Like, as, as someone who puts a lot of Oracle, I literally execute my teammates if I don't value their life enough. Like, I will not ult them, I will not shallow grave them, false promise them. Cold embrace I can sometimes, but like, there are times where I highly value another person's life over somebody else's. And I have to accept that. Like, Lion has to accept the fact that he fucked up there and deserves to die. PA doesn't deserve to die there. Or at least, deserves 10 seconds longer of the life. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll move on. Okay, Steve. Okay. All right. Yeah. Next. Uh, okay. So do Rengar report next, and then we'll do HX Doom because Rengar report has exams tomorrow and wants to sleep. Oh. Which okay. Is respectable. Uh, did you get that personally? I don't see it in the document. Oh, did you typed in fucking zero. Yeah, because otherwise it was like screwing up the format. Oh of, right, right. I, you have to yeah, change it to a number. I, I could. Yeah, that's fine. Um, all right, yeah. Just, uh, 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 what am I doing? Um, well, good luck on that exam, Renger. Yeah, we will Hope that goes well for you. Right. Any comments about this one? Oh, Sniper. Uh, sniper, yes, no yes, stats. Yes, yes. I like it. Is it, uh... Uh, let me pull it up real quick. Um... This was a really good game for me, and I played really well. Mistakes that I do with my decision making: when to rotate, when to fight, when to farm, macro help. Okay, got it. We will look at that now. Yeah. Check. Uh, just quick item. Oh, Jesus, what are the ranks in this game? Yeah, I uh, look. At, it's like an ancient something in it. Yeah. Oh, Tusk mid. I'm assuming the Tusk didn't actually mid. <laughs> There's no way he did. It's a five stack. It was not even a five stack. Oh, they're they're friends though, so yeah. He's your Tusk. Oh player. wait, he said he changed the replay ID. I I that's right. He changed it, and I never updated the ID. All right, I'm gonna send it to you right now Fucking over Discord. Dude. Sure. Uh... Yeah. Tip for this game: buy a BKB. That's... Yeah. Um, where the hell are you, Journey? There you are. All right, I PM'd it to you. Nice. Good. Thank you for calling that out. Rengar. Yeah. I don't imagine you want to be uh, watching that one. Where are you? Oh, there you are. 10 and 4. You know what? 10 and 4 is a lot more respectable with Squirrel, and I can see why you're happy with yourself with that. Compared to like, what, 14 and 11 or whatever? 14 10. Uh, the Pudge. And okay, so what have we learned today? The, the Pudge is up the rate. Pudge? So. Stop picking zero. Kind of, kind of okay looking set. Really awful. Like, what is, as we said, ignore the punch. What does blade mail do? It means you ignore them even more. Yeah, you have no stats. You have one bracer. <laughs> I can see it's just. Yeah, I don't know. So this game, yeah. all I'm worried about is being caught by the Ricky. I don't think Shadowblade does anything for me because they're just gonna jump me anyways. Ricky is always gonna be on top of me. He's gonna have dust. But I think I just try to tank up and play with my team as much as I can. Probably any death you have is because you isolate yourself or they isolate you. Yeah, buy stats on Sniper. Don't be a glass cannon. Yeah. As we saw with the uh, Axe and Chanter Sniper game, it's not worth it. You get called blade milled once, you die. Did I go too far? I didn't. All right, we're Sniper. Yep, this is fine. Get, I would swap up one circlet for two branches. It's the same stats, but it's a bit cheaper, and you can place your tangos and get double regen. 
Well, yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah. No, yeah, you're right. You have to double circle it? No, what you, what you said is right. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, same stats. It just, uh, yeah, yeah double the effect of tangos. Right, if if they place the ward, the ward it. You saw him do it. Punish these people. Ship a sentry. Yeah, punish the next these thing people. You buy is a sentry. It will literally give you the rate band replica with the extra gold. Yeah. Right, this is such an awful things because this troll matchup. doesn't know how to pull aggro. Yeah. Yeah, this is why it's important to learn to, to abuse creep aggro. Call it no. Don't send the creep back in my sentry ward. Back in camps. Make sure we protect that, as we saw with, what was it, Cocaine's on Medusa, I think it was last week. You gotta protect your camps. If you stack them, they'll take them. Shrapnel the wave is fine. Is this, where, what is the troll Oh, he's jungling? He's jungling. I honestly think you just stack that again. Yeah. And then just wait till you have more points in shrapnel to take it. <laughs> I think it's okay. Like this couple of haze yeah. is my sentry. Z ward in the mid. You're, sh you're shoving the wave and then doing it. Yeah, this is this is pretty clean. I take back what I said. <laughs> okay, yeah, so just understand how hard sniper is abusing the jungle. He's level six when troll is level five and a half. Not even like snipers winning the lane, quote unquote, in terms of last hits, denies and all that. Um, obviously, he, like half these last hits are because of uh, neutrals. But like, if you don't need to lane, you can just push the lane into their tower and go jungle on certain heroes. It's totally fine to do that. On snipers, on storm spirits, on shadow fiends. All right. Well, we're talking about like little things. So with that cart wave. If you really want to force that tower, you can fortify your creeps, and then the next wave that was right behind it will come in, and the tower will de-aggro it, and then, um, like, you will get way more damage with the tower, in terms yeah. of, like, little things. But this is good, because you're, like, one-tapping every time you push the wave in, which is how you take it, like, a tower, like, just, yeah, this is, this is really clean so far. Now the time short comes, though. Call the time out five minutes ago. Yeah, that's another thing. Make sure you put your treads back to agility when you tread swap. Yeah, you're missing out on that 8 damage. It's 8 damage still, right? 10 damage. Wow. 10 damage, yeah. I thought it was, thought uh, it was Yeah, eight. this is the perfect time to rotate. Yes. Right, as your brew has yeah. 6, mat or as Brewmaster has 6 and the cart wave's coming? Yeah, that's a good gank. With a haste, yeah, absolutely. And then you TP right back mid. Perfect, yep. yeah. Extremely clean. And the deny on the rune. Love to see it. All right. Just make sure you go back to agility. Hit the this, tower. This tower would be dead if you're on agility. Oh my god, troll, you goon. Dude, the troll's feeding. Are you dead here? Oh, oh. Call for TP backup. Call for those yeah. boys. You just scream into your mic. Yeah, not, not even shout, shout help. Just go, ah! He's running away. Someone will pick up on what they need. Yeah, someone has to help you there. Like, Jesus. that You were chased for like 20 seconds, and your four didn't even move. Mm -hmm. Dude, just look at last hits. Like, this is what playing, like, junk... I don't know about this TP. I guess it's okay, because you can walk into jungle, but... I think for now, yeah. because we have Fame Assassin, we want to look to get into the game. Like, PA's lane's kind of shit, and we're super strong. I think I can look to just abuse my Shrapnel, being such a good spell. And just go TP bottom, or like, run with, uh... So I would send Tide Brewmaster bottom with Pugna Sniper. And then I would send Fam Assassin Solo to fight top, or farm top. Give him a ward to place for himself, like obviously it's not on you, just saying in general for your team. Have PA Solo hit top, like she TP back bottom where all the heroes are. It's so risky and so pointless. Like, PA doesn't want to be in the fights. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's just GA not knowing when to leave the line. Mm -hmm. I think you're probably gonna get the crap into your side. Yeah. yeah Make sure when you, uh. Did he ult for that? No, he didn't have ult. Uh, he Shadow Blade Rush. Hmm. When okay. You... Alright, alright. With the shrapnel, they don't stack. Oh, did, did he stack them? I didn't even notice that. Yeah, there was two. Okay, yeah. The, the slows and the damage don't stack. So don't spam them. This is super clean, though. You're buying clarities? Like, I don't know that I have any complaints so far. Yeah. Besides that, your team as a as a whole is not playing this correctly. Yeah. But you can't necessarily control that. Besides just, like, saying PA take mid or PA go top. Mm -hmm. Let me wall here. Yeah. Yeah, whenever you leave mid, like, whenever you're going to gank his mid, and you, the, you think that they might take your tier 1 tower, like, Troll will take your tier 1 tower. He's already shown that. Have someone go defend mid. Like, yeah, he's killed a Pudge. We're trading a tier 1 tower for a Pudge. And logically, which one's going to be more worth it for them? Even if we get this tier 1 off, and that tower's going to fall in a second anyways. We just committed four or five heroes or whatever for a Pudge and a dead tower. Yeah, your PA is playing this completely wrong. <laughs> Like, in terms of where to fight, or where yeah. to farm. Like, no one on your team has been top lane in seven minutes since the tower fell. It's super bad. Yeah. You even take gotta get away right? from your PA. Like, yeah. You guys just, I don't know. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, you again, guys can play super aggressive here. PA's dying bottom or being dove bottom and your entire team's top. Swap those. Instead of having to TP people down there, you guys should already be down there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is okay. You're going to put it in, which is fine. Yeah. Okay, like, it's fine for you to be up here. It's a matter of your team's fighting bottom and they're using all their ultimates and shit and you're not there. And you're keeping it now. Like, this fight's going to be a win for us, for sure. But why isn't PA top lane? Then he can just get even more of a win. You guys win the fight and he gets that far. Yeah, I mean, your PA needs to, like, just get away from people off. Mm -hmm. I think he just runs. Oh, Pudge missed a hook on somebody standing still. Very cool. And then Troll's taking your tier 2 tower. Is Troll's gonna rat you all game? Do you have any intentions of playing the game? You rush Shadow Blade. I don't know. Is that a thing? No. no. It is not a thing. Like, in, no matter what bracket, that is not a thing. Um, I don't know about this chase, yeah. yeah. I think my biggest concern right now is this item build kind of sucks. If they're going to gap yeah. on you, the Shadow is not going to stop it. They're going to see you with Ricky, they're going to jump you preemptively with Legion Commander. Like Having a pike right there ensures that she can't do that and you can kill him after. Instead he just opts to go for the, uh, the killing himself option. Yeah. But Although yeah, Pike like, wouldn't have helped with this, but... Oh. Now you're Giga Dead. Yeah. yeah. Well, space created. Yeah, I'll we'll go with that. Tidehunter and your Brew are fine. Not helpful, because your PA should be there. Yep. But... Hmm. You're not going to split? Huh. I feel like if we commit Ravage, we have to use Primal Split there. Yeah. The, the camera work is fantastic. This is yes. this is perfect. Hopefully you've been like... I mean, clearly you've been listening to what we to what Journey's been saying about that, because that was great. You were quite too. Yep. Very good perfect. stuff. Yeah, I can see yeah, why you mentioned about good. being happy with yourself, because this is very good stuff. I mean, your PA is just brain dead, but so does yeah. the, the Tide and the... It's not even the PA's fault, it's the Tide and the Brewmaster. Like, go away. Yeah, you yeah have honestly. Split, you have Ravage, why are you fine? Like, why is ta like, Tide TPing top right now? Go TP yeah, bottom where the fight is, is. What is this? Like... <sighs> Alright, yes, just explain why this is super concerning. The more heroes you put in a lane, the more heroes they're going to put in a lane, logically. So, by Tide T being top lane, and Sniper already being top lane, that means somebody has to occupy bottom tier 1 or they lose a tower. And that means there's three other heroes that can do it. Like, that is not a fun one. 
So why isn't the Phantom Assassin top the Tide one? Because Tide wants to fight, Pia wants to farm. And they're swapping what they want to be doing right now. Like, it's fine for Sniper to be here, because some hero, like, some actual core hero should be occupying the safest farm on the map. Or, like, the, the best farm on the map. Yeah, I'd just be super mindful. Yourself. Like, yeah, you're gonna get jumped by Troll Ricky in a second. Yeah. Because yeah. you... Actually, who's, like, blue? No, Ricky's showing... Yeah. Yeah, Rick, Ricky, Ricky showed bottom, bottom. yeah. yeah. So the, that might have just been because of the fog. I don't even think he, Ricky showed bottom. I think it's, uh... I don't have the fog on. No, it's just because I don't have the fog on. I don't think we would have seen it on the minimap. Uh, I could be wrong, though. I didn't see on the minimap. Like, if he's attacking anything, though. But still. Look, when, once the wave comes into the tier 2, assume you're going to be ganked. Especially because there are two gank or like, two in of his gankers were off map. Even just one of them can solo kill you, or force you to TP at the very least. Dude, what are these Ravagers? Does this dude have split? Like, what is happening? Yeah, so my tip, like, I don't think we should only be 2k up. I think if you... Why are you saying run, bro? You just lost that fight. If this, uh... Shadow Blade is a Hurricane Pike, and this extra, like, the remaining gold and whatnot turned into a BKB, I don't think we lose this game. Because as long as we just... Uh, again, assuming Brewmaster is half-decent in the game. Or assume that the Pugna does something in this game. You don't really need to fear Troll Warlord. You have Decrep and you have Cyclone from the Wind Panda to throw up in the air. Or throw him up in the air or Decrep you, Decrep Troll, whatever. So you kind of just want to just don't, like, not die to spells. Like, you don't want to be slowed by the Diffusal Blade, by the Smoke Screen. You don't want to be Blade Mail killed, Ice Path killed, Macro Pyred, Dual Breath. Like, they have a lot of attack slow and movement slow. So if you just ignore that and just Decrep the Troll or Decrep the Legion Commander when you get jumped, you just live forever. Again, why is this tied here? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. what do you? What is he doing? Like, if like honestly, if this is happening in one of your games, yeah, just fucking leave him. And when he dies because he's being brain dead, you just like, just let him die. Like, yeah, go fight bottom exactly. Yeah. All right, I think we can probably call this. Yeah. I feel like this yeah. next few minutes is gonna be like we win one more fight, we go get Roshan, we win the game, right? Keeper Master has different ideas, but I uh, feel like we could fight this. If we drop a Sentry Ward here, Pudge is gonna hook you if you're not careful. Alright, I was gonna, yeah, there it is. <laughs> nice to die. But uh, yeah, I think we can just call it off with because we have a lot more to go through still. I just think. Yeah. Things take away from this game. I don't feel like your itemization. I just don't like the sniper shadow blade. I think that's super outdated. And yeah, we should have got that. The troll shouldn't be getting that either. That should be us getting it. Uh, what else? Proper map movements, not flaming you. Saying just in general because you're brewmaster and tide hunter. The more like if they go bottom where your PA is, PA has to either stick around or TP to the other half of the map. And for whatever reason, PA opted not to. PA wants to be farming, your rest of your team wants to be fighting. So match your map movements with that. Same thing with item build, skill build. Play how your hero wants to be playing. We're using a uh, root split. We just... Okay. Alright, yeah, th yeah, we can move on. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to watch that fight. That fight's going to just be a clown fest. By the uh, the brewmaster and the troll warlord are gonna kill himself in some weird way. Um, where are we at now? Um, Ulthron? HX Doom did ask for his, but we really should do these in order that they came in. Um, although Katz is here, so like, yeah, okay, he's. HX Doom is here too. Um, all right. So because was Cats first before that? Yeah. All right. We're we're gonna do a little order flipping here. So do Cats, then we'll do HX Doom because you guys are here. Is that that's cool? That's fair. Sure. Sounds good. All right. Hopefully they're both in chat too. So like they're yeah. here. So we'll do it for them. Yeah. So funny thing with this replay when I was downloading it, you actually played against one of my friends from school. This guy right here, the Clockwork. Oh, which wait, which one? This guy, the clockwork? Do I know him? No. 
I knew him from school before he dropped out and sw uh, switched to a different university, but yeah, I know this guy. He's Divine uh, One. Wait, what MMR is this game? It's a pub match. Oh, they have, they have, okay. yeah, they random they first randomed Mr. Garlic Tinker. Oh no, that, that yeah, that was a rough one when I saw that. That is not fun whatsoever. But uh, tips for you. What do you mean? You guys lose this game, right? You guys won. How do you first random a ting uh, Tinker and win? Yeah, I feel like your your game is just over. Yeah, yeah what is Mark you doing, dude? Kind of cool set though. I have the golden one of that. I'm Pretty assuming cool. you don't finish with just those items. Yeah, I really hope. Just, just a bug. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my biggest no tip. Fire. Yeah. Uh, there's a pugna, so yeah, no fire makes sense. True. I would recommend swapping out some form of item for AC, because no one has that, right? There's no way. The rapier. And did did Enigma build it? No, no one did. I would be looking Enigma for an AC. Enigma has a rapier. Very yeah. cool. AC is a super core item on your hero. You have like one point something adjugate, I think 1.3 adjugate. You never really build any other armor items. They're all really bad. AC is the best da like physical damage dealing item. If you buy AC, like swap out your Deso for an AC. When do you buy Deso, actually? Second item. Okay. You're only five. Hmm. Uh, Jesus. Uh, okay. Well, that the laning stage is going to be the uh, core focus of this. Well, wait. Let me see what she said. Yeah, she said something. I forget what. Uh, I can pull it up. Yeah. Right. Uh, farming patterns and finding farm in a loop. Right? I got ass clapped in lane and should have left earlier. After leaving lane, it was hard for me to find places to hit creeps without dying, but I eventually got... Uh, just want to know how to get farm in hard situation. Pause one. Well, Life Stealer is a weak position one. Yeah. So... One thing to consider when picking, or I don't know if you picked or what, is that no matter what hero you pick, you're going to be underfarmed. The way Tinker works, and the reason why Tinker sucks super hard as a hero, is because they take all the farm that have trouble closing up the game. So you have to pick a hero that can survive on less farm than normal, and can close out a game. Like, go high ground, can hit buildings, can protect Tinker somewhat, something like that. So Lysar, to some degree, can couple like work with that as long as you don't get super far behind. Which if you get super far behind, you kind of lose. Like I have no idea how you guys win. You had four out of five heroes breaking double digit deaths. Actually, two people yeah. in the entire game didn't have double digit deaths. Wow. Yeah, and their lineup just destroys Tinker. So. Yeah. And Enigma. It's not even that good of an Enigma game. Like, well, yeah, it's the, also the, a random, so. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's like the second random of the Enigma. Like they have a BKB printing sun in uh, Ricky. If Smoke's Cloud, if he doesn't have BKB up. They have Quap, who's pretty decent against Enigma because she can jump them. Clock Rick Quop beats. definitely destroys Tinker, Quap and Ricky. Yeah. I don't know. Interesting and stuff. Clock. And Pugna And then they pick annoying. Lion just to grief their game. And all. <laughs> yeah, so. if, if they, if they lose. Oh, another hour, 10 minute game. If they lose, it's on the Lion on this one. Calling it now. I'll ask Mark. I'll call him out. Ask him why they're picking Lion. I would actually stop talking to my friends if they unironically picked Lion. Yeah, in my next six games, I'm going to pick Lion, safe Lion. Yeah, Just all right. Just out of inspiration. <laughs> Go Orb of Venom, first two items. Yeah. Orb of the... Venom, Blightstone, starting items. On yeah. Okay, there's hope. Mr. Garlic does have a positive winner and Tinker. He, he's eight and four in his last twelve <laughs> matches. Lots of experience yeah. on Tinker. Yeah, last twelve matches over the course of like six years. Game. Oh yeah, honestly, one of the worst you could have got. The hero just sucks right now. And <laughs> you first random hit. Yeah. Uh, uh, starting with a stick. Okay. Yeah. So starting with the stick. What, what did their lane be? It's gonna be pugna clockwork. I feel like I don't care for a stick in this lane. Like, Pugna kind of spams D-Crap, but what he should do is he should just go for Nether Ward level 1 and just prevent Disruptor from using Q. The third hero coming behind you. They're going to try killing you guys. Yeah. Oh, it's only oh, three. This looks very bad. I got a sword and I saw somebody up above. Yeah, I think, the, I think the Pugna turned around then. Oh, yeah, maybe that was it. So, yeah, having a salve here would have paid off. So if you're going to start with the stick, don't buy a mango. The stick should be your mana supplement. 
If you had a salve here, yeah. but uh, um, you got one from Mr. Pancakes. That does please the master. What a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Just be mindful of the uh, fringe creep. Also to remember that my friend Mark is Divine 1, and he's more than likely just going to crush you in lane. There's a pretty big MMR difference between you two. Although he is a support oh, player. Pancakes. Yeah. I'm a Pancakes Legend Legend 4 or so. Okay, so this, this lane has a huge MMR. Yeah. Like, what is Pugna? So it's, yeah, it's Archon Divine versus a uh, Herald Legend. Yeah, that's a, a little yeah. not too fair. Yeah. But hey. Right, also, so I just noticed I... it now. Wait. Don't use your stick every time it, you get one charge. You're better off tanking some of the spells and then waiting so you can try bathing them in for a play. Like, you're gonna use it right now, aren't you? Are you? Well, apparently not. You're shopping. That might be why. Yeah, you got one stick charge a few seconds ago and used it. Just hold on to the charges a bit longer and then try baiting with a play. Like, if you can make them overextend any turn and rage magic wand or magic stick, you can get something done. The support they, should be going to go pull. Drag. Yeah, Pancakes needs to pull. And just abusing Creep Agger if you can. Like, pulling it into your range creep waves, or range creeps, so you can deny the range creeps. Oh, there goes a courier. Yeah, as Mark just said, that just happens. And then you buy out a full wand. I feel like I just want Orb of Venom yep. boots here. Like, I feel like getting a magic wand is nothing for me. Magic stick should be fine for now. Do you even want the Orb of Venom? I feel like you're not hit to. Yeah, maybe not. I feel like this boots at least. I feel like with how late bad this lane is going, sure. yeah, I think this want boots for this item. I'm just telling my support to spam pull for now. I don't even want to go to lane. Oh, you're dead here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, this is... Yeah, you basically don't to like ever if you can avoid it yeah this this is like this offlane shouldn't be beating guys too hard it's more or less just misplaying like not pulling enough not drawing creep aggro at certain times where you could just giving up like letting him walk at you guys constant battery assaulting is never a fun thing i feel like if i'm the five in this in this lane though i'm literally just chain pull yeah yeah, all, all Mr. Peggy should be doing is non-stop spam pulling, and all you do is sit under your tower. Because if the Clockwork walks over to contest the pull, or the Pugna walks over to contest the pull because Pugna's super fast, the Sharpen just backs up and this lets him get the pull XP. As long as you're free farming, you're in a, a good place. Enigma is first and last hits. Very interesting. Hmm. Also- Wait, rank is Enigma? I think it was on rank. He's legend. Legend 5. Legend 4. Also, whenever uh, Clockwork steps up, just hit him a few times. Trade hits. Because I don't think you've hit him once yet, right? Well, you don't want to get cogs by him, though. Yeah. But if he was to cogs, you could just rage and hit it. Or hit it and then rage and walk out as soon as you get decrept. Like, they don't really have any kill throw on you. As long as you play in the creep wave and you trade hits, it'll be fine. Because his damage is purely AoE while you're the single target. So the more units you have around you, the better off you'll be. I mean, your CS is not bad at all. You're actually yeah. beating the Ricky. Yeah. But he's also had, like, six creeps denied from him without a chance at uh, getting it. Interesting pull by their uh, offline. Good rage. Devil Bracer Life Stealer. I think that's fine this game. Think? I have no problem. I don't think I have a problem with that in this lane. I feel like. Uh, it, I mean. My issue with it, I feel like I'm just conceding the next like ten minutes of the game. I'm just like surrendering. And I feel like if I get both of those or one of those braces and turn into earlier phase boot, I can make something happen because I can trade hits easier. They can't really kill me if I have phase boots. I also have more damage to farm waves. My lane is this shit. The Devil Bracer lets me fight. I don't want to fight. I want to recover. Like, by hitting creeps. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I think there's a lot worse. Yeah, there it is a lot worse. super hard to kill. Honestly, yeah. I think almost... It, the benefit of it is that they're not going to try and kill you. 
Could yeah. be how many stats are you gonna have? So it's gonna be like fuck this shit, and then just leave you alone. In yeah. theory. In theory. Listen, they're gonna dive you here. And you're gonna raise. And they're gonna hookshot you. Okay, apparently Mark sucks at clockwork. Who would have guessed? They're gonna die here anyways. They're gonna juke him somehow. He's, he's hook him, Mark. We don't have mana. That makes sense. Are you gonna kill the bug though? No. Oh. That's an unneeded smoke by the disruptor there. Yeah, if they have that many creeps, just be mindful of them diving you. Fortifying, like, it's honestly a good thing that you are uh, playing against a divine player. Just seeing how, like, there is no way in hell a herald level player would be fortifying that creep wave and diving you. Because I am certain not. The clockwork realized you have one point rage because that's how clock or Lysler is built. So he waits like the, the three second rage. Is that correct? Three seconds of rage. And then he just dives you. And then he hook shots you if you try TPing it with uh, rage. And then he kills you. So it's just learn from us. Like honestly, you can you can watch us a hundred times and find something new. If you didn't go to us, obviously. I don't know how that true that'll be now. Don't g oh. No. No. Why didn't you pick it up? <laughs> that is so. That's like a top tier item. Like one of the best neutral items in the entire game. I just got yeah, barrel stuffed. Yeah, good, good feast. You're just gonna get cogged though. Apparently, Mark isn't very interested in the cog gameplay. Fucking Mark, do you not have mana? I don't know about this skill skill build, but you know. I think it. you just jungle if these two are gonna sit here. Yeah, definitely. You concede your tier one tower. You have oh, sorry, you have disruptor. Oh, going for the big stack. You have disruptor, hold a tower and get XP and just keep dying because they wasted hook. I'm gonna die from after. Disruptor plays in the top tree line, having an escaper with tangos and shit. You hit your newts. Potentially. Because, where did Pugna go? Well, Pugna went mid. Okay, you can go back to lane now. What should be happening is with this cartwave, they should be diving you. They should be calling Lion in, I think. I don't know how bottom's going. Because, yeah, Lion doesn't pressure Enigma. Lion should be TPing top. They kill the support. They kill the disruptor. And they uh, take this tier 1. Mark's going to miss this hook. Going to miss this Oh, I didn't even go for it. Yeah. That, that's bad on their part. Pugna should not let a cart die. He just keeps decrepifying it and uh, blasting the towers. Yeah, so what should just be happening is you guys hit your newts. Like, you can go back to the lane if you want, but it's super risky. You're going towards the Ricky. Enigma's giving you the lane. I don't know if that's a play. I feel like I just die here. Because they have finger up. They just can manage to suck me because this guy probably has like... Seven points and suck. Okay, he doesn't. Cool. Rushing tranquil boots. So. Interesting. Uh, my problem here now is if this was a super, super high ranking game and the uh, life sealer TPs in bottom, Clockwork follows you and they just kill you. Because they have. Oh, what's the black hole? That's a good black hole. I like it. I'll finish my point in a second. I'll watch this fight. Quap is dead, isn't she? Oh, all the Eidolons died. Okay. Alright, that's unfortunate. But as I was saying, what should be happening with UT being bottom there is Clockwork follows you. Because Pugna will solo take that tier 1 tower. And then they hookshot you, cogs, and drop smoke cloud. And you just can't rage and hit the... Like, rage and get out. And then that means you either die, or you go back to base, or you're low enough to go jungle, which means you committed to TP to get across map, didn't get anything from it, and then your lane is kind of fucked for the next minute. So I just be very mindful of if I ever commit a TP of what they can do to stop it. I like how the creeps didn't even drop aggro on you. Kind of funny, just walk circles around. He just followed you, yeah. Don't max open wounds. Rage is the next thing you max out. Only thing that scales, I believe, is one second off per cooldown and increased cast range on leveling open wounds. It's by far your worst spell. Because the life steal component and slow component don't get increased. Yeah. Oh, what? Two seconds off of 
What's four seconds? Not even two. Where did I get two from? Okay, the cooldown. I kind of want to cooldown this way lower at level one. I honestly thought it was like 15, 14, 13, 12. Yes, not. I, mean, I feel like you're finding. I feel like you're finding farm pretty well though. Yeah. I have to be mindful of the clock walking at you. He just hook shot it away, didn't he? No, he died to kitty. Cool. I just don't want to be farming where my tinker is right now, though. Like, give tinker, like, ask tinker, where do you want to play? Which tinker's gonna say everywhere because I'm a tinker and I'm a greedy fuck. That's all that hero does. He takes all the farm. And you have a really greedy off laner and you have a farm demanding safe laner. Not a very fun combo. But I think right now I'm just walking at top and holding that tier two. I don't want them to take that or do any damage to it. Or Tinker can do it right as a Tinker in the game. Never mind. Let's talk with Tinker. Hey Tinker, can I get that farm, sir? And he says no. Fuck you. Tinker went bot, so definitely would go up top now. Yeah. Oh, kill the gay creep. Sorry, I not use that. Right. Okay. Good. <laughs> That creep, that is so annoying. Yeah, the prowler. That, that is a negative term, but yeah, get rid of that creep. Ancient prowl creep, yeah, like the worst addition to all of Dota 2. The thing is so annoying. I don't know how to die to it. Oh. I'm on the Crusader game, and then my Amber's like... Your, uh, your Discord is going all robotic for me. Sick. Yeah. It's on urine this time, I'm checking. My stuff is good. So one thing I'd be looking to do, if I'm still in mode recovery, I'm just looking to protect my towers. Which is very awkward, because Tinker wants to be doing the same thing. But this is more or less a... I, mean, I want to call it a drafting issue, but it's really a randoming issue, where you random two heroes that just are really greedy, and you pick the life stealer who needs farm. What neutral item did you get? Why do you send back a neutral item? I'm actually really confused. Am I, am I better? Yeah, you're better. Okay. Sweet. Since you sent back the M-Claw to retake the M-Claw. Hey, that's what we call efficiency. Yeah. Refreshing the cooldown, farm right? You're farming fine. I, I, it, it doesn't help. Like, Journey's been saying that you have a Tinker, but I think you're doing pretty well recovering. Yeah. I mean, your Enigma has a bazillion last hits because it's yeah. an Enigma. But... Yeah, I, I think we've... Started. Yeah, but see, I, I think we've commented on this before with how drafting and stuff works, how one hero has to take the, like, tank the gank, essentially, for the, uh, farming component of the game. Yeah, you're gonna get hooked out of here. Let's look for a... Ooh. Dude, look how high impact this lion is. He's set up with a hook shot. Yeah. Big plays. But, uh, what are they saying? Yeah, someone has to tank the gank on who's lose out in the farm, and Enigma's gonna find farm no matter what because he's Enigma, and Tinker finds a lot of farm no matter what because he's Tinker. So, like, it's kind of on the nature of your hero to uh, fall behind. Like, I honestly think being 5th, 6th net worth at this point in the game is okay. Or, not okay. Yeah. It's manageable. Like, ideally, Clockwork is lower, but Clockwork is doing well. He's 7, 3, and 10. And, uh... Excuse me, Ricky is 4 and 2, now 4 and 3. What is Claw Path? After getting garlic on. Mm-hmm. Now that Claw has an Orchid, you can never show up in a lane. They just revealed they had a ward to you guys, which means it should be dewarded right away. That black hole was not needed, but it looked kind of cool. Yeah, it looks cool. That's what's important. Mm -hmm. Hey, the lion died because... So it's yeah, cool. it's a good Corona then. Or a uh, good thingy. Yeah, the problem yeah, is... Again, like... No, you go. Yeah, so the problem is, because Quap is an Orchid and you only have a Maelstrom, you can't even show up to a lane. Like, literally the entire time, unless your reaction time is very fast, you just have to TP out and hope they don't stun you. Um, Daniel uh, Koo in chat just asked, what kind of safe laner, what kind of safe laner doesn't need farm that would fit into this team? Oh yeah, that's uh... For this team, that's the problem with Tinker, and it's why Tinker sucks. You, you just treat it like a Spectre lineup in a sense, but then you're picking a Spectre who can't end the game and falls off late game. So for this game, I think I would... I'm going to put the hero list quickly. 
The Bristleback would be okay. Bloodseeker can manage without farm. Uh, Ricky. Ricky can do okay without farm. Ricky can make his own plays. Void Spirit can make plays without as much farm. Uh, I think a Bristleback kind of balls out in this lineup. Yeah, I think I'd want Bristleback, to be honest. That's, I think it was my pick for 10th. Because that hero scales, that hero can front line for your team, and that hero does win lane top. Like, you don't and care about decrypt. Yeah, and it just dumpsters Ricky. Yeah, like, Ricky's never a threat to you. It's the same thing with Quop. Quop is never a threat to you. Like, if you think about it, who do they have to get a Silver Edge? The Queen of Pain Silver Edge coming in hot? Like, no. They don't want that. Not with a Ricky. Dude, you ne you've never seen the Ricky Silver Edge build? That's <laughs> super sick. I think I remember playing a game with someone. I think they were joking. I actually have no idea who it was. But they built Shadowblade and Ricky. They're like, they, you invis in to fight them and you Shadowblade out. Something stupid like that. It was the clowniest thing ever. I think it was a joke, though. I hope it was a joke. But, uh, I feel like Garlic dies down there with the Ricky season, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Ricky saw him. He blinked out. Hmm. Do you guys ever end up dewarding that cliff that they showed they had a ward on? And they missed the hook on you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, what else did Cat say? I'm gonna say, because we should look to wrap this up. I feel like this game's closing out. I think this is mostly just an awkward life sealer pick. Like, Quop can hunt you. That was a, a good black hole. You're gonna die, though. Ooh, you don't even die. You get the infest or rage off before like it. Pugna was killing himself because your team's not re-engaging. I guess your Tinker's a little mana. That's fair. Never mind. Hashtag Tinker things. Just Tinker things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but this is just a draft slash randoming issue. I mean, there there literally is no because you have Tinker and Enigma. Yeah. But yeah, for the farming aspect, yeah. Yeah, well, that's what she asked about, mainly. Yeah, for that, yeah. Just learn to pick better heroes. That's all we can really say. Like, hopefully, DFZ, like, I know that uh, Keo, the EU coach, has messaged a few people to be talking about uh, making an in-depth guide for how to draft for beginner players and uh, experienced players alike. So hopefully if we can get that going, we'll be able to send that out relatively soon and then... People can pick better. Like, there is a, a program. I think you guys can see this, right? If I... Fuck, where is OBS? You guys can't. Okay. Never mind. But uh, there are programs, like, Overwolf can help with drafting. Strats.com can help with drafting. I believe Dota Buff has some sort of drafting mechanism. Software component thing. We can just look at that. And... I feel like there's a super good Dota alchemy. It actually might be Jenkins. Oops. That talks about drafting and the different types of cores, but I don't know for sure. Potentially. I'd have to look for it. Alright, well, okay. Next replay? Yes, what is the next replay? We're gonna do HX Doom on the Ember. Uh, I don't see that one. Can you send me the ID? All the way at the bottom. I have not added it, so I will send you the ID. Okay, okay, sir. Because it came in kind of late. Okay. Uh, it started streaming three hours ago. Did you get it, Jenny? Uh, oh, right, you sent it on Discord. Yeah. Let you put it on the spreadsheet. Sure, I'll take a quick gander. Hopefully this game isn't over an hour long, because Every single game we've got, dude, is over an hour. 30 minutes. I like that. Radiant team, good job. Good stuff. 52 oh. to 13. Who would have guessed? A winning team. Who would have guessed? 13 and 1. Okay. The well, Pudge. It's the Ember. The Pudge loses. Yeah, wow. The Pudge loses. What a surprise. Oh, I can't even doubt. It's too new of a game. <laughs> All oh, right. It's too new? Yeah. HX Doom, what is this stuff? Wait, what? This game happened a week. Oh, this game happened a week ago, exactly today. Yeah, you can't send in the replays that are old, uh, over a day, over a day, over a week. We like just missed the time, roughly, on when we could watch this. This will never be available Does for it... us. Will it not work? No. 
I think the only way we can make it work is if they have it downloaded, they can send one of us the replay file, and then we can upload it into my replay folder, and we can watch it through that. Uh, that's through the consonants uh, if he has it downloaded. Yeah, yeah, send another one in right now. Just uh, PM it to me on Discord. Or you yeah. can send the ID in chat, either way. 52.13. Well, you might as well click on items. We can talk about that yeah. while we wait. Uh, That's what first? That's what first. Wait, no, it second. is Ember. This hero can do like literally anything. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think you get that's what blade mill. You jump the sniper, you kill sniper, you pop your blade mill, you die. Who cares? Because they're all dead. Yeah. And like none of their heroes can sustain through a desolator damage. Because like this guy's not tanky. This guy, this guy's a desolator. Oh my god. Not tanky. Garbage. Not tanky. Not tanky. So, uh, good build. I like it. I don't know if I would have gone crits here. I think here I'd be going for some sort of stat defensive item. But I guess if you're this far ahead, you get an Aegis, you can just go crit and uh, win the game. Which, hint, hint. Oh, no. Which you actually did. Uh, Alright, so while we await this replay... Alright, pro tip. All right. Echo Saber doesn't work on ranged heroes. Someone won an Echo Saber on a ranged hero? On who? Zeus. Oh my god. Alright. Well, he is clearly very new. Yeah. No, he's, he's not. Meaning? It's from 2012. I hope he's me. He's power treads. I'm gonna call it a meme. Let's go with that. Uh, do you send me the next ID? Or yeah. what's happening? Yeah, I just sent it in chat. Why did I do that? I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. Alright, next one, inbounds. Okay. I just searched for it in the DFC channel. Oh I'm my really smart. god. You okay there? You're not just a bit too long? Yeah, dude. So, how many do we have after this? Let's let's count. So we did... What the hell? Death Noise. Did we do his Bloodseeker? Holy shit, I'm like losing track of what we've done. We did this. Okay. Okay. Are we uh, good? Items. You actually bought a vessel. Holy crap. Who rank are you? The fact that you understand hero itemization, 931 XPM. Holy hell. I guess this game is just an absolute. The Mars is 0 and 4. Yep. <laughs> and the OD is 2 and 12. Yeah, nice. that's a rough one. Alright, do you have any comments on this one? Or same as the last one, Himesh? Uh, Flag bike. Uh, I tried to annoy them as much as possible, same as last Okay, so, in the last one he said, what efficiencies can I do along with early mid-game rotations and mechanics and laning? Alright, so we're looking at early mid-game. Okay, sounds good. I'll watch the replay. Landing yeah. was weak. Okay. I like your build. I think the end build is good. Vessel Mill near is a pretty good build. Vessel BKB is a good build. Yeah. That's Ember it. is hard because it's the it's the item build is just everything. Like yeah. you actually have to understand the game to build Ember correctly because it changes on a game by game. Yeah. Similar with Jug in my opinion, although it's not as uh Versatile as Juggernaut or Ember Spirits, I still think Jug is a very high. Uh, what's it called? Oh. Item variety. I want to call it. Prepare for battle. All right. Okay, we'll talk about starting items. Give a quick. Thanks be to you. That's why I'm spamming him, running a lot of general. Yeah, well, you're learning a lot of general Dota and you're learning. Yeah. That's good. And you're full for... Oh, I think the starting items are fine. Yeah, I, this, that's what I wanted. Void mid. What the fuck? You sure it's void mid, not OD mid? Does your hero beat void spirit mid? Always be yeah, careful of the other team's cliff. 
uh, very risque if you walk, like, if you're underneath the ward that they preemptively placed, like how Rengar had his ward up for the other guy, you'll see where they uh, put it, and they'll just deward you. Uh, I feel like this Dazzle's Giga dead. Nope, the OD came. Alright, go to your lane. Yeah, I don't even know if I care to chase this guy too much. I guess we're gonna get a kill off of it. This is gonna be first blood. Okay, that's fine. It worked out. That's fine. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, call it a salve, just in case. Hmm. Yeah, I would shoot the salve with it. All right, the bottle was here. Void spirit, you shit on this hero mid. Yeah, as long as you match flame guard with his resonant pulse, he can't break flame guard, which is very bad for him. Because the way you easily beat Ember Spirit's mid is you have high physical damage, or you break his uh, flame guard, or both. So I'm morphling just shits on this hero mid. Oh, and he found his ward. Very cool. Yep. Good stuff. I would just be mindful when I'm using Flame Guard to push the wave, I ideally want to pull their creeps into the range creep. So I kill both of them. Or both yeah. groups, I'll call it. That way I can either look to get aggressive, I can look to sack a camp, or I can look to hit my neutrals or whatever I ought to do. Get a rune. Anything like that. The small things. I feel like you definitely... Okay, you buy a wand. Good. I was gonna say, I feel like you don't at two minutes. Yeah. Yeah, and Void Spirit does zero damage to you because you're an Ember Spirit. So. Yeah. Well, this landing looks pretty pretty solid so far. Yeah. So because Void Spirit didn't buy a salve, which is why we wanted you to buy a salve earlier, you just push its lane in. You're playing its lane right like, way too static this, uh, the past, like this wave, let's say. Because you know that he's gone, you can assume he's going back to base to heal up. If you pushed that wave in earlier, this entire wave would be dead by now. Or not entirely. He would have missed like one or two creeps, for sure. I'm trying to punish people also, when they go back to base is very good. Also, I feel like you want to point in chains. Yeah. Yeah, I think if I plan on roaming a lot, which in this game I would, just because my team is no playmakers besides uh, Ember Spirit, I think my skill build is... Either maxing out like four zero four, like maxing out, out uh, searing chains earlier, or maybe like I don't even know, like two points in chains, two points in fists, and then four points in guard. That I just feel like getting more points in chains early would allow me to function a lot better. Getting aggressive, yeah, so you can use that region. That's really good. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, that's. <laughs> oh my that's god. Horrible. That's like actually griefed here by that by that enigma, unless he has a bottle or something. Why does Enigma have a bottle in that scenario then? I'm, the, I'm uh, hoping he doesn't have a bottle, but he might. Yeah, that is so unbelievably bad by your your boy. What you should do now in this case is you flame guard this wave and you get that room where Enigma is. He's gonna cop it from you, but you tell him and ask nicely. That way you can refill your bottle. Cause uh your Enigma kinda just cost you a large part of your lane. You could actually pressure this void spirit if you had your mana for your ultimate. Yeah, you definitely. This is not weak laning. Uh, yeah. Over aggressive there. Fun. But. Okay, this is a little. This is, yeah, he's gonna have to say. Yeah. Him turning fairy on you there fire? was pretty. Fairy fire? No fairy fire? Alright. Looking around that the map. Not ideal. Yeah. There's over aggression. That's fine. Yeah, it's better to be over aggressive than under aggressive. Mm -hmm. Cause you'll you'll learn more from your mistakes rather than never have a chance of making them. Yeah, exactly. All right, this is good because you have a cart, though it is very. Don't low. deny it. Yeah. Don't, when I, have... I wouldn't deny anything here. I think you just hit the tower a little bit. Yeah. Or cut the wave. This is this is good. Watch your courier. Yeah. Oh my God! You're an animal. Dude, your courier just oh, like, that is... and Void Spirit actually dragged the wave off. 
I think you just flame guard me, there's no damage. I don't know about trading with him now. Oh, you have no charges. Yeah. Ooh, someone can TP in and help you. You whip the shit out of that. Just be very mindful of when you drop three remnants. He also is warded in front of him. Yeah, it's an AD ward. I would just sit on bottom rune for now. I'm lucky it was top. It's very difficult to gank an OD Dazzle with no chains. If he astraled himself, or astraled you, that would've been a bit problematic. Yeah, I feel like you definitely need a point in chains. Yeah. Again, I play Ember as a 4, so I prioritize chains. But, I feel like mid you want one too. I'm pretty sure if they just astral you, they TP Mars and you die. Dude, yeah, and flip the Sage's Mask in for your ward. Yeah. Like, you're walking with like, no now. mana. And no yeah. health now. Yeah, but... no mana, no health, and no bot. Yeah. You're yeah. a suicidal man. Mm -hmm. When you're to yeah, tossing it aggressively. You just rubbed it. Yeah. Uh... We'll see if this pays off. It's not a bad play. It's just a play that I don't know if it's a bad play or not yet. And it's a good play. Good stuff. Right. This OD has to die. Yeah. Dude, you need a point in chains. All right, they're both dead anyway. Yeah, definitely need a point in chains. Yeah, so the thing is, that was a pretty good rotation. Speaking yeah. Speaking of, I know you asked about rotation. But that Ooh. was that was good. Interesting sanity's eclipse there. I think his biggest tip chance. would be, yeah, if I'm looking to roam a lot, I would be taking at least one or two points into chains, and also just watch how aggressive you play, because there's a couple times where they could have rotated on you pretty easily and killed you, like right there. That's a uh, you're you're pinging right. What, what does he do there? You can uh, called astral step. He dies is what happens. Yeah, you can astral step. You can dissimilate, dodge both like either of his stuns. Like everything just dies if he walks for. At least uh, even worse, he uses his ultimate, which is far worse than dying. The wraith king. Man, I asked Therion about Ember mid skill build, so hopefully we get a response. I'm sure they'll just say. You're roaming, get more points in chains, or a point in chain. Because it's what, like a 1.3 second double root? 1.5 second double root. It scales very well, too. It yeah, doubles in duration spell. between uh, level 1 through 4. Which not many stuns like, do that. Chains, chains, chains. <laughs> we're getting, we're seeing the, uh, the parallels here. Yeah. You also have a Ray King 3. That's grief tier. Yep. It's an Enigma 4 and a Lena 5. All with an August yeah, Iron team. 1. Yeah, your team is like way too greedy. Mm -hmm. uh, this is ballsy. There's a good one. No. Well, your early laning was fine. Now it's gotten a little bit. You spent a little too much time bottom. Again, be mindful when you place Ward under vision. I... Oh, this is ambitious. He has committed three ultimates. Yeah. Do you not die here? I feel like you die here. Yeah. Pretty sure you die there. Almost definitely. Don't commit three ultimates to chase down the Avoid Spirit. He has two, you have three. Your first one has to be to jump on top of him. Your second, your third to be to chase him. If you're uh, going for the Void Spirit kill. As soon as you commit a second remnant to close the distance, you lose out in the kill. Like, no questions asked. There you go. Uh, maybe he's, yeah, he's dead. If this OD would stop... Oh, nice dodge. That was cool. Don't think it was intentional, but still, good job. And you're keeping top good. with no mana. I don't think I TP'd my Nogus Iron's lane unless Nogus Iron's TPing bottom. He's revealed he had a ward in that high ground or area. And if they were to jump you right now, you, you can't get out unless you pop the magic wand. 
Well, I can see why Mars went two and a hundred this game. Yeah, I, that was questionable. I think you double change them and good things happen. Well, that went well. I uh, think that's more of an issue of Mars having brain lag than anything else. Yeah. I don't think that's the fight you guys would look to take. Because if you're depending on your I wand for... Remnant and... Go home. You're right next to a mango tree. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know what you're getting there. Yeah. Play pretty similar to Fredbug in the how aggressive you play in Ur or Ember Spirit. Like, very aggressive, always... Trying to min max even when you shouldn't. Ganking a fair bit, which is good. Get a neutral item though. I, I don't care which one. You just pick up anything that gives you stats at this point. Yep. Even if it's something dumb. If it gives you stats, it's worth it. Yeah. How many games have you played? Oh. All right. Hopefully, okay, we can probably call this here. This is yeah. like end of the uh, mid game so, portion. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't think it was horrible. I think just be mindful of how aggressive you're playing. Getting a proper skill build if I plan on ganking, or getting a proper skill build if I plan on farming, is important. Then go at it. Like you clearly crushed the mid game. The next like ten minutes, you got. Hundred kills, yeah. Like you're three and two, at, or yeah, the twenty minute mark you're twenty or twenty minute mark you're four and two, thirty minute mark you're thirteen and two or twelve and two. So more than doubled your kills. Yeah, so you just went off, which is good. Yeah, definitely. Just be mindful of that. Don't get too aggressive. Uh, Play to how your skill build suggests, as we talk about with Troll Warlord with the hitting of neutrals and how we weren't sure what that was about. And then we think it's to help him farm sacks quicker, like move between camps and lane quicker. I think, we don't know for sure. Uh, oh well. I think this... Play more like practice. Yeah. We'll get it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. All right, next replay is going to be Death Noise on a Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker? Where are you getting these replays from? I don't see yeah, it. he has two. Oh, and I somehow skipped Adlin. this one. Yes. Um, all right, I'm going to PM you. All right, I somehow managed to screw up the Google Doc, which is pretty impressive. Wait, is right. not the one, not number eight? Is it? Is that a Bloodseeker or is that a Venge one? I see Blood. Okay, yes, then it's that one. Okay. What do we just do? We just did, we just did... Or the uh, PM one. I forget who it was. No, oh, he's not even on here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So many replays. It was HX Doom. That was it, yeah. 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 Dude, fat TZ strikes again. Wait, we already saw this one. Yeah. Did we do it? Yeah, this is Fat Teasy again. Fat Teasy was in the pudge. Oh, yeah. Is it yeah. this? Yeah, spooky. All right, yeah, we did yours. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. It's there. Uh. And so the now. And it's in the video book. Earlier. Yeah, we definitely did it. I just haven't put timestamps time stamps in yet, obviously, because we are not done yet. Yeah, all right. All right I'm going to do Kurt Cameron and Bristleback then, so we can keep this thing rolling. Right. I still not ate anything for dinner. I have not eaten in like 12 hours. Yeah, we still have to play tonight. Jesus. All right, Death Noise is done. So we have Ultrathon, Kurt Cameron, D87, Schwepsy again. Chabot, and then do we have any others that were added late? 
Yeah, we have a Witherspoon. Holy shit. Witherspoon, that sounds exciting. If you want, I have another replay. All right, we have so many more that uh, we take one a person this week. Just, we still have like six replays. Like this is going to be a six hour stream. Yeah. Which is great. We, we love it. Like keep sending us replays every week, regardless of how good or bad they are. Even if you go 80 and 0, there's something you could have done better. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not, but if you're 80 and 0. I mean, you could have won 81 and 0. That's true. We could have won 80 and negative 1. It's so well, they just give you a reverse death. Alright, what's happening with this? Starting items. Uh, lane seems shit. You do not want to lane. Wait, what lane are you? You're mid. You're mid? It's a mid dude. This is the game leap video. What if, you, if you go and cut the creep wave behind the tier two, like the game leap video. It, was that the, the Eternal Envy one back when Cloud Nine was briefly yeah. a thing? Yeah. There's hmm. an oh dude, last hitting. Holy last hitting. Wait, let me read off what he said. Yeah, good idea. Oh, um, Kirk Cameron. This was a wonky start to the game because I was forced to go mid as Bristleback against the Viper. Yeah, dog shit. I'd like to know what I could do better, even though I shouldn't be in this situation very much, especially interested in my itemization. All right, you pull an Eternal Envy and you cut the creep wave behind the tier two. Yep. Go like type there's in. There's a game leak video. But... Yeah, I was about to say. Apparently, there's a game leak video. I know there's a Dota Alchemy or Jenkins one. I don't know. I don't watch either of them. But uh, there was one. Go check them out. Scars can send you a link to it. Right now, if you want, yes. or you can look up yourself. Wait, type is it? Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Was it Dota Alchemy, or was it? I'm pretty Danny? sure it's Dota it Alchemy. A, I don't know. Is it Jenkins? I'll, I'll find I, it. Yeah, go for it. So it's a small tip. Uh, death. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait. Let me respond to our chat one real quick. Death noise. We will do that one next week, because we are like giga like stacked on replays still let me find the uh that, replay there, for that video all right you go Kay. okay so what i was gonna say is you're tanking a lot of creeps right here for no real reason what you want to be doing if you were to tank these creeps and just walk backwards it forces the viper to come underneath their tower as which means he's not hitting you and if you're backing up the creeps can't hit you as often so yeah you just got a full wave of xp and all that but if you back those creeps up as you're walking backwards viper can't harass you or he can't harass you as easily or confidently. This matchup is where creep aggro is very important. If you are playing the lane, which, as Scar said, you should not be. Also, practice on last hitting. There's, I believe, two free last hits that you just missed. Like, Viper is playing his lane super stupidly. He's pushing it into your tier 1 tower, and is letting you have complete free farm. Where if he played static, he'd win the lane. So best tips right now is just practice at creep aggro. Learn to creep cut, that's a kind of higher MMR thing to do, which is fine if you're not confident on it. And uh just don't tank creep waves, like learn to manipulate creep aggro and how to land properly in certain situations. That all comes with playing and like watching these game leap and Jenkins and Dota Alchemy and whatever other people are around. If you want to watch Dota 2 Bowie. I don't know. That guy kind of just repeated himself a lot. Yeah, that guy kind of just repeated himself a lot, even more than I do. So, I don't know. I don't think he's an idiot, but I don't think he's one of the, the higher end content creator people out there for the community. Yeah, definitely, definitely not. Oh, yeah, why? Well, you had Bristleback and the Viper. I feel like that's the worst person your team could have put me. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I think Ursa would have been a bit worse, but I honestly think Clockwork, Ricky, and Sanking had some better laning mechanisms uh, than the Bristle and Ursa would have. And if he's spinning his W this much, go get a stick. Oh, don't you dare leave that neutral item. You know it's there. Yes. Buy a bottle. Yeah. Definitely. 
Yeah, this lane is horrendous. Yeah, you needed to be cutting behind the tier three like the entire. Yeah. Oh, you messed Which, up your salve usage. Video I just PM'd you to will show you how to do. Yeah. Now the bottle's coming. The bottle's coming at ten minutes. That's like six minutes too late. The Sorin and the bottle should have been swapped because Viper's not contesting runes. Viper's pushing the wave and then going for the. Oh, he is dead. Unfortunate. And the big Zeus gink after you died. Okay. Slow motion rotate. Yeah, why is the Zeus here? I don't know. I think your best tip would just be watching these. Like, obviously, this is a far from ideal lane matchup for you. But it is manageable because you are able to just cut waves. And if you were to cut waves or like abuse creep bag or anything like that, you would have been slain a lot more manageable for yourself. But because you try to play in the lane very standard, you just killed yourself twice getting aggressive when you shouldn't have. You also let yourself die to Viper when you shouldn't have if you kept playing the lane properly, didn't let yourself get harassed down, cut waves, had a bottle, whatever. Any of that stuff. But my best tip would be watching high ranking players like you're not gonna find a Viper versus Bristle back mid. Like very often in any high ranking game, because Viper is dead. But you will be able to find some people playing Bristleback in mid or offline doing these really weird cheese tactics where they cut the wave. Like right now What is this holy rotation? Yeah, right now we yeah, have Ricky run into nether tox <laughs> good idea. And we're getting, like, we don't want to be fighting into break right now. Like, there's not much reason for us to be fighting into what we know is a Viper for sure, and then then dying can TP in and Zeus. Like, we don't really have a hero that can kill Tombstone, besides Ursa, kind of. We don't really have a way of disengaging out of Nether Toxin. Viper Strike is an instant kill on anybody but Ricky if he doesn't disjoint it. Or if he disjoints it. Like, we just don't, and now Ricky's TPing top. And you TP in literally as he spawned. Now you're from the same lane as him. So you have to walk back in mid. Yep. Yeah, that's a he's play and a half. You're top in the last hit chart somehow. You're dead now. Well that's good. That's that's a good thing. Alright, itemization. We talked about some of the early stuff. How about later into the game? You need a pipe for sure. Or at yeah. least a hood. Yeah. Sand King doesn't want to buy a... Sand King, I believe, buys... I still buy a hood for myself. Yeah, I'm doing that now. You buy yourself a hood eventually. Sand King doesn't buy a pipe. Your team needs a pipe really badly. Otherwise, you guys just have... The the AC. Wait, who did an yeah, AC? I don't, I don't know about the AC. I feel like the pipe is more valuable. Mm -hmm. you know, like, they don't really have a hero. Like, the minus armor is nice and all because it amplifies your team's damage. But their entire team is magic. Like, literally not a single hero on their team is yeah. physical. So I think... BKB is good. Yeah, BKB. Like, yeah, because then you can't be broke. Yeah, definitely get a BKB this game. If you have BKB, they literally have no way of hurting you in a fight. You just walk around for free for 5 to 10 seconds. Yeah, I think my build this game would be like... Treads. Game also needs a vessel. Alright, that's a clockwork item. We're sinking. I think my build scheme would be treads, hood, halberd, pipe, and like whatever I want after that. I mean, that's just kind of game dependent. Like I can go blade mail if I want. I can go uh, some sort of armor item like a Shiva's guard, a solar crest. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I can go Abyssal Blade if I want, like a Vanguard Abyssal or something like that. It kind of depends on how the game is going, like what your major issues are. If you're dying a lot, what can you do to stop that? If you're dying another Toxin in the Sable, you buy BKB next. If you're living but you're still scared of dying, buy BKB next. If you're not dying and you're never scared of dying for the next like 15 minutes, buy a damage item to make yourself scarier in fights. Oh my lord. Wow, that's crazy. He's lived.
Is before the restart? Did that is that going to be included in this? Because it said we it says we've been streaming for four hours. It will. Uh, it it'll hour still be counting. I didn't stop the YouTube stream. So it'll just be a black okay. screen for a few seconds, and then reboot like three times. But it, this only goes back to like an hour and twenty three. Yeah, like the the previous preview thing. Or what do you mean? Like, okay, so if you look at the stream right now. Oh yeah, yeah, so you're talking about. Yeah, that's just because uh, I I don't even know to be honest. I think it'll still come up as one uh, one clip. I don't know for sure though. We'll have to find out. Cause I'm not familiar enough with this. Viper the Desolator. Okay, you guys won. Viper first and Desol. Intriguing. Yeah, finish off your boots here. You want to be this non-stop fighting stuff. If you wanted to, you could honestly go double bracer, hood treads, and just have 3k thousand health. Win the game with Dota. Okay. Yeah, well, hopefully you get the uh, the idea behind the itemization here and how to yeah. play this plane. Yeah, playing with lane like as you become more familiar with the game, you learn to play lanes by not actually playing the lane, which is super important. Like, some lanes are just not playable. Like, there's no way in hell Viper ever doesn't beat a Bristleback. Because you can't handle the, uh... Like, whenever you try harassing him, you die to Corrosive. Whenever you try treating hit them, you just die to another Break or another Toxin, I mean. All that stuff. This is just not a fun matchup. So just play in between their Tier 2, Tier 3, or Tier 1, Tier 2. Cutting the waves. And, uh... uh well, I think we can call this one now. Yep. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Alright. Next. Jesus, how many do we have left? Not sure. Alright, do... We, we're uh, we're going to skip this Schwepsy Rubo one. Because there's TS3. Um, do Ultron, CM... Then we'll do D87. Okay. Then Chabot, then Witherspoon. Exciting. Let's okay. get them. I cannot wait to eat dinner. I'm actually excited. Uh, Crystal Maiden, 5 and 7. Alright, not bad. Not a bad scoreline at all. Alright, comments on this game. Alright. Um, Althron. What could I have done more here to us toward a win? Didn't they win? Oh, they lost. They lost. Okay. Um, that is very broad. Yeah. Uh, Alright, do you pull up a uh, net worth and win probability before we start? Plus his team net worth. So they're never really ahead. I mean, I guess they have an enigma, but like... I feel like you guys just don't lose this game pre-20 minutes. I'm dying. This is not killable. Especially yeah, I since I think it's this... core. Alright, I think we focus on the laning stage here. Can you pull player net worth? Who's their one drought? Okay, yeah, uh, everybody is super underfarmed to this game on your team. Monkey King is the only person above four people on their team. Like, you and Drew Ranger somehow mess up your lane hard enough that you and Drew are 70 net worth apart. That's an Iron Branch difference. It's a Fairy Fire difference. That's really concerning. So we will focus on the laning stick. So oh. That is the biggest difference here. Yeah, my guess is lack Dude, of pulls. Lion got a win. Oh, that's concerning. It's almost like a punch oh, getting win. He went 3 and 13, so. Oh, good. At least he died 13 times. Yeah, so my guess is going to be not enough pulling. This Agatham's first item or second item is not going to do anything. And we're just going to get called by X Mark a lot. That's my three guesses this game. For all the, uh, why we lost. The X Mark one doesn't mean just for Crystal Maiden, I mean for everyone on your team. Because X Mark is super good. Especially this game against Drill Ranger Monkey King. Alright, starting items. Headdress level 1. That is bad. That is now out of date. Journey, well, Journey, you're the 5 uh, player out of the two of us. Oh. I 
I don't think it's out of date. I don't think I like it here. I'm against Marana Enigma. You know those heroes hit Drow. If they charge trading hits with Drow Maiden, they lose. I know it's Cancer Maiden, but uh, they they just don't trade hits with me. I don't care for headdress. I think I just want to buy mangoes and fairy fires and stats and shit. Cause like whenever Enigma does anything to me, I cue his creeps. So Drow uses her E and they instantly die. Do you block the hard camp? Oh, that should not be happening. You guys saw that coming. Nice job out clicking the guy, but uh, it's like the problem right now is you have a headrest, you can use your Q one more time and you're out of mana. And, like, yep. this headrest will be nice for this, but that shouldn't have happened in the first place. Drew should not be getting hit by that arrow. You guys saw that he was there and you uh, oh, he denied still the melee crew, he still gets hit. You guys see him, you have a ward on him. What you want to do against Enigma is you want to queue his uh, Eidolons and just right-click them and kill them. If I hear levels 1, 2, and 3, uh, once he hits level 5 Eidolons, or like level 5 and his hero, level 3 Eidolons, they become pretty powerful. Like, Marana can't really stop you. She can right-click you, which is cool. But if you had a, a better starting item build, you'd be able to stop him, or like, contest him better. What rank is this? I think it's very... Like a, a newer MMR bracket. Okay. Oh, it's not even that low. Yeah, it's actually respectable. It's like if you had a Mango there, you would have uh, killed a Marana. Probably save the yeah. Drow. Headdress has done nothing so far. So it's understanding your lane matchups. I don't think Headdress is a dead item. Because I, like, I play Chen a lot. I think that item's still top tier on that hero, like for starting item builds. But that's that's Chen, you your Crystal Maiden. You start. You think you start with it instead of going like Ring and then a Mango and then building into it first. Wait, CM or Chen? Well, CM. I'm looking to stack here. I don't want to pull, by the way. We're gonna hit this pull, but I feel like I have this middle stack it. Do you start with ring? Um, well, the pull is good, actually. You do deny two creeps, which is very nice. So I think that was fine. Away pushes back. Um, and yeah, okay. Well, that was rough. But yeah, you also need a point in your route, really. So I think you one 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 is fine here. If you your skill build is one 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 at level three. But I don't I I think that's just necessary. It contains the um, it's gonna prevent her from leaping onto your CM, yeah. especially like under tower. So. I think the issue with that, like, I think two zero one is better if she doesn't buy mangoes. But then, why aren't you buying mangoes? Uh, that's true. Like, for mana efficiency purposes, yeah, dude, I this do. This drow. Yeah, she's a magnet, dude. No map awareness whatsoever. Like, yeah, drow has seven lasts. The CM has seven lasts. That's very concerning. Which a large part of that is based on uh, him messing up. But you don't think you start with a uh, Ring of Regen and then Mangoes and then ship out the rest of the. Uh, Wait, so on Chen or on Crystal Maiden? Crystal Maiden. Oh, yeah. Totally yeah, yeah but let's say those are two very different heroes. And if I'm going headdress here, yeah, I do that. I, I still don't think I find much value in a headdress here, though. Like, if I want some sort of sustaining item, I buy a buckler later on. Because buckler, I can trade his with Eidolons, the Marana, and the Enigma. And the buckler scales a lot better than headdress. Because I'm always going to have armor issues as a Crystal Maiden. Oh, I'm lucky. Yeah, your hero just dies to everything. See, we... Oh, boy. Alright, a little overextendy, but Drow is free farming. 
Hopefully. Now has 11 last hits. <laughs> yeah, almost doubled himself in the past few minutes. Okay. AFK. Do do do. Radiant has been Radiant is under attack. Yeah, that's what should be happening here is you queue the wave and then Drew Ranger eases wave and it dies. Well like not the wave, but a good kill. Good stuff. But uh the Eidolons. Like Eidolons should never be a factor in this lane. The factor should be Drill Ranger is now at 50 last hits because you fed a thousand Eidolons to Drill. Yeah, I think this. Snag the Iron Tree. It was his in the first place. So that's fine. Oh, oh, true. Yeah, I think this biggest priority for me would be buying way more mangoes. Like, Mangoes Buckler helps me way more. Oh, my lord. And you're both dead. The big lion gank. Dude, he's, the lion's coming for you, you know. He's hunting on the prowl. Yeah. But yeah, I think this early itemization uh, definitely would have helped. I mean, your drow is kind of brain dead for walking into or standing there while three arrows came. But yeah. I mean, not a little much bit you better early itemization. Though. Yeah, this is a shit show. Yeah, it kind of is. A bit rough. Yeah, the problem is that you can never reliably use your ultimate in this game. They have so many AoE disables, as well as the single target disables, and all of their heroes can cancel it. So Kunkka can cancel it in three ways, Dragonite can cancel it in one way, Enigma can cancel it in two, Rana in one, and Lion in two. You can never really depend on your ultimate. So if I was you in this game, I wouldn't even level up my ultimate at level 6. Just because I just don't see any value coming out from it. I feel like your Leshrac should just kill the Enigma, save the Monkey King. Huh. Yeah, a Bassy probably would have been better. Yeah, Bassy's fine too. Yeah. Well, I don't even know how it would be going Bassy, because Bassy is super not cost efficient. If I'm playing position 5, every single item I have to buy has to be worthwhile. If I buy two Ring of, uh, see, like, if I buy two Sages Masks, it's 0.7 mana regen more for an extra, like, 75 gold, or whatever. Uh, 80 gold, I think. That's true. It cost. That's true. So you get, if you get more, you know, right now you, you have two open slots in Crystal Maiden. If you're having mana issues and you want long term, you can fill out this, uh, two of the last slots with two Sages Masks. Because Bassy is a super shit item. If you're not, like, you only buy Bassy when I want to uh, lane with somebody who spams spells. And Drew doesn't have mana issues unless she's going like bonkers with how many uh, spells she's throwing out. Like, this is this is about 450, this is 425. So you're spending 25 gold more for getting the same stats and 0.6 mana regen higher. So keep that in mind when you're playing support. I do it occasionally, like myself with uh, Double Sages masks. We'll keep uh, going through here. Yeah, I think a little more lane to help you draw. Yeah. Very beneficial. Yeah, so for that, as soon as we, like, I'll rewind quickly and just explain what I would do. But as I said, your ultimate is a non factor this game. I'm never going to reliably use it. I frostbite him, I Q, and I ult right now. And he's going to die. If I ult him, yeah, he's totally dead here. Because one of two things happens, either he turns and stuns you right away, which means he can't stun the Dragon Knight, or the Monkey King, or he doesn't stun you, for whatever reason, and he, uh, takes, say, even 200 extra damage. Because if I, like, this fight's happening, you're not going to get your ultimate off. You're going to ult, you're going to die instantly, or get stunned instantly. Or you're not even going to have a fight, apparently. Did Monkey King ult? Lion. Sure. You can't steal black hole. Sick. Hmm. Yeah. 
I my biggest tips for you as it's someone who played like I don't play Mitchell Maiden anymore. I fucking hate that hero. That hero is so dead to me. That hero is so unplayably bad in my opinion. But she is pickable for certain people. Uh get more mana regen. That's my biggest tip. Besides that, use your ultimate way more liberally. Like anytime I'm going for a soul kill, if I'm pushing out like it is a massive creep wave coming in top, I just go ult that. I don't care. My ultimate is a non factor. Not only the mana cost literally one third of your entire mana pool at level one, you also don't have the mana pool to sustain it with all your other spells. And they have so many disables this game. This is not something to consider for fights. He actually did the fucking psycho. <laughs> I think we can call it here. That since it was predominantly landing stage stuff. Just like headdress level one, this is dead like back a few weeks ago, yeah, every support in the game did that. That was back when headdress was better and cheaper. Now I'm just looking to uh Oh, this is a very weird set of movement. I'm gonna talk about this before I quickly stop. So Crystal Nova gives vision. What you should be doing is you walk over, you drop your sentry ward right here on this little tree. You use your Crystal Nova to scout up there, and then you have the uh, ward. We can play it at whatever. That way you can guarantee that you cover that area and that area. Because you just wasted two sentry wards to cover the same. Like if you play that, place that sentry there, you would hit that and that. You're saving yourself 75 gold. Just being efficient with your sentries, very important. Yeah, I think that's it for that game. I think this biggest tip is uh, proper starting items would help you a ton in that case. B8, 7. Uh, Alright. Yeah, oh. a little better starting items. You can't hope that your draw is brain dead. That's just going to happen some games. Yeah, uh, definitely. That's yeah, yeah. a bit rough, but not much you can do with those games. On to the next. Alright, do D87 on the Spectre. Uh, I'm looking live, I'm just wondering why it was coming up. Okay. On the Spectre. Oh, I already hit download it right, I'm done. Um, alright. He has four questions. Alright that have been included in this. Alrighty. I'm gonna look at the score card quickly because I messed up. I thought I didn't download this game to be honest. So D1 Spectre, 28 or 22 and 14. High deaths but high kills. Oh, Juggernaut just went off as well, yeah. Huh. Jesus, 28-9. Alright, so. Question 1. I made a Radiance as I thought it would be better for to go in late game, but against AM, is it good to go late game? Okay. Question 2. Obviously, I need to improve my laning, if anything in specific. Like, I was laning against the Pudge and Dark Willow, got caught so many times. How to get more creeps and not losing time as dead. I don't really know what that means, but okay. At some point, Jug was so fat, I didn't know how. So what should I do to stop him before he ran around and killed us? Uh, probably nothing, because you're a specter. And four, I died 14 times. Okay, that's too much. Yeah, probably is. How to, how to die less. Okay, well. All right, so question one. What was question one again? The radiance, right? Yes. So, uh, when you're going Radiance on Spectre, your, it's your job to carry the game, like normally a Spectre. You're like the hard carry. There's two builds for Spectre. You go Manta Defusal, which means you're fighting often, or you go Radiance Rush, which means you're farming. If you're going Radiance, it means you want to be an actual core. You want to be like this like mediocre damage dealer, mediocre tank. You want to go late game, you want to win it. This game, yeah, you totally go late game. You guys dump to them late game. anti to Juggernaut are not a threat to you. They just kill themselves off of you. Dark Willows is useless, she kills herself off of you too. AA is not much of a factor, besides the life drain, or the the uh, Ice Blast being annoying for the suck. Pudge is Pudge, we don't care about him. What was question two again? Uh, one second. Um, one sec. 
It was hunting juggernaut, right? No, that's number three. What's number two? Okay, so I'm coming back. So I have to grab water. Um. Okay. So, question two was. It's good we can answer these kind of quickly. Um. Obviously, I need to improve my laning. If any specific like i was laying against the pudge and dark willow got caught so many times how to get more creeps and not losing time as dead so i think that means how to die less in the landing stage mm -hmm. so we will watch the landing stage yeah so as scar said number the third question of how do you stop jug it's not your job to stop jug not your job to stop jug this game as specter you just want to create space by farming the map like farming lanes and stuff, and it's getting as big as you can, as quickly as you can. You need chips or something? Yeah, I'm trying to open a bag, and it's very painful. <laughs> uh, uh, you have 250 extra gold, buy or spend it. Buy a second set of tangos, buy it. two branches, I don't care what. Spend that gold. There's nothing worthwhile that you're buying that's going to be worth you tanking, like wasting that 250 gold. You bought a teleport scroll. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that's a misclick. Alright. Soul ring rush. So if you're starting with if you want to rush a soul ring, why not buy the ring of region right away? You had enough. You had 250. The ring of region is 225. Yeah. I'm also gonna guess your Pugna does not pull. Yeah, just be very like you're attacking the lane very aimlessly. Your camera work could be a lot better too. Your Pugna could also pull. Hmm. We're dead. Hmm. I don't know where. Uh, was he pulling? I think so. Okay. Yeah, so that was a little. You're a little over aggressive for the first death. You're kind of just standing there, right clicking creeps. Alright, your pug now has to pull the hard cam. He did not pull the hard cam. Alright. So far the biggest tips I have, like, yeah, with that hook especially, the biggest tips I have is watch, like, your camera work is very poor. You're not ever watching the enemy team, like, right now, you're looking all the way up in the top left corner, top right corner too, in the top of your screen. Have your camera out like this, that way you can see when they step into the lane, you can see the enemy team, you're hitting your creeps. If you have it up like this, you have no idea where Pudge is, like, ever. Which makes it very uh, difficult for you to operate in lane. Like right now, the HUD is blocking where Dark Willow is. Also, this don't auto attack. When you auto attack the lane, you're pushing it in. You also miss like easily ten free last hits for yourself because you were auto attacking and didn't time it properly. And using your dagger to get both asses, it wasn't really needed. You could have got them both if you uh. Was timed it properly. Yeah, we're all right. Your pugna is pulling. Yeah. We only have one death so far, which is which is fine. I don't think this landing is that bad. I think the biggest things I'd work on is stop auto attacking. You stop doing that, you'll be way better off. And fixing your camera work. Like if you stop auto attacking, you're gonna fix so many missed last hits. Yeah, camera work definitely could use assistance. Mm -hmm. That just comes with being told that it's not good and actively trying to fix it. 
like right now, like you don't see Dark Willow on the mini map, or you can see her on the mini map, but you see Pudge too. But uh, you don't see him on your screen. That's never a good thing. If you plan on doing this tactic of pushing lane and then jungling to maximize your farm, one, make sure you're getting last hits off the creeps that you're uh, pushing in. Two, kick your support out of lane. Pugna's sitting here doing nothing for you at this point. I mean, the Pugna's really not helping. Yeah. But you're also not helping him to help you. Like you're pushing the lane to the point where he has to constantly be pulling. But it is dead. Yeah, so auto-attacking the creeps is getting you killed. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I would not be looking to fight here. Yeah, you died a battle if you stayed there. Don't fight this early inspector. You show up to ensure kills happen. You don't show up to make kills happen. That makes sense. Like if it's a, a ten chance percent chance of take the iron talent. You farm so much quicker with it, you're good. Yourself super low, you died in like a couple hits. Maybe not. Yeah, regen it, you're fine. I think you just go and heal here. Yeah, I don't bring out a cell. Yeah, the radiance is fine. Right, well, hold, you are dead. No, you're not, somehow. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were gonna die too. Yeah, the problem with this salve is that it's gonna, only gonna heal you one third of your health. Which now you have no mana and you're gonna need to soul ring a couple times. I feel like going back to base is a better play, or I call it a or like two salves and a clarity. I can sustain myself better. Use Iron Talon as often. Yeah, there you go. You've recovered your lane. Like, for how hard you've screwed yourself in the first place, you have made it a bit better. Now uh, you go back to it and you die. Alright, so now you should probably know to never go back to lane ever again. If you show in front of the Pudge Willow, they're gonna kill you. Pudge the Blink Dagger, he's gonna hunt whoever, yeah. Nice. Dude, I'm actually so hungry. Holy hell. Yeah, we gotta. Alright, what are the other questions? With this one? Um, at some point, Jug was fat, we talked about that. Not your job to stop him, you died 14 times. How to yeah. die less? Uh, well, we saw one that well. Yeah. And camera work for sure. Yeah, your camera definitely would prevent you from from dying multiple times. Mm -hmm. Maybe not a whole lot in this game, but like your biggest issue in this game is you keep pushing the lane in with auto attacking, and try to play the lane static after, as if it was in a neutral position. That means they have so much more room to like hook you under tower, TP somebody in, and kill you. How, just auto attack you even, just anything like that, and it's gonna kill you a lot if you play that aggressive with uh, how you push creep waves. Oh, Jug has an egg and a second item. Interesting. That's mm -hmm. very bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think my biggest tip is just uh. Well, I would not be trading him with Juggy. Juggy is level 19. He somehow Juggy ended up killing himself. He's really good. He placed the mango tree and oh my god, that's actually the worst mango tree I've ever seen. Yeah, well you're actually back because Juggy fed you like 600 gold. Now use your illusions and send your illusions down the lane. Don't group them with you. You're trying to force fights that you don't need to go yeah, to. How to. Yeah, how to die less? Don't do that. Don't <laughs> go into a fight that's lost. Like, what, what should have happened there is when you grabbed the, uh, the illusion or anything, one illusion down a lane, yeah, let's, let's say mid lane, because mid lane's scary. Then one illusion down mid lane, one illusion to go farm this camp here and this camp up here, and you go farm bottom. You just farm. The reason I said that Radiance helps you go late game is not because Radiance is a good scaling item. 
It's a good scaling item because it helps you farm faster, so you scale better. Yeah, you basically want to be playing away from your team and haunting in if a fight looks very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can call it off for that. Yep. Oh. Oh, I agree. Seven of the deaths just were you overplaying the lane. Like, again, is is very is kind of a cop out of us to say because you're coming to us for uh, how to get better. But watch high ranking players play, see how they play lane. They're not going to auto attack. They're not going to auto attack creeps. They are not going to spam soul ring and get themselves low and go back to lane. They're not going to go back to lane when they know they're going to die. Anything like that. They're going to play super passive and they're just going to hit their newts or do whatever they need. All that right. sounds about right. Alright. We have... Shabbat. Oh, I copied his fucking name. I'm actually so dumb, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why I was coming up. <laughs> that was actually pretty sad. And then once the whole video loads, I have to get all the times. Yeah. So anybody who did not watch theirs live, there is a six hour replay review for them to look at. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Okay, this will be a quick one. So what are the notes from this game? Alright. Um chat. Uh, yeah, we have the person again. He's not on DFC. Really struggled in lane, so looking for feedback on laning items. All right, we're gonna focus on the laning stage. All right, scan the items first. Yep, so this is the end game items for the uh, Monkles. Um, I think I'm assuming it's an Echo Rush. Communicate, guys, it's not hard. Like, at, at this point, once the headdress is oh, they both got a headdress. Turn this into a pipe, this into a Greaves. There you go. Problem solved. Yeah, this is a five stack, because I know all these guys. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know all of them. Alright, so, do you want to look at the item progression on him? Yeah. For Monkles, it's like Echo Rush. It's an Elstrom Rush. I... Eh. My issue with the Maelstrom Rush is, yeah, it helps you farm faster, but, like, you're only one of the late game against these guys. The late game is when your BKB hit 5 seconds, so Pangolier becomes god tier as a hero, as well as Invoker that's going to clown on you guys late game. Yeah. And, and, like, Shaman and Breaker both scale very well, because you can essentially negate an entire BKB, and Lifestealer scales decently. Not the fact that you guys are hard to hit. I'd be mindful of playing this very slow, passive, farm oriented type thing. Yeah, you probably want to be active early. So yeah, so fight early. I'd rush Echo Saber, and I go BKB, I think, and then I just close the game with like a Desolator. Unless this guy's got Desolator, he's a Deso. Okay, I think it's okay. Missile Blade's not bad if you want to fight the Life Stealer. Alright, so let's check it out. For everyone to see. Alright, I think we push um, Schwepsi's other replay to next week. Okay, I'm down for that. Just because we have, <laughs> I want to go eat going for like. I'm yeah, so hungry. And we still have Wither Spoon after this. Mm -hmm. The small tip when you're playing as Monkey King, you can transform into your courier and you gain movement speed. I know this one says base move or 300 or 200 movement speed. If you become a courier, you become 380 movement speed. It is very nice. Very we're getting nice. the lane quickly. Yeah, so it ensures that you'll get your uh, thing off. If you watch high, high rank, like watch tops and Monkey King, you'll have this courier follow him. So he can place his ward and transform back into the courier. It's one thing you can consider doing. It's not even that high skill, you just have your courier follow you. Fine. 
feel like your lane should not be particularly rough. Yeah. And exhort. Yeah, he's gonna harass you a lot, but you get aggressive on him. He's uh, denied four creep, which is kind of concerning. Half the creeps have been denied. Which is essentially a full wave. If he denied a range creep, he's missed out on an entire wave of XP. Or of uh, last hits, I mean, not XP. Yeah, just some last hitting stuff. Pull aggro here when he comes back. That was pretty decent. I think that was an okay boundless. Mm -hmm. That's specifically we're focusing on last hit or uh, landing stage, right? That's what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you buy this Orb of Venom before you Wraith Band or Boots, you have to get aggressive. Like, you have not yeah. get aggressive, you have to utilize it. So, taking these favorable traits and make him be the first one to back off. You can be the first one to back off. Especially because, yeah, like, this is good. And use your Boundless there to secure it. Yep. Yeah, so biggest tip so far, camera work could be a bit better. Pulling aggro, don't dive tower. You have one base armor or something like that, two base armor at level one. Level, or you have four armor now, but still. You tank like six tower shots. It's a full salve worth of health for no reason. Because you opted to attack him once or twice and not miss if dodge or anything. Aggro. Yeah, you just gotta pull more aggro. It will make your life fair. Yeah. Boundless for the range creep. In melee versus ranged matchup, when you're the melee, just spam play aggro. It makes the lane so much easier for you because he has to overstep, and because you're, you should have boots roughly soon. You uh can chase him down a little bit, a bit better. Let's see how this goes. Uh... Rather than the TP, do you know what the cast point of the boundless strike is? Is it like 0.2 seconds? I think it's something like that. Lots yeah. of dead courier. Okay, apparently not. I thought it was going to go down into the river. Intriguing. But yeah, if you see Breaker running at you, just uh, fucking kill him. Why well, did not dive that? I think if you waited, uh, held your boundless until he was a bit further out of attack range and then used it, you would have killed him. But that's also a whole point of having letting an ogre get 12, 13 denies means that you're missing out on that boots of speed that should have came out like way earlier yeah just focus on balancing range creeps especially if it's not paired with chingu mm -hmm. i'm lucky yeah, that was oof that was an oof i would be very mindful of the skill build you're going the skill build you're going is very very one dimensional you have to win your lane and just gain levels that way if you don't gain levels off of the skill build, you just fall behind and you lose. I think my build would have been 2 1 3 or 3 1 2. If I start maxing out my Primal Spring, I can farm the map quicker and gank a bit better. If I go 3 0 3, assuming, assuming you're going to go 4 0 4, you have to have killed in Mulker like three times. It has to become a point where no one can come to your lane or that you kill them. Yeah, and as we were saying earlier in this. Div, um early so definitely want the tree springs you want to be making mm -hmm. like 100 percent want to be rotating yeah like you should assume that you're not winning this lane like you should have a rough idea that invoker is outlast hitting you outplaying you whatever you want to call it he's just beating you so i would uh be looking to make plays elsewhere because one major difference between your two drafts is you can make plays, Clogger can make plays, while Invoker can't make plays. It's only Pangolier and Breaker that can make stuff happen. And shit, man, Shaman, but he's kind of a shit hero, so uh, it's a non factor. What is happening? Weaver is DC'd. That's what's happening. Yeah, so I feel like we've gotten this Uber and just haven't done anything with it. Yeah. Like I feel like we, I yeah, think we procked. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. You're gonna get Uber if you're gonna go aggressive. I feel like you, you died first. You you maxed out like, four zero four, as I said. You probably just lose the game off of this because you lost your uh, lane super hard. You have no farming mechanism, 
and you have no easy way of ganking to recover your gain. It's like, yeah, you can kind of gank now with this uh, max duration stun and a level 1 primal spring, but it is just super awkward to do now. As well as, uh, as we were saying before, you bought this Orb of Venom to get, I think, three Jingu stacks off. Also, Mango Tree doesn't give stats. So drop the Mango Tree in base. There's no reason to have it on your hero. Yeah, just TP at the stash. Mm -hmm. So whoever's dead can place it. You guys talk a fair bit in all chat. Shit talky. Ooh. Lucky. I've, uh, be mindful of that. Yeah, I don't thought Snap Fire was gonna kill the Monkey King there. Alright, this is good. Take the mid tower. Let me overstate a bit. They have a ward in that high ground, right? I don't. Assume they did. You knew he was there. The, uh... Yeah, and I'd assume they have some sort of vision watching me when I, I go back to defend mid. I, must, I don't know where exactly, I don't really care where. As long as I know it's there, I can play around it. I'm lucky with that. We lost our entire first. Yeah, this, this mid lane's been a disaster recently. I mean, Exhort and Volker, I don't think should be a monkey king this hard. Well, they won this game, right? Yep. Yeah, so biggest tip so far, the, the 404 Monkey King build is dead in my opinion. I think it is like a super, super low, low like thought process build where you're like, I want to be Monkey King, I want to I make, pe make people hate me. And then everyone's like, oh, this Monkey King player sucks because he doesn't do anything. That's purely because you went 404. We're like... You don't even have 100 last hits yet, and we're 20 minutes in, and you have Maelstrom. Purely because you have this purely fighting build, and you've been 4 kills 20 minutes in. It is uh, quite concerning. Yep, so that's what I'd say. That's that's the other thing with laning. The ooh, you're not going to get aggressive. Two. Alright. Yeah, you guys are getting pressured. I'm kinda, how do you win this? I don't know. I'm gonna guess Fire Team just takes some stupid fights and throws. Cause uh, yeah, life throws 2k up on the Monkles. Not a good one. I'm gonna say you're gonna get stunned by your uh, yeah, your snap fire, or you kill yourself by jumping into a tree that's gonna break. <laughs> yeah, just be mindful of that Hengler and uh. That fire are big things to play around this game. They will kill you if you uh, aren't careful. Invoke a rush to Hex. Hmm. Yeah, so biggest advice from this game is get a skill build that, that isn't limiting. Like, the skill build is so bad. My opinion. I, I actually never do. Like, I, I don't play much Monkey King. But when I play him with friends and whatnot, I don't think I've ever gone 4 0 4. I think my standard build is uh, maxing up Primal Spring at like level 8 9. I also don't even want to be taking a fight here because I have Echo Maelstrom. And if I get stunned, I die. The other team wasn't dysfunctional as hell. You'd just be dead here. Yeah, but no, that team is very dysfunctional as they get one. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, hopefully you get the uh, the idea here. Team fights, you have to take note of your Snapfire and the Pango. Yeah, take note of that and abuse Creep Aggro. And then uh, yep. don't limit your playstyle. Like, as we're talking about with Ember Spirit, Ember Spirit's a really good hero and has been a top tier hero for a long time because of how fluid his build and skill builds are. Where he can be a ganker, he can be a hard carry, he could be a support, he could be anything. And, uh,. Your skill build, your item build, is literally, I'm going to be damaged and you're not going to be able to fight me. And they, they fought you, and you died. Pretty, uh, pretty useless. So just make sure you uh, recognize that, and you'll be... Uh, Alright, well, okay. hopefully you get the point. Yeah, look, they even said pro. Yeah. Alright.
Jesus, your guys' win rates are. That's good. Dude, I've watched these guys climb literally three in like a month. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's like cool to watch. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. All right. Is so Wanda Willie's boots? I am alive. Is Journey dead? Where's Journey? I'm here. You want to hear me? Journey? Yes. Did I meet my mic? Have I got a Discord? I can hear you. Journey? Yes. Hello? Hello? Journey? Yes. Okay, cool. Can you hear me now? Hear... Yeah. That's weird. I could hear All you right. this time. One more replay with her spin. I'm looking forward to this. It has been added to the Google Doc. Yeah, I got it. Okay, what is Bunjikiro? It's the classic. I don't even know if I'm going to have much pointers for this one. Oh, 0 13. That's an unfortunate scoreline. <laughs> that is, okay, to be fair, you were in every single kill. I can respect that somewhat. You're making plays. I can respect you throwing your life on the line for the greater good. Like, only one other hero on your team was involved in uh, 10 kills or more. Like, your jug was 4, 7, 8. This guy and you. Getting it done. No, I think it's okay. I think, oh, 13, 13 out of 13 kills is okay. Alright, well, this is a pretty easy question that will not require a long analysis, but this game turned into a stomp, but I'm interested in what to do as a 5 player if the offlaner, in this case Axe, is cutting waves and you can't contest them that well. Okay. Okay. Can Kira not contest creep pulling? I feel like he can. He just dual breath. Yeah, I feel like he's dump spells. Right. Yeah. I, if you try to go, like, because Jakiro has very low base range, you might get baited by the fact that you're going to be going for auto attacks to harass him. Which is concerning. I also don't want to go Clarities at level 1, because I know that I'm up against Axe Nyx. It's, yeah, their lanes are pretty straightforward. It's be, I'm Dying Slark, bottom, Nyx, Axe, top, Drew, and mid. So if I go for this uh, Clarity build, I can never show in lane until the Clarity has gotten the majority of its usage. Because they're just going to battle hunger me and cancel it. I think yeah, like like Omni did. Yeah, Omni has a decent build. Like if I wouldn't do this level one ever. I'd rather have mangoes at level one for that. But yeah, for uh, if I'm con concerned about mana, I buy like a sage's mask and a bunch of mangoes or something like that. You have Mason on your team. Exciting. Yeah, very cool. And I guess we just wait for this to get into the creep pulling bar. Yeah. Creep cutting. Yep. This is good. Good Q. How are we going to kill that guy? Should be first blood. Oh man, your bottom lane gamers somehow killed themselves when they didn't need to. Yeah, the fact that you were like using your spell preemptively there because it was going to come off cooldown by the time the rune spawned was really good. So the first thing I'm looking for is I want to make sure I block the hard camp pull. I don't want them to pull, and Axe is immediately going to cut. This is so bad for him. You just pressure the hell out of him and he dies. Yeah, you just dual breath him constantly. Yeah. He didn't level 2, he's going to battle for me. This is fine. Let's play under your tower. You get extra regen. You let sustain him. Mindful of your courier. Going to walk down toward. Okay. Uh, he actually somehow managed to draw a creep beggar. That's upsetting. Yeah, you just literally have to do this. Yeah. Also would pick up a windlass, probably, or yeah. something, because you want to be able to run away from him. Yeah, you need to remember Battle Hunker gives him movement speed and slows your movement speed. There, he's 255, and okay, he's dual breast. If you have a windlass, you're faster than him. If you dual breath him and he battle hungers. Do you know if my game is shit? I just want to keep contesting Axe as best as I can. At a certain point, he's just going to keep doing this, but as long as you can prevent him from pulling it into camps, you're fine. 
Is your Juggernaut also free farming? If Juggernaut is like a half a brain, this Dick Assassin is nothing to him. Need to cure it's missing. Who you can't? Who's your other support? Winder Omni. Oh, what? I don't actually know. Probably wind. Yeah, don't don't go chasing couriers. Just stick on top of Axe. Don't let him pull it into a camp. Your jug is free farmed. Your jug shouldn't. Okay, your jug somehow has less last hits than the Axe. Yeah, but I mean the Axe does have literally every last hit. Yeah, I know. But what should be happening here is the uh, jug should be pulling like yeah, doing this, pulling them into the hard camp. There's no reason like Nick should not be here. There's no benefit of Nick's being here. Although Jakiro's game is being fucked by the Axe, Nick's assassin is fucking his own game, which makes it fine for you. I think you just have to tail the sax. Well, now he's gonna go. Yeah, because the problem with you going bottom is now you're trialing versus them and dying. On top of the fact that they can just TP Nyx Assassin bottom, and anytime they pounce, they'll guarantee to hit the impale. That's a guaranteed kill. So you're trialing two melee heroes and a Jakiro that's level one five minutes in against an undying Slark Nyx Assassin. And Axe is gonna be free for me. Yeah. You just need to go run at him yeah. the entire beginning of the game. Yeah, so what should be happening here? Oh, my wind is level 4. Oh, boy. oh no. Well, excuse me, what I was going to say is what should be happening is my Wind Ranger gets her level 6 in a javelin, and Wind Ranger, every time he goes to cut, Wind Ranger went around top and kills the axe. Then you no longer have to deal with him. Wind Ranger just follows the axe around, and you sit mid and get XP. Like, as, as long as Axe can't fully keep pulling the creeps into the camps, like, as you said, there's nothing Jakiro can do to stop it. It's not like you're a Shadow Demon or a, a Bane who can Nightmare or Disrupt and drop aggro. You just have to harass as best as you can. Like, yeah, you're level 2 or level 1, 5, 10 minutes in. A core hero will give up a lane for you if they're half decent at the game. And if they do that, then your uh, game is recovered. Axe's game isn't free farmed. While Juggernaut's is. Like, again, this Nick's Assassin is awful. He's. I don't have level 3, I guess, from stopping XP from the hard camp. We just go bottom on Nick Assassin and kill stuff. I feel like this game shouldn't have 4 deaths. I feel like this game should have like 10. But yeah, that's kind of the general way to deal with creep cutting. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, to explain further on that, the. There's two heroes in the entire game, okay, actually three. Two support heroes in the entire game that can handle Creep Aggro easily. Shadow Demons with his Disruption, because Q drops Tower Aggro, and Bane's Nightmare drop Tower Aggro, or Tower Aggro, Creep Aggro. So if you drop Creep Aggro off them, the Creeps just walk away. Which then they all... the guy's sad. Your best bet is Jakiro is just get mana regen items, dump all your spells, burn your health pool and go back to base or something like that, give him one free wave. And you reheal and you walk at him again. As long as you can prevent him from pulling it into the uh, hard camp or some medium camps or easy camps, his game is hurt and Jakiro, Jakiro, Juggernaut should be just free farming off of the uh, hard camp and their creeps. Cause like, look at what Jug's doing now, this is the right play from Jug. Every single creep wave that comes, so it should be happening as Axe grabs his creep wave and walks him with Jug. Which, there's nothing you can do about this. This is just Jug not being aware enough of the possibility of this. Yeah, so this, this is what this is how it would look in a higher ranking game, where the uh, axe is actively contesting. Oh, he's micro he's so bad. If he gets spinned, he dies. Yep, the micro is awful. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. And this this is good. When Rangers were kicked out, you got level four. At some point, a core hero that is juggle will hit jungles. Brewmaster, oh, I don't even know who's farming bottom. I should check. The Brewmaster, I think. They're pretty close in last hits. The Brewmaster will rotate out to go eat split on someone, or Wind Ranger will go gank. You just take their lane. And you uh, get your levels back. Like the problem is, and I'm certain you're going to feel this a lot if you follow this advice, is some you're going to find a few games where your cord was mind numbingly selfish, and it's going to fuck you super hard. 
at that point, we just have to accept that that's, that's Dota. Yeah, you're dead here, you may as well kill uh, the whole thing. Drop your ice path. Ooh. Yeah, I think you just turn an ice path. Just cast yeah. your spells on death. Yeah, so you're, you're 3, 2, and 1. Are you 3, 2, and 1? Or not? What's his face's scoreline? You're 0, 2, and 5. This is a totally fine scoreline. But you 5? Been involved in 5 kills? The only concerning thing is that Axe is like, yeah, Axe is the highest level in the game. Which means you slowed him down. Like, he would be level 10, probably. But, uh. Still not ideal. This is a problem with Shakira right now. Your low mobility and your not consistent pressuring of lanes kind of costs you at times. You're also going to give up double outposts because no one on your team is making a move for them. Oh, how did I say that? You can't get it, you can't get it though, because the Nyx is there. Yeah, get a Nyx for bodying it. Your Jug should probably have taken yours. Yeah, it's definitely worth it for them. You're going to die for a courier kill, but you know, as gold for your team, you're honestly worth less than a courier kill. Yeah, they got 161 gold, your entire team got like 200 something. I didn't see what it was, I think it was 60 a piece, right? 65. 65 a piece, yeah. That's totally fine for you to die for that. Only issue that they're getting perma on the stack. But yeah, well, hopefully you see what we're saying. Yeah. Overall. But yeah, if you just wanted us to focus on what to do against that, yeah, just, just follow them and uh, accept that your game's kind of hurting for 10, 15 minutes and then recover somehow. Like, your Winter Ranger is awful. Your Winter Ranger needs to be way more firm than he is. Axe should not be double the net worth of the wind. Your, your mid laner is on par with your three and your four. Yeah, that's bad. And their five. Their five is actually just as firm as your mid laner. That is never okay. When he needs like phase boots javelin and just to run at this axe, because axe is, has to call and TP out. Which, unless it's max level call, like you gotta blink first? That's so dumb. Alright, yeah. well. Yeah, well, hopefully you see what we're saying. Yeah. I think we can call it for the night then. Uh, I'm so hungry. Yeah, I am too. I'm gonna go get like actual food. <laughs> yeah, we've been at this for like five hours. Five, yeah, five hours. Thanks. All right, anybody got any questions? Feel free to post them in the chat or to the DM scars or I. We will. Uh, yep. Always get them to help. done. Yeah, as per normal. If not. We'll uh, talk to everybody later. Chances are we'll be doing this sometime soon because Scars and I are planning on looking through the uh, Dota from Zero tournament that we did. Yep. So. All right, guys. Well, again, thank you all for the replay submissions and those of you who stuck with us through the entire thing. We appreciate it. Yeah. Definitely. I will, uh, or we will talk to everybody later and have a good night, everyone. Yep. Good